walk these streets with diamonds in our eyes Out with the vampires under a midnight sky My mind so hypnotized It was exciting It was the 90s Daddy always said that I was going too far I said there's never any compromising If you try to win the battle to be who you are I dance to the left, I dance to the right Hold hands with my demons and creatures of night On an undercover mission to find
What's up, Straffer? We are here. It is 946 Eastern Standard. Indrid, wake up. Hello. <laughs> oh, I'm awake. Oh, my God. <laughs> this image right here crap out of me. can end racism. Let me tell you. This image oh right God, here is very can. powerful. Its name... <laughs> I, I've created a little bit of a new mascot for us. Obviously, Cat <laughs> is our first mascot. But say hello to Philip. Oh, get, Craig, get out of here. God damn it, Craig. There's Philip. Oh, dude, look at that. <laughs> is that altered in any way? No, that's what it was in the gameplay. I think it was off oh. his face, but here. Here's Philip. My <laughs> God. I got to put it behind, in front of the pools. Hang oh. on. I'll move Philip. Come here, Philip. God damn it, Phil. Hello, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the guy. He's just funny. That's but awful. <laughs> I love the Philip. Oh Anyways, my oh, Philip. Philip. Oh, Philip. Oh, oh. Well, everybody, what's up, everybody? You're all lovely for being here tonight. We got a great night planned. <laughs> Who knows if it's going to be great, actually? Who gives us what the fuck is going to be? It's going to be weird. We'll but, see. But uh, big ups to Kevin uh, for, and Toxic Charger for the gifted sub legendary, dude. Wow. Thanks so much, everybody. The Pasta Maker says, is this the first WPIG restream of DSP Reacts? Hmm. Bit of a lore question. I think, actually, it is. What the oh, hell? I shit. think you're right. Hell yeah. Huh. Or but, breaking records today. Uh, or whatever Phil, you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. Break, changing <laughs> the, I don't know, writing new pages of the record books. Um, yeah. Philip is in chat, uh, enjoying, like, just talking his head off in chat. 
uh, explaining Good about Lord. Fallout 4. It ran poorly on Xbox One. I'm really pissed off at the frame rate dips and crashes. He's having a lot of fun in Ugh. the chat room, but not uh, yet live. So No, of course not. And Just, why would you ever start early? Why would you do that? You know? <laughs> I know. Yeah, definitely. Fuck uh, that. Did you have a guess for how many times he will say canon, Indrid? What's your guess there? Yeah, I did. I I think I uh, clicked the wrong one. It was it, it was like the third option, whatever that was. I, I meant to click the fourth one, but I clicked the third one. Okay. Well, you that's know? fine. Like, six to I eight, I meant, then. I meant, yeah. Six to yeah. eight. Okay, six cool. To eight. Six to yeah. eight. I do have yeah. a cannon counter ready to rock, <laughs> so we will be officially with the cannon counters. 43% oh, of you say nine plus. That seems like a lot, but we'll see. But Who he knows? He repeats himself so often, especially like, you know, one of those situations where... Derek, he's like, what's the spice? Is it cumin? Maybe it's cumin. I think it's cumin. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's that's something true. something like that. You it's get the crazy. triple threats. Yeah. No, Canon yeah. Brother mentions do not count. We are looking for canon, as in canon in a TV uh-huh. show, whatever the fuck. <laughs> uh, real quick, plug for tomorrow, 1030 a.m. Injured, you're going to love this thumbnail. Ooh. I made this specifically for you, I think, in, so, in some ways. Let me see. Let me see. Tomorrow, Let me see. 1030 a.m., DSP versus oh. exercise. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Dude, look at that. That's so good. Very hot. It's so, it's so weird how well his face fits on. I can't uh-huh. remember this this man's R- name. Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons. Yes. yes. It's He's so a legend. weird. So that's going to be tomorrow. And uh, we're going to talk about <laughs> the gym. We're going to talk about the exercise bike. We're going to talk about protein oh, yeah. powder, creatine. It's going to cool. be a lot of fun tomorrow. See you tomorrow, 1030 a.m. And of course, oh, that being yeah. said, live tomorrow as well. And the tractor beams live tomorrow. So I'll be there yeah. too. Big day tomorrow. It's but anyways, a big day. Philip is not live yet. He's still talking, obviously, like an idiot. Uh, people are asking like, questions. Like, just fuck? start then. Yeah. You mentioned you're typing <laughs> the answers in chat when you could just be saying them. You're. He's gonna repeat <laughs> all of this. Fuck. Oh, Jordan says Dick Lightning. Now that's a that's a pull. Big ups to Dick Lightning. Ooh. Uh, just for old time's <laughs> sake, before we start, we got to play this. I know it was the fuck. It was the fucking um. The uh, oh, what's yeah. it called preview oh, for the stream out. today, but I don't care. <laughs> this is Tevin's really, 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 really version. Of context, but yeah. <laughs> so I'll celebrate gout. gout. One hundred. <laughs> so har har har. Phil had gout earlier this year, and he talked about it publicly because he talks about this stuff publicly. He shares it. Right? It's not a shame. <laughs> Look at the way he explains <laughs> this. Phil talks about this stuff with you guys, right? And so I brought. Dollar so, oh, and everyone knows that I had gout earlier this year. Uh-oh. Phil <laughs> talks about this stuff, I've right? I've had it since... Shit, I'm trying to think of the guy. Clear up was sometime during the summer. You know? <laughs> Here we go. I changed my lifestyle. I don't drink as much. I'm not oh, eating as much. Oh, changed my lifestyle, absolutely. I'm Phil a lot more gouty healthy fat now. Butt. Oh. And because of oh. that, I haven't had any issues with it. Mm-hmm. But oh, they great. think it's, like, funny to bring that shit up. Oh, it's definitely <laughs> funny. Fall gout. <laughs> How is this funny, funny to bring that shit up? Look, another one. Fall oh gout. My yeah! Uh, How is yes. this funny? Look, we got like, another one. Fall gout. That? This <laughs> reminds me of that, uh... So outdated. Ek, ek, ek. Who's laughing? <laughs> Fall gout? How is that funny? It's just funny, dude. Fall gout, how is that funny? Out of all of the diseases or whatever this is that you could get, something called gout is fucking funny. Yeah, it's extremely funny. It's like the funniest (laughs) affliction you can have, I think, basically. Yes! Like, I'm sure it doesn't feel good, but it's still fucking funny. Yeah, I'm sure sure all of us are going to get it someday because we do make fun (laughs) of it so much. But sure. <laughs> just you know, be I'm careful okay with, with your that. diet. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I, I got enough laughs out of it. I think I'm ready for it. Actually, I'll take yeah, gout. Bring it on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. I see a Philip in chat. Big ups to Philip. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I did make it an emote. I got a lot of emote slots. Yeah. Give me some ideas what we should do oh, for emote no. slots. Oh. All right. Are we live? Yeah, yet? I gotta. Wait, still waiting on the injured Jenna story arc. I, I could fix her. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm into men. I was wired straight. You know? Oh, That's God. How I, I got a. Uh, um, someone. I'll show you tomorrow. I'll save for tomorrow, <laughs> that being said. But someone uh, reached out to Jenna on. Indri- oh. uh, not injured. On Instagram. <laughs> and uh, pff, her response will blow your mind. That's a teaser for tomorrow. Oh, shit. Because she says she's done with stuff, but I'm not so sure she's done with stuff. That's all I'm going to say. Ew. Teaser. Teaser style. Ooh. Okay. But uh, anyways. Also, there was a. Um, I don't. Uh, there was a song that I had sent you. Oh, remember? Do you song. remember? 
Sign. Yeah, the, the kind pig of... pen. The, oh, the... yeah, we got that. We got that. Yeah. I got that okay. ready for All right. us. Okay. All right. Just making sure. I got okay. that ready. Yeah, I definitely, yeah, I have the, um, I have a corner demon, uh, Kaching of the, oh, excuse me, the once and future Kaching of the Ring. Someone gave you that name, and I think it's beautiful for Lemtex. The Ooh. once and future Kaching. That's the, we have a corner demon emote, but it's not Phil oh, Face cool. yet. cool. It's kind of small, too. You can't really tell what it is. So I don't know. A little bit small. That's okay. I, I think it's cool. I need to make some new ones, too. Yeah, but I got um, oh. I, I got a few song interludes ready what? for us today. I got. I just tried to post what? the new Phil emoji, and it said, "Oops, that comment contains an invalid emoji." I didn't try again. Let's try again. Oh, refresh, maybe. We can refresh. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I didn't fucking goddamn it. <laughs> Fuck question. you, YouTube. Aaron says, "Question: Is this stream going to be absolute garbage?" Well, yes, probably. I mean, not from our end because we're really good at. You know this stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're pros, but let me tell you, his his mindset is he really thinks the interactive side of this is some kind of plus. Like, look at his title here. It says Fallout TV show interactive what live review. Fuck? Like interactive, he, like your Bandersnatch or something. Like, is that what you think this is? It's gonna be an hour of him talking, and then he's gonna say, "All right, guys, what do you think?" And it's like, <laughs> "All right, um, okay. cool," you know. But right, I don't know. We're going to see. He, interactive means giving money. That is true. So Yeah. Because, like, when I hear interactive, I mean, did you ever watch, um, you know, Dark Mirror or Black Mirror Bandersnatch, like, where you got to, like, basically choose the path of the movie? That's okay. what I think of interactive. This, nice. this is give me money. <laughs> interactive for me is, like, Twitch plays Pokemon. That was pretty hype. That was very interactive and fun. I love those days. Yeah. Oh, how oh, long yeah. ago was that? God, if someone tells me how long ago that is, I'm going to feel old. But that was uh -oh. fucking hype, dude. Twitch plays Pokemon I don't, I don't know. was incredible. <laughs> it, you, ever, you heard Why about it, right? No. What? Oh, okay. Well, Twitch plays Pokemon was like you can everyone in chat can push buttons and like whatever happens, ah. that's what it does. So you can go up, down, oh, left, right, whoa. A, B, and they beat the game though. It was it was very cool, oh, very hype. Okay. A lot of I know lore they came have out of it. like some interactive stuff with. Uh, like universe and all kinds of games. Pretty cool. But that was like the thing Ow. that started that trend in my mind. I might not be true in the facts there, but that kind of really led people saying like, okay, chat can interact with, with streams. That's kind of hype. And that's what kind of started it in yeah. my mind. Yeah. Um, so yeah, inter let's talk about our, our field trips today. Obviously we're going to be field trip light today. Okay. It's going to be light. Oh, because 2014. 2014. Ooh. Damn. Almost 10 years Ooh. since Twitch. I was hype. Uh, that was my like, yeah. I was in Twitch. Like, I was a Twitch fiend back then. Like, I was where my main uh -huh. site is. Uh -huh. It's now Twitch so definitely did you YouTube. Watch, but. Did you watch a lot of Dan's gaming? No, I can't say I was a fan of Dan's no? gaming. I was into speedrunning stuff. So I was a speedrun uh, fan. Okay. I was on the speedrun. I get world. it. Okay, um, that's fine. But what happened today? He's going to start soon, so no need to start this. He, he made a cool uh. um, layout <laughs> yeah, here. Fucking, I'm going to make it so you can see it. <laughs> it's such shit, dude. But you can't, we're not going to do that unless you guys have your buy-in. So he made a layout for something that still requires mm. buy-in. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. hype. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I love how people were saying about, I saw also a little bit today, him, people saying like, we don't like the um, <laughs> the Street Fighter. Uh, uh, we like the, we prefer the member, uh, not member, the ranked mode of Street Fighter. Yeah. And he did not like he that. He did not like that. He said a lot of stuff no. about that. You cannot do that. <laughs> Uh, maybe we'll watch that later. He said a time, lot but. about a lot too. Mm -hmm. it, but I can't remember specifically what. This is happening more and more recently. Like I know it was a weird day, but I can't tell you specifically why or what he said. I didn't see. I just know it was bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see too much today. I got to catch up for mm. tomorrow. Let's check out the okay. community tab. Attention, mm. everyone! On Wednesday, April seventeenth at six forty-five p.m. I'll be streaming here live, and it will be the first time Whoa. ever event. Oh, this is hype. First time ever oh. event. If Ooh. you've already finished watching it, please... Okay, he does uppercase if here. This is intentional, too. If you've already finished watching it, please join me for an interactive streaming God, review. Me. Hell yeah! <laughs> Of the Fallout TV show, not only will I be giving you my full thoughts on the series, but I'll also be talking about critical questions such as... Oh, oh, my here, God. oh, he gives us the questions. The All right, prepare yourself. Oh this God. is on the test. Do you like the lore of the show or the games better? All oh, right. my God. Next question. I don't care. Take notes. We'll see. Take notes, guys. Okay. Get this fucking ready. Next Let up. Let me get my pen. Yes. What did you and didn't you like about the show? Okay, that's a tough one. <laughs> Next. It's a big tough one. <laughs> uh, how do you rectify the critical... How do you rectify... Okay. How do you rectify Ooh. the critical story differences? And where do you think it's going in season two? Plus much how more. 
It's going to be two hours of great fun. So I hope to see you there. <laughs> How do you rectify your erections? What? I'll definitely. Sorry, that's what my that's where my brain went. Of we are, course, we are. He can't get them. We are rocking a single <laughs> like in twenty hours. Big ups. Single oh, like and no comments. Oh God. We're, oh God! Look at this. We got another one. One hour ago, tonight's <laughs> late stream <laughs> is something totally new and different. Whoa! What the oh, fuck? Whoa! whoa. Whoa! Join me on DSP Jesus. Reacts. You mean this, the the channel I'm on right now? Oh, join me oh. on DSP Reacts <laughs> for my first ever live interactive review of the Fallout TV series. Join me at 6:45 PDT, and I'll tell you what I did and didn't like, and we'll discuss lore changes from the games and more. Whatever. What he could have done since DSP Gaming has more subscribers and stuff, he could have just posted a link on his community tab there and be like, "Join me here." <laughs> He said, no, you know what he idiot. does? He fucking pat, he fucking uh, pop, pick copies and pastes. Let's see if this is a copy and paste job. Uh, I guarantee ha, you it ha, was. Ha, 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 ha. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. DSP oh. Gaman. Oh, I want to see that. Uh, Spoiler alert. I want to see this. Dis I want to see this Korean barbecue oh, one. <laughs> I watched it earlier today. It's very good. Those are always it's good. It's very good. All right. Community <laughs> tab. Dude, his thumbnail for the pre-stream today is awful. Dude, spo oh, no. you start with what spoiler alert. Fuck? Look at this, spoiler alert. Oh, That's not you're not geez. saying any spoilers yet. <laughs> no, you're just. Are you spoiling the fact that you? What are you doing? <laughs> yes, it is. It's copy and pasted. Here it is. Tonight's ah, late stream is something is. totally new and different. Tonight's late stream but is something totally new and different. <laughs> but he doesn't put the link to DSP Reacts. <laughs> That's cool. Oh yeah, there's no. Oh yeah, he puts it on the next one though. He wants to make another post. Okay, ah, so he makes another post. Okay. God, That's so dumb. That's spam. There's no likes on the. Or are there? Oh, no, we got, we got okay. ten likes no. on the first one and no likes from eight minutes ago. Uh, 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 is Catherine still on the schedule? Yes, she is. Someone asked. I saw your big ups. Uh, we'll see. Big ups to Vikes, who says, Cat will be with ALT on Saturday, not on stream. No, she won't be. I'll be streaming on Saturday with A Atlas the Bookkeeper. And we're going to see. Nice. But I'm saying right now, it's going to be like 25% chance Catherine's there. That's my over-under yeah. right now. It's 20, well, that's not even over-under. I'm saying 25% likelihood of that happening. What are you at, Andrew? Yeah, I, I think that's pretty fair. I mean, I'll go with 30%. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, there's no chance she's going to be there, guys. But no. anyways, let's see if Fall Gout has started. Yes, it has started. Yeah. Uh-oh. We got let's our go. beer. We're a beer booze cruise shirt on. This ah, at the same time. Let's it is. go. All right. And there we go. We are okay. off and running. Okay, good evening, everybody. Cannons now start. Hi. All right, any cannon, cannon. In injured, your job is to count cannons, too. So let me know if I miss oh, one. fuck. Chat, right. yell at me if I miss it. If I miss it, you can yell Please. at me. Please. Okay, yeah. let's go. You can scream. And every time we have to say fall fall out, you have to say fall gout. That's also a rule fall now. Gout. Starting now. Okay. All right, here we go. I like it. Yeah, Hello, go. I'm just sitting down getting ready to start hanging out a little bit here before we actually start with the <laughs> well, formal start review. I figured out I would little, hang out with you guys little, for a few minutes bit. and let you know <laughs> what to expect. Lay down some now ground cannon. rules and the like. <laughs> This is the first time I'm ever doing anything like this, so I'm no, very it's not, oh my curious God. how it's going to go tonight. It's this, not. this is the first time I've ever done something like this? Can no. we talk about a movie? <laughs> talk He's about a TV show? A <laughs> farther and farther away from gaming. Like, this is the third, I guess, React thing yes. he's done this week. This is crazy. <laughs> Big up, Good Chemicals, with a massive member bomb. Big ups. Well, Thank you, sir. I have no clue how it's going to go tonight. I have no clue how it's going to go. It's going to be well, wild. I hope that people enjoy this. <laughs> Cats and dogs living experiment. together. Um... <laughs> Derek's evening, running around everyone. naked, good evening, good evening. doing coke so in the bathroom. On <laughs> wow. Or should I stay behind the curtain? <laughs> oh, that's not correct. That was not right. <laughs> oh, nice scene change. That's what I wanted to do. Here we go. This, that's what I wanted to do. Ah, there Hello, we go. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Ooh. Ah, the trash scene. For the record, we're not does. starting yet. This is just me chatting with you guys for a oh, little bit before we start. Oh, we're not starting yet. Okay. What are we doing um, then? <laughs> we're doing a How is everyone tonight? Oh, Welcome to those who are here. We got about 100 people yeah. here and climbing. And climbing. I'll be honest with everyone. It's climbing to 128. <laughs> when I do not know how many people will show up. I don't think so many. Um, um, I reason don't being, think a lot of people. This is a very specific piece of content for a specific okay. audience. Mm -hmm. No, uh, it's not. Okay. For example, let's be honest. If you haven't seen the show, you probably don't want to oh, be here tonight. Cannon pull. Nice. Oh, right? sweet. Um, I, like I don't know how many cannon. people we're going to have. You know, it seems like a lot of people are in the midst of watching the Fallout show, count, but haven't though. finished nope, it yet. That doesn't count. No, no. For full, Big ups, uh, anti-distortion. Full legend. clarification. Yeah, there's going to be major, major, major swallow. spoilers tonight. We're talking all the plot points tonight. Uh oh, okay, we are. Here we go. High chance okay. for high We're chance now. All the plot points of the of the, the show Ooh. tonight. 
including character arcs. Oh my god. Uh, Whoa. Lore, Whoa. The Cannon. ending, which is a huge part Cannon. of it. The ending of season one is Say epically it. cool, and I can't wait to talk about Say that. It. How <laughs> this show is going to change Fallout in general <gasps> oh, um, because it exists now. And it's really the what? last piece of Fallout. Well, the, the piece it's of It's going to change Fallout because it exists now. Okay. Because it exists now? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> We're going to get for a Wait, long why time. why didn't the show, The Last of Us show, change the lore because it exists uh, now? It hmm. exists. So there, there was no <laughs> canon there, guys. I see you spamming it. There was no canon there. It exists now. No. And it's really the last piece of Fallout. Well, the, the piece of Fallout we're going to get for a long time. Last um, piece of Fallout <laughs> we're going to get. Oh, Fall Gout, excuse me. So yeah, uh, we got a lot to talk about. Yes, exactly. You know, not only am I going to summarize the show, but I'm also going to give you my thoughts and opinions on so everything there. And I'm sure you guys report. are going to talk yes. back and forth with me. We're going to have questions. Yeah. You know, are who's we? everyone's favorite character? Why? <laughs> what didn't you like? What did you like about the show? So you mean like a normal fucking review? Oh, uh, what did you think about the 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 world, the presentation? Yeah, what's the world? The, the uh, effects? Oh, the effects. Yes. Uh, we're gonna right, we have a lot to talk swallow? about. And that's why we have a whole night stream to do so. Mm. Oh, I mean, God. about a two-hour stream. We should be able to cover everything. Oh, definitely. And, uh, and basically wanna... say everything that I want to say about the show. So that way, it's what? all in one place for people oh, to watch like when the they get a chance. Interview. You, know, you don't have to watch this oh. if you're not interested. But also, you we're can wait a, until you've seen the show to watch thing. this. Okay. Right? Cool. I, cool. If you have not seen the Fallout TV show, unless you really don't care about it or... <laughs> <laughs> You don't have an intention of watching it. You're okay with being spoiled. You gotta leave. Because um, I'll tell you right now, you're gonna be monstrously you spoiled tonight. Leave. That's why it says spoiler alert in the title of the stream. That's all we're doing tonight. We're talking about the show. Okay, okay? thank you. I didn't know what that meant, actually. Thank, thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Daggy. Walk Warrior, we're gonna go as far as we, it needs to talk about all the topics and things we want to talk about. Get help. And, uh, and then, you know, depending on if oh, there's extra good. time at the end, yeah, then what? you know, Q&A talk about for a little bit, we might, oh, but no, no, that no. won't be part of what I record. I'll stop the recording then, you know. Oh, wow. I haven't started right. recording yet, for the record. <laughs> thank you. Oh! Oh, fuck me. God, that's awful. Because Mike All says, I hope he pig explains how stories work. <laughs> yeah. Right? Oh, 64 bit. Great idea. Take a shot every time I have Alzheimer's and forget to say fall gout. All right. <laughs> that's fine. Keep a count. I want to count. That's, that's yeah. I Let's have go. one Let's... so far. Let's say that. All right. Okay. Life yeah, results. I haven't one. seen, the, I'll, I'll I haven't count seen the it. Cannons. I don't care yeah. about being spoiled. All right. Wait till you know, if you're a fan of Fallout fall and you hear what happened in the show, yeah. you're going to be like, holy shit. Because the, the show starts off slow. And by the end of the season, it's like, what the hell? Like, holy what the crap, hell? I can't believe they ended what it like the that. What and it gets you so excited for the future. It whoa. really does. What the fuck? Whoa. <laughs> Can we just start? Oh, we got to get our... Please. How's everyone tonight? You guys uh, not good. excited? Dude, no, hey, I'm not excited. Like, I am. We don't, we never do anything like this, like this right? We've never done just a I don't know how he can do it specific so stream <laughs> dedicated to... He's worried about Saturday already if Kat's going to show up or not. He's already worried about it. One kind of a, a show or subject matter. I've only done videos like this, but I've never done an actual stream with interaction. Uh, so oh, wow. I'm this is groundbreaking. Go. I've never streamed before. This ever. is Joe, no one has any world. idea what you're talking about. What do you yeah. Hold on. So what are you talking about, repeat that in the chat ad nauseum, I, I'll just remove you now. Ad nauseum. It's up to you. If that's how you want to play it. Nobody. Are you going to complain about skin color like you did with the uh, Last of Us TV show? <gasps> Great question, Joe. I agree with that Joe. question. Great question, Joe. You, Joe. That's a good one. Let's Very see. Very good. Let's see if you can answer that, Joe. Everyone knows what you're talking about, actually, Philip. So you want to talk about that or just pretend you never said anything like that? Or what are you going to do? Wait, did he say <laughs> nobody knows what you're talking about? Yeah, that's what he said, oh I believe. Talk, I, I'll God. just remove you now. So it's up to you. If that's Phil, what, how you, you want to play it. About nobody Sarah knows what you're talking about, black. including me, and no one cares. It's nobody knows you. you're talking about, including me, he says. If that's what, uh. how you want to play it. Nobody knows what you're talking about, including me, and no one cares. Ah, uh, <gasps> okay. Well, I'll be showing you that on Twitter uh. tomorrow if I remember. <laughs> No, I don't think I'm pioneering too, anything. I'm pretty sure bit. this is this happens on many other channels. It's just the first time I'm doing it. On <laughs> Good job, LARPer, who said so. that. You're pioneering. So, by the way, some shout outs already. <laughs> Jordan gifted a membership, and that gifted membership went to Reverse Whoa, 750. No so, way. congrats, Reverse 750. Do this uh, Liza Brussel re his membership. Thank you, Liza Brussel, for that. Up. And Gabriel popping their nine month membership notification. Don't, I don't saying, like I'm not in the fall, but I'm here to chill. Yeah. Hey, yeah. As long as you're okay with the It It's just bad feeling to pop, right? There's there's no good way to say pop, you know? It just feels nasty. Popping their cherry. Excuse me. Popping their zit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> popping. Popping just, their pussy. Yeah, nope. Popping their panty. <laughs> Whoa. 
Uh, Score, I am well aware of all of this. I'm well aware of the timeline. I'm well aware of when the show takes place. Don't worry. I, I educated myself tonight oh. before this stream, oh, oh. so I would know what I'm talking about and not sound oh, like a jackass. Oh, we got a lore master here. Hello. You still sound like a jackass. And this show is actually the latest part of Fallout lore. It's the <gasps> latest thing in the timeline. Uh oh, good so. chance here. Any Tony oh. Cannon members? Nope, not yet. No? Anything you want to talk about? Hello? <clears throat> Certain brothers? <laughs> How am I? I'm actually doing pretty well. Dude, I streamed a cool game earlier. It was uh, called Under the Waves. It was I, I only got through the intro, and it was already making me cry. It's uh oh so good. Ah. Hello. 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 All right. All so, right. by the way, guys, it will be a live interactive <laughs> stream. <laughs> so he was waiting. This, this is it's the classic. He was waiting for a, a contribution to go into mm -hmm. the, well, thanks, guys. Yeah, and also, if you want to contribute, uh, you know, just to kind of contribute into the bag. But he didn't get that, so he has to just do the hard bag. Here we go. Into yep. the hard bag. Right. Yep. So, by the way, guys, it will be a live interactive stream. <laughs> so, even though I'll be talking a Fill lot up. about Don't do this, the funny plot threads, so trying to summarize each one and talk <laughs> about up. all the different stuff that That's happens in the so show. Scary. Um, you know, it's very interactive. If contributions come in, I will shout them out. Okay. If questions pop up, I will likely oh, fill answer up. them live. Oh, that's a good. Um, maybe when he begs, that'll be a fill up. Be. I will when have he begs, a, set, we like do a fill little up, bit of an maybe. agenda at the beginning, maybe that's a good just bit. 20 minutes or so, trying to just go through the plot itself, right? Okay. Because the plot itself is very interesting. Three protagonists, oh. they switch between and follow their stories. Oh. Whoa. Um, huh? That's but crazy, then on top dude. of that, you know, I'm sure things are going to no come up. No one's ever done that. No. Multiple characters. There's no beat. This can I spoil things? At the start, or do we save the juicy stuff for last? Well, I'm going to kind of generally just summarize the show. Oh, right. spoil the juice. I'm going to say, here's what <laughs> it is. Spoil the Three juice. characters, here's each of their All plots. Right. And chat, you're in charge of saying how fucked up his sh what he's saying is, by the way, because I've never seen yeah, the show. Yeah, please. <laughs> Intersect. Yeah. We, and here's where the plot moves, and here's how, yeah. how it ends. And but then I'm we gonna... can dissect each part Ooh, with heavy dissect. spoilers and the yes. like. So. Please. What was my favorite show of all time? I don't think I have one. I know I don't I don't work in oh, absolutes. I never God. have. God. Say your favorite oh, show, don't fuck. Is, the Fallout it's show is my hard. favorite show of recent memory. Like, of anything oh, I've seen, great. it's definitely my favorite show. Um, of, of, you know, like the last probably five years of anything Say I've Say your watched. favorite oh, show, oh, dude. Oh, yeah, it's WB Raw, by the way. Good, good chemicals, correct. What kind of food Shark do they sugar, eat? yes. Basically, everything that's... that's pres mm. If they're in the vault, they eat everything that's preserved. Right. Okay. It's all preserved Whoa, food. Whoa, spoilers. There's what? There's vaults? Or <laughs> what? props that they actually grow down Whoa, there in the they vault eat with food? artificial light. Hold on. No way. If you're on the surface, what? you eat whatever. You you're eating <laughs> Brad Roach on a stick, man. Right? You're eating whatever you can get. Whoa. Oh, what a cool roach. <laughs> Brad Roach on a stick, dude. Yes, oh, yeah. including the boys. I like this better than the boys. The boys is good, Dang but this is like, the it's boys. right up my alley because I like the games and to expand upon the lore and make that, that something new is so cool and special. That's why I really like the show. Oh, cool. Is it canon though? You, he, he does love the boys. That is true. He does love. The boys. By the way, he yes? likes boys. Yeah. Let me just test something. Uh oh. What, what? Philip? Testing if you what got a that contribution, Philip. I don't remember which <laughs> picture is which. Is this one? Ah, and it fits perfectly. Good. Right. I want to see if it would fit with my head, and it does. No, Dude, it doesn't so there you fit go. perfectly. So it takes that four out, seconds to change the size of it. If it doesn't, it brother. My head. No, Look at this. I do it all the time. Look at this. You know what's yeah. crazy? You can so you guys, move it if around. If you like this concept tonight, if you're here Resize. relaxing, enjoying interacting and having a good time, <laughs> wow. if you can support the channel, that would be outstanding. Uh -oh. I'm looking to get more content Hello, for this channel. <laughs> right now, this channel is uh -oh. support the channel. I missed the start of the bag. Hold on. If you like this concept tonight, if you're here relaxing, enjoying interacting and having a good time, yeah, what do we do? If you can support the channel, that would be outstanding. Okay. I'm looking to get more content for this channel. Right now, this channel is basically once a week a show called DSP versus the Internet, uh -huh. and that's it. Oh, that sounds really interesting. Other content What's on the that channel show? Regularly. If this so works trying to... as a format of a show, <laughs> okay. and people like it and show up and engage and support 159 it, viewers I'd like for to Phillip. try to do more God. of these this year, and you know we can expand upon it and figure oh out do we just God. want to do TV shows, do we want to do movies, do we want to do video games? Do we, oh, is this whoa. a way, an interactive review of a video Wait, game? Right? Do you want... To this review is nuts. review stuff. Oh yeah, chemical goods. You gotta no. leave if you don't want spoilers, dude. Seriously, don't even. You have chem to. As soon as oh, I start recording, like goods. five, ten I minutes, recognize that you gotta name, get out chemical of here because right mm -hmm. off the bat, I'm gonna talk about spoilers about the, the show. Got good chemicals in here. <laughs> it's like the first thing we're doing. It's I know you know, you. No one can get in trouble for spoilers on this stream because it's assumed that you've seen the show or don't care. So. Uh, uh, okay. Also, I'm pretty sure he's gonna like. What are my overall Explain thoughts on Fallout? Oh, it's terrible. It's Horrible not series. Fuck it up for really me awful. Anyway. Yep. You know, just a hack series. Just you hack. know, completely bad writing. Terrible gameplay. Awful. 
Oh god. <laughs> That's why I play them all Bro. as they come out. Where are you? Right? That's why I've done multiple playthroughs of most of them. You know, because it's, hey, it's, gar it's garbage gameplay. It's garbage games. It's garbage story. Yeah. Garbage lore. Can we make sure there's spoilers? <laughs> I'm not sure. Any any uh, SOK accounts? <laughs> mm. Oh, Andrew, did you survive last night? Um, oh my god, what, what the fuck? Yes. You did? Okay, good. <laughs> Common yes. says I've been it was, watching. It was actually a lot of fun. I've been playing Fallout Ugh. New Vegas. Whoa. To get ready to watch the we show. Some some good shit oh. happened last night. It was cool. fun. Oh, well, wait, sucked, if you haven't though. seen the show, you Ooh, should not be here. Salty. I'm serious. You guys are going to get spoiled, man. Dude, who gives a shit? They understand. Yeah, they can read. They're there. Yeah. Let oh my god, be. dude. Guys, seriously, Jordan, if you've you not seen the show, get the fuck out. go back and watch Game Trailers to compare how they accurately portray the games. Go. Are we I'm supposed to wait you uh, here? Oh, that's an interesting concept. Like, watch the trailer. Like, a game I've already played, go back and watch a trailer. Yeah, that's kind of... And see if the trailer is representative of what the game actually was. That's kind of a good idea, actually, yeah. I've played I it. I do that. That would be I interesting. Do that. Yeah. That would definitely be interesting. I've never done anything like that before. Why? Right? So is it representative God, of the game, lacks, or is it like a, a, a beat and switch? He lacks curiosity right? or hmm. any kind of idea. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse it's me. crazy. Oh yeah. Like if you, the, 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 uh, like I watched the pre-order for the Vegas with, with the cool little cards and coins. I still the have. Trailer, and I'm like, oh wow, this is yeah. a weird trailer for that movie. It doesn't oh, really cool. work. You just go back and do, I do that a lot. Mm, <laughs> that's a, like, a, why it, do you do that? Philip, like, I don't think he'd ever go back to something. He doesn't really like to. I think like once it's done, it's just out of his mind. You know, like this is How? kind of yeah. He has to get the review out. Once the review's out, he's done. <laughs> like that's nuts. If I like something, I'm going back and watching it again, brother. Salute Your Snort says, please LARP about cinematography, lighting, sound, etc. Yeah, that's a good uh, idea. Say, so like, uh, okay. get, use, use some, like, serious, like, movie terms if you know them, you the, know? The, the, uh, uh, the pre-order of Fallout New Vegas came with a cool deck of cards and coins idea. I still have. Oh, so my God. Like, the collector's yeah. edition came with a ton. Ask him what it he came thought with the, about the, the coin, right? The, 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 the replica Ooh. coin of what the courier ca carries. A deck of cards where every card was a, new, a character from the game. Whoa. Um, wow. I think I had an art book. It came with a case. It was like a, a brown case. Did I you give that one away? I remember all that was stuff. Was that a giveaway? That it was a really neat package for someone who likes the game. Was that a giveaway you gave away? or? Is a Paul Port playthrough oh, going to happen? We're talking it's about it. We talked about it uh, this wow, morning that's a good idea. on the podcast that. that it's a maybe. I would do it if people want it. We have three weeks in May with nothing going on. Seriously, oh God, there's whoa. three weeks open until Holy new shit, games start dude. coming out there, in May. There so, are tons and by the way, of we are indie games coming through out in May. Elden Ring. We are getting through it way faster than I expected. Ugh. Way faster. Whoa. Today we beat the entire Blood Palace in an hour. I was like, also, what the hell? Ghost of I never Tsushima is coming that. out on PC in May. Oh, he doesn't do that. The so, day before my birthday. Uh, yeah. Like, oh, hell yeah. We'll see. If I, yeah. if I finish Elden coming up Ring, too, then I think that Fallout 4 <gasps> will no definitely at least start it and see how it goes. That's so cool. That's right. There's a comic book in the collector's edition as well that sets up the 30. story of the game. Big That's absolutely correct. I forgot about what? that. What? Oh my god, I'm older than you. That's so crazy. Yep. Yep. I'm going to put everything in the, the same year. Editions. Now it's just a bunch of DLC content <laughs> oh that's digital getting it too. Fuck that yeah, nobody dude. wants, right? Or, oh, it's the season one content included with the game. Well, I could have just bought that anyway. Okay. I didn't need it to be in a collector's yep. edition, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, sleep years. That's the I'm king target. I'm going to assume that you're joking because if you're serious, I'm going to just Time you out right now. Who is that? <laughs> Wait, what? Assume that on. you're joking. But... Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Let me see that. Who is that? Kind Knocked. soul. I'm going to assume Knocked. that you're joking because Knocked. if you're serious, Man. I'm going to just time you out right now. <laughs> Knock. What'd you say? That's Knock. ridiculous. God, his laugh is just the worst. You're absolutely ridiculous. God damn it, Knock. <laughs> yeah, this is the review. It's not canon. <laughs> I can't find Knocked. I can knock find knocked. <laughs> Better call Jamal says. Will the show start anytime soon? <laughs> Wasting time. <laughs> Hello, Mateo. Good evening. If you make fun of any stream chatter, Derek I mean, or otherwise, you're I a think fucking. Phil loser. knows he doesn't have much to say, and it's just gonna suck. You tagged the wrong name. You tagged the. Am I gonna stream it? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We got fictitious fun. legend. Good luck on your pool. Let's see. I hope you get a good one here. Let's see. We got a Gundam. It's a Gundam pool. Two no, that's the thing. Now, now, if you get a collector's edition and you get a statue, Ooh. like usually the statue sucks too. Like the oh, statues sucks. actually used to be pretty darn good. Now they're they're pretty bad, like oh. they're you know I've seen a this lot of these. This is a collector's just, edition for what? Like, Street Fighter Six Fall collector's out. edition. Fall it's out. statues of Kimberly and Luke, ah. the two characters that like you would never want a statue of, and they're not. Oh, right. They're away. Because oh, yeah. you it's know hilarious. what everyone so you wants. You can get that collector's edition right now for like fifty bucks or something because no one mm -hmm. bought them. Like they just did not sell at all. No one wants that shit. Okay. So, <laughs> no one wants you. Like, what the hell did they do there? Why did, and it was expensive too. You know exactly they what everyone like wants. Almost $200 I think when it was new. Now it's like way down. He didn't He didn't yeah. say canon. Nope, no canon yet. No, no. 
You guys are what's hearing up, things. Yo? Take your you meds. Wrong, but Get what's some up, help. Yeah. What's up, yeah? What's up, yeah? What's up, yeah? Spill my name wrong. I have the Songbird statue from Bioshock Infinite okay, Collection Boone, Edition. I sold letting it. you know the spoiler alert wanted. gets cut off a mobile. Nice. You're right. I saw. I bought two hundred two one hundred dollar copies of Street Fighter Six, and I regret it because man, it was a scam. Just like all these expensive <laughs> launch day versions of the games, it was a total scam. Why'd you I buy thought, it twice? Oh, I'm getting then? all this content. I'm going to get all this um yeah. all okay. these, these tickets okay. to buy outfits. You can't use any of them to buy outfits. They literally no. don't what? do that. They were worthless tickets. You still had to buy the outfits anyway. Why are we so. talking about like, Street Fighter? Really he's off. worried about he's how he's going to feel two hours. So. No, we haven't started the yeah, review yet. He is. We have not started the review oh yet. We're just God. doing a little bit of a hangout before I begin. Hangout, yep. Again, I don't okay. know how many people we're oh, going to get tonight. Hang, hang I don't know out. if we're going to get that many because <laughs> this is definitely a spoiler, oh, a mo massive man? spoiler stream. Hi, Danny. You know, and a lot of people probably don't want to be spoiled on the show, and they're going to watch this after the fact, perhaps. No, they won't. <laughs> oh, one-sided. Right. I saw that. <laughs> That's so gross, man. Lysifer sold it a big super chat. He hasn't caught it out yet. 50 bucks yeah. for Likes for Soul saying, Being lost what? in the Metro and, fa and Fallout 3, a uh, Fallout 3, original run will always be hilarious to me. Big ups, Likes for Soul. <laughs> Get help. He gets lost the show's in been everything. Off for a while. Yeah, it's like, been I mean, exactly too, one but, week. You know, it's literally one week. It came out 6 p.m. last Wednesday. It's now 7 p.m. the Wednesday after. So, Whoa! You know, it's an eight-episode eight run, and each episode is over an hour, so you're oh, arguably you you know, eight and a half to nine out. hours to watch in a week. Not a lot of people have that much time, so I'm not surprised a lot of people haven't seen it yet. Oh, can you suck my or dick like and please some start? It, but have <laughs> oh, hell no. So obviously you don't want to have people get completely spoiled if they've seen three out of eight episodes, right? Uh, definitely. <laughs> Great point. I was thinking that same thing. Thank you. I almost you. forgot something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did you forget? Oh, we'll be back. Oh, oh God. What, look oh, at these pants. What? Oh, my God. It looks like he's a diaper. He does. Look at, because look you, at know the, what, you know what's going on? The crinkles. Yeah, go ahead. Is when you sit down forgot. and the pants stretch a bit. And he's been sitting down all fucking day, and so the shorts are all stretched out, and Holy he's got crap. like a bubbly diaper Look at this. butt. Ugh. Look at this angle. Bubba, uh. Look at this angle, guys. <laughs> That's like, like Hank Hill here. Yeah, dude. hang on. Whoa, Whoa, getting up like, here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Bill. <laughs> what did you forget? Yucky. What did we no, forget? Here it is. Did you forget to? Come on. Here it is. Put your diaper on. What happened? Yeah. Why hang is that oh. shirt so long? It was behind me the whole time. It was behind me all the time. Oh. Huh. Yeah, the shirt, the shirt yeah. is super long. <laughs> it's so long. The shirt is supposed to be tucked into dress pants. Yeah. We don't have those though. Oh, you gotta no. tuck those in the PJ pants. <laughs> He's been wearing weird shorts too. Like it goes down to his past his it butt, looks, like over his thighs. It's like a hospital gown. <laughs> Look at this. It's a hospital oh, gown. <laughs> Look at this shot right here. It's a hospital Jesus. gown. Oh it's my like God, it is. You know what? Like, I'm not trying to offend anybody, but you know, the long term no. hospitals sometimes give you like the kind of cool yeah. gowns because you got to wear them all the fucking time. Like, this looks exactly. like that kind no. of gown. It they does. Gave, like, he's going to be here a while gown. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he got when he moved into this house and he's finally wearing it. <laughs> Was behind me the whole time. <laughs> oh, it's but... XXL. That's fine, but still. I forgot. Oh, that's it. That's what you right got behind up me for? In the, in the setup. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I totally forgot. Yes, thank you, Johnny. Cool I didn't thing, want to offend man. any hospitals. And I, have this, I have this hidden in the background most days. Oh, what? definitely. Is it like, uh, where's Waldo? <laughs> like, fine fills, All right. stupid thank doll type situation? Thank you for your membership. I appreciate that. It is not a Funko <laughs> Pop. This is an actual it's a Funko Pop. official bobblehead. Okay. Wow. It is Vault 111, like Fungo so it was Pop. to tie into Fallout 4. But... Oh, it was it was out. distributed exclusively oh, fog out. Oh, in loot that. crates. There was a Fallout oh, themed loot crate. Oh, because you got your stupid loot crate. crate. He that kept all that shit for the loot crate. Yeah, Holy fuck! Yes, so. And that's when I was part of His the loot crate part of program. His house is just full of bullshit trinkets like that. You know it. Came with this exclusive. If he kept all those head. fucking loot crate shit, and, uh, he must have really piles cool. of shit in that fucking nook. I know. Awful. So I'll show that off. Oh, thank you. On the stream tonight. Oh, why don't we start? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not reviewed anything yet. I keep no, going. If you ask me that again, ever. I'm just going to time everybody out who's being a stupid. Why don't you no, just start it then? Any, Dumb fuck. We just started. Start. We just started. We haven't even officially started yet. He's getting pissed at Sheesh. people for asking when he's starting now. So I received a $15 God. tip. $15. Hell yeah. From Dan the Man. Thank you so much, Dan the Man, for a $15 tip tonight. Thank you, oh, Dan. I appreciate that very, count very count much. Uh, First tip of the shout night. Shout out the $50 Lice one. Huh? also just did a very generous super chat. Which uh, I'll shout out in a moment. But you don't care, I care about that? So you don't have to uh, say anything? Pop up. Pop up. This works. 
Cool, it did. Cool. <laughs> Definitely cool, dude. That was awesome. Cool. It popped I would up. say, like, I hate everything, but I'm actually having fun already. Who let me have fun? <laughs> what is this? Just... Thank you, Dan the Man. And then uh -oh. I just realized that you replaced just Fog got Out with the boobies. A $50 uh -huh. super chat from Life for Soul who there says, Being lost in the Metro in Fallout 3 original run will always be hilarious to me. Yes, yeah, and keep in mind, yeah, the Fallout 3 original run remastered <laughs> is releasing daily. Well, every daily. other day, pretty much. Daily. On DSP Throwback. So oh. every single day. Oh, is that what daily means? Hey. It's pretty cool, Hello? dude. You can actually watch a new part. Well, uh, uh, every other day, I should say. You can watch a new part. I'm actually curious. I'm curious. Let me take a look and see what's coming up. I haven't looked in a, I don't a few days. I don't know if I've ever known I, someone know, ever that stalls as them hard them as him. Yeah. Let's Crazy. see here. Let's see here. Hang on. Like, not even me, and I'm a huge procrastinator. Like, huge. Oh, look, Snood. Here we go. Okay, so. Okay, we, we fixed the, we fixed that. Yes, this, uh, yesterday was part four of Fallout 3. Oh, God. And now, tomorrow, I'm probably going to release the next part of Final Fantasy uh, 13. All right. Thank and you then for why? Your probably Looks Friday like OBS can't do the right font, five but whatever. I'm looking right now at the videos that whatever are there ready good. for me to watch like in the title. We got movie science. It's Dear Lord Dave, get on with it. Now we got to collect money yes. for us. One each, one part He's each passing out the, the, the offering so, plate right now. Yeah, we need that. to tithe. Yep. But yeah, that playthrough is going right now. The the viewers, the playthrough Fallout 3 viewers are not going up. That's why he's stuck here. We're not even getting 200, so he's going to wait. He has to wait really? until viewership is high enough for Going him. live. Uh, relatively frequently over on DSP Throwback. Oh, definitely. And I, 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 see, I definitely like, recommend you even look. They guy in a massively gown improved the visuals. Like, about fall gout. Massively. <laughs> massive. Okay. Massive boobies. Or for our saying the spoiler alert gets cut off on mobile. Yes, it does. Stupid it's mobile. Really well, the uh -huh. thing is, if I put it first, then you can't see that it's a Fallout stream. Yeah, yeah put, put it first. Right. Jared looks. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> yeah. I'll get rid of the word interactive. This we is the problem with mobile is that nothing fucking works on mobile properly. Mobile. Here, mobile. Fallout TV show live review, huge spoiler alert. I'm doing that. Dude, do you really care? <laughs> it's frustrating, man, because I don't. I want people to know they're spoilers, but they need to know it's a fucking Fallout so review hard. before they know they're spoilers. You know what I mean? Why do you pretend you care? <laughs> oh, God. Just give me your money. This is Lady Charisma, let's not get into a, a coastal war here, please. Yes, coastal war. What? Yeah, start Lady the coastal says, war. This series proves in my mind West Coast Fallout has better content than East Coast Fallout. You realize Ooh. I used to live on the East Coast, and I used to uh -oh. feud with the West Coast Ooh. in Street Fighter. Oh, yes. No, you can't have East Coast West Coast rivalry, man. They didn't give a shit. <laughs> you can't bring that back. I live on the West <laughs> Coast the East now, Coast. too. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Yes, I played <laughs> Fallout Shelter for all of like a week. And I got so bored with it, I never played it again. It just was oh, not very good, in my opinion. It only starts off good, like, the first few uh, hours. And it gets so boring. Big up, Jay Wusso. Like this? Oh, ear pick. Pretty... Oh, he looked at oh, it. And oh, and wipe. Yes, license for... Yeah. Oh, come on, man. P deep pick, wipe? Oh, I thought... No, oh, it was, I thought no he yes, it was just a wipe. By Ugh. the way, just so you just so you don't get it uh, confused, I promise I'm not cutting him off. He's cutting himself off here. Look. <laughs> so his... For soul, that's kind of oh, the idea. Good. Right, I love like... to hear you commentate throughout... <laughs> <laughs> Great setup. <laughs> cool setup, dude. All right, let's go. <laughs> Your original oh, Fallout no. run. Once. Stop. Oh wait. Stop hold on, hold on. Swaying, brother. Hold on. He's taking too long, so this is fine. Sorry about this, but I have to do. Yeah, this is fine. Watch this. Let's hear you commentate throughout your original Fallout three run. Oh wait, I'll get it. I can get it perfect. Oh, is he gonna look at the boobies? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look at that. Whoa. Uh -oh, they're popping he's, out. He's waking up. <laughs> Once. The remastered playthrough is basically live on the channel, then I could do that. Basically but we need to have live. the remastered playthrough live so that it's safe for me to comment on it and everything. Okay, definitely. You know, yes. Make sure it's visible, you know, understand <laughs> what's being said. Yes. You know, uh -huh. in parts that I can All play and look fine. What you're saying is correct. You know what I mean? Yep. Mm -hmm. Move on. Please. That's the point. Sometimes you might have to scrub music hate because you. parts are going to get blocked because of music. Oh my so God, we have to no. take care of that early. So, yeah, we're, we're working on that. And, you know, I believe. The original Fallout 3 playthrough was 22 parts. Oh my god. Which, if you do the math <laughs> based on the Red Dead playthrough, that means it would probably be about 44 oh, wow. to 46. I didn't know it would take this parts. long. And right now, this is the longest one ever. So it's going to take a while. <laughs> but after a month or two, we might actually get the whole playthrough up and then maybe I can comment on it. Okay, fuck, I can't man? wait for that. It's going to be awesome. Keep in mind, the original Fallout 3 playthrough is very limited. And what I mean by that is I skipped tons of the side content. When I played the game originally, okay. I didn't have to oh. die. So 
Wipe and wait, wait, what? Is. Oh, I, I was skipped. looking down. Face wipe into the pi- into the PJ wipe. Big up Jay Wuso <laughs> for your suffering, not mine. The stalling buffoon. Comes with the side content. When <laughs> I played wipe. the game originally, I wipe. didn't have the guy. Oh, yeah. So oh, I didn't know fuck, about most man. of the content. Double I missed wipe. Just seeing him out. My sister's and then during the crazy. Playthrough, people kept commenting on it, saying, "Dude, you missed this plot line. You missed oh, that plot line." I was like, "I missed what? I didn't know that was even Ooh, there." This is a good idea. Hold on. And Wait till he's then done I was able to this go yeah. and do all the content I missed. And that playthrough, that the, basically it's like the return to Fallout 3 playthrough or something like that, side content, is just as long as the main playthrough. Oh my god, The main amazing. playthrough is 22 hours, and side <laughs> content playthrough is like another 20 hours. Are, are you serious? That's a lot of okay. content. Cannot wait for that. That's the oh my point. god. Like, Look at this. What does that say? What does that Fat say? Fat Cat doesn't love you. No social love on stream. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> That's gonna get live. It's still living. I'll let you know when he gets it re- re- oh, erased. Yeah. Not, oh, there it goes. So good. There it goes. Oh, and he says God. it makes it go away, but it doesn't because you can see. Look, it doesn't. James yeah, Kennedy was still... gifted a membership by Fat Cat. Doesn't love you. No social love on stream. Like you can still see it. <laughs> That's so good. God. Oh my God. I love it. Oh yeah, I know. I didn't understand the waypoints at all in Fallout Three. I got super lost. And <laughs> oh, that's most games. I totally though, remember so that. Correct. Yes. He gets he gets <clears> weird <throat> about like long games, but people Jeez, like those because it. if you love a game, you don't want it to end. You just don't. Yeah, but he Fuck. he that's his one of his worst. People, I mean, people were complaining about that when he first started. Was that people would always try to get to the end of the game because he's trying to get to the next game to make the next day one views. You know. Okay. Should, yeah. Are, is everyone ready to begin? Yes, so we, we are. assume this is going to be the audience. I think we have just under 200 <laughs> people. <laughs> I'm just assuming we're going to have this few people the whole time. Okay. Yeah, just absolutely said the truth there. Oh, I guess this <laughs> is going to be the audience. I mean, <laughs> oh my God. I mean I'm not upset. He I literally, he literally oh was waiting for 200, God. by the way. He was literally I, waiting for 200. Oh, and my he God. And goes on to say, I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I mean, it's fine. Not. It's not a big deal. I mean, uh, you know, it's I, not. I, I mean, we're going to get through this together. I mean, some people are probably worried about it. I'm not. Um, but you I'm might be. I'm not worried about it. God. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. You Dig- are. Digital Disorder says, can you all have a contest for what would be the DSP style snort crate? That's a good idea. Ah. That's like maybe a stream question style. But yeah, that's definitely a good idea. That'd be that fun. That is a good idea. <laughs> this is going to be the audience. It would be like a, just a I think we have just under 200 people. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not upset. I didn't think we were going to get tons of live viewers because it's got to yeah, be you people did. who don't care about being spoiled or already saw okay. the show. <laughs> definitely. So, Thank I you. get the feeling that people will watch this over time. No, they won't. Uh, no. You know, as no. as they watch the show themselves and then want to see a discussion about it. No. Right? What are we doing? No. Uh, what was that? Uh, All right, cool. Ready? He's shifting right. around because his diaper's <laughs> full. <laughs> Petchy says, big up, says, next level one podcast. We all agree my review is right. I'm not like all those other gr- uh, reviewers. <laughs> Ready to get started, everybody? Let's do it. Let's begin. I'm going to start recording. Gr- Here's what I'm going to do. Intro. Uh, gr- intro. Summary of the of the, the show and each of oh, his three no. protagonists. This is, a, this is rare micro schedule segment. These are pretty rare. Okay. Okay, yeah. but this is a micro schedule segment. You don't get these too often. Here we go. And the journeys they go through. Okay. Kind of a discussion of the finale and how it ends. Uh huh. Okay. So tons of spoilers. Okay. And then essentially we can get into different discussions. We can talk about lore implications. We can talk about the Todd Uh Howard controversy and what he's saying about it. Uh, Because he's saying it's pretty stupid. No C word yet. Uh, We can talk about what's the best, what's the worst. Like, what did you like, what you did not like? I liked certain things and didn't like certain things about the show. And uh, we can do all that stuff. I made a fucking button for the canon. Please. Let's get started. Here we go. Please. (laughs) Please. Please. Hello, everyone, uh, and welcome to something special. I have completed watching the first Later season Highland of Boy. the Fallout TV show on Prime Video. Oh, here we go. Hi. And being that... KO Gaming Time. KO Gaming Time. <laughs> I'm a 16-year-long YouTuber, and during the time that I've been a YouTuber, <laughs> oh my God. some of the biggest video game playthroughs <laughs> oh that I've ever done were Fallout playthroughs. Oh, my God. Oh. Are you serious? Starting with Fallout oh 3, God. then oh Fallout God. New Vegas, all of the DLCs for both. Oh, my God. Runs of both, and then later on, Fallout 4 and its expansions. Whoa. And... <laughs> Fallout 76 for like three hours, and then I never played it again because it was so bad at launch. Um, at launch. I consider myself well, a big fan of the series. I just later. never played the original two games, and I want to make that clear up front. As a gamer, I don't know the lore or the gameplay of Fallout 1 and 2. All right, let's get that right okay. on the table so that people don't get have any misconceptions. Okay. I'm not let's a get, super let's get fan it on of the Fallout table. that has studied get it on every single plot point. But <laughs> Okay, you don't have to study. There's some of my what the fuck? Best most liked RPG playthroughs of all time. Are they? And That's when why this show was wants announced, to play I was them more because, because he hey, wants to relive the taking the lore days. and the elements of the world and turning it from a video game into a TV show could be a really awesome thing. Here we go. Thing. 
Good um, chance now. I watched the show. Cannon? Okay, uh, now I'm just going to say this up front. Yeah, I what? absolutely loved it. Oh Each my episode God. of mm -hmm. the show was around Great. an hour to an hour and a half long. Each one's like mm -hmm. a mini movie. I absolutely and love that. And mini very movie? well done. On Prime Video, they release all the episodes all at once. So instead of Whoa. spacing them out one, once a week like wow. a lot of other on demand video services, I kind of liked it when Prime just drops them all. So you House can of just the Dragon did one a week. I loved and it. I watched it slowly over it. the course of a week with my wife. Sometimes we would watch one episode. Sometimes we would watch two. <laughs> when we finished it a few days Do ago, today is actually we three. exactly one week <laughs> from the conclusion or from the, the launch of the show. <laughs> oh it's actually God. now uh, April 17th at 7 p.m. ish. Come on. And the show actually launched on April okay. 10th at wow. 6 p.m. ish. So it's been a week. What the what the way I'm doing this you? is... What, wait, what is a week ago? I'm gonna what date is that? that. I, I and what we're going to do is going to be ago? the following order. Number one, I, I want to give you a summary Another schedule. Of the show. Second oh, so micro schedule. Just to refresh your memory we're about what again. happened okay. in it. The three major protagonists, I bet he's the plot not lines, put and the journeys that go in through. It, though. Um, I'm not going to hit upon every single detailed point of the show in my summary. I'm just okay. going to tell you the general talking points of what happens during the show, nah, uh, you're including the finale. Dive into the, like the yes, weird parts. that means the entirety of these videos and this stream will be full of spoilers. Oh my god! If you don't want to be spoiled on <gasps> the Fallout oh, oh, oh. television show, leave <laughs> <laughs> stream will be full of come spoilers. On. If you don't want, Boobs. if you want to see this, don't come on the stream. <laughs> That's the problem right there. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We don't we don't want that. This stuff no, no, no. I don't like. This is not being abused. <laughs> this stuff right here, you won't be seeing this on stream because I hate it. Build on the Fallout Television We're Show. Leave now and come back mm -hmm. after you've already right. seen My it. Do not, not stick around. Bad. You are absolutely going to be spoiled unless okay. you just don't You're care about being spoiled. Here. Then by all means, keep watching. But okay. huge spoiler alert from this moment on. I'm going to be spoiling the show. Okay, got now, it. The cool okay. thing about this is I don't just want to review the show because if I did that, this could have been just a standalone video that's like 30 minutes long. That's so what wait, you're doing. Yeah, he's going to tell it us in a review. video. Remember, he's already in like YouTube mode, you know, like he's this is, uh -huh. he's making this for a video. And now he's going to tell us how cool it is to interact with him, which remember, we can't do if we're watching this video. No, very cool. Very chill. Yeah. Very cool. Very good idea. Very good planning mm -hmm. here. We're seeing here. Petchy in the house. <laughs> Hold on, let me find it. Petchy says, oh "Let's get it on the table." Is how he asked Cat for dinner. Oh, come on, Petchy. Oh, thin shit. ice, extremely thin. Damn. Movie sign in the house says, "Watching from work and big ups for helping me my shift go faster by streaming tonight." Well, big ups, movie sign. Good luck on your <laughs> shift at the movie. Yeah, I assume you, I assume we work at a movie theater. That's my, in my head canon. Instead, yeah. I want to turn yeah. this into a fun live interactive discussion with my it's audience not fun. here. I hate it. And see what they have to think. Cool. Like, Very what's your cool. favorite okay. thing about the show? What did you really not like about the show? Uh -huh. What about I don't the like lore you. and how oh, the lore the of this show ooh, changes ooh, ooh. the lore of the Fallout? He's games. saying Do lore. Do you like it or dislike it? Lore. Do you think it's problematic? Ah, fuck, what about what Todd Howard lore, is saying counter. about the show, claiming <gasps> that it's canon? There's one. There's obvious ah! things in the show that are not canon to the game. Oh, not Philip. So, oh, that's we two. I feel the Oh, we got two. I actually hit Philip instead of canon. God damn it. All right, here we go. Two. Cannon, one. Oh my god, it's behind Panda Lee's thing. Oh my god, oh that's my god. two. I hit the button, don't worry. Well, especially the ending. Okay. I'm the counting. The ending itself I'm is so epic <laughs> and leading into something so cool that I can't wait to discuss it with all of you here live. Okay. All right, so I'm very Why excited start, about then? this. But it's Fuck funny, you. as excited as I am about the show and how happy I am that it exists Fuck and I you. liked it, there are people on the <laughs> internet, no exaggeration. I hate Their you. entire... Like what? internet existence, you know, entire YouTube channels yeah, are yeah. based on Fallout lore. Yeah. And these people so are flipping what? out no, they're not. at the Fallout TV show. Oh, at what? What are they flipping at the out movies. at? <laughs> <laughs> what are they flipping out at? They're flipping that. out at. Look, he has to look at the camera too to make sure he's pointing at the right thing. <laughs> you know? Let me make sure I'm pointing yeah, in the why right not place. Just point up and slightly to the right and remember that. <laughs> no, I can't TV do that. show. Because they're upset. That this show changes the lore of the game. No, they don't care. Imagine if they're you're so in... happy this show exists that gives them so much extra content. They are loving it. They are flipping yeah. out. They are partying right now because they have mm -hmm. more shit to talk about on those lore channels. That's all they fucking do. Entire existence yeah. on YouTube has been making <laughs> Fallout lore videos. Yes, they and love if this. Todd Howard is being truthful, saying that Todd this Howard. show is now canon. It means that <gasps> all the three, lore that three, came before this show. Three. Can it count up to three? Do you want to know why? That's yes. the can it count. This show is set <laughs> oh my God, look, 20 years in the future, <laughs> past the events of New Vegas. It actually is the latest piece of Fallout. It's yeah, that's past three. all existing games. So Zero this to two, 4 set the precedent of everything before it. Can you imagine someone out there where all you do is make Fallout lore, and for years and years, you would all love you do this. Is that, and now, basically, yeah. in, in a flick of, a, of a, your finger, 
It's you all erased. Love, yes, you would all the work that means nothing because they're basically rewriting the yes. universe with this show. They would the, love that, and that's not what Howard yeah. Todd Howard said. They would love no. it if this happened. We could talk about shit for more hours and hours. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, freak it out, right? Whoa. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> for me, ah, I ah, I like ah. this. I'm having a good time with it. I I saw some of the changes in the he's, show, and I was like, all right, that's not bad. That's interesting. That actually makes sense. Suffering but right now. I can imagine these people who are these lore hounds going nuts, going freak it out, ripping their hair out of their heads no. because now everything they've done is meaningless. You're laughing at anyway, this. Everything they've done is meaningless. Okay. Everything they've done is meaningless, <laughs> and it brings me joy. <laughs> Let's get started, everyone. Christ. Pick up your Nuka Cola and take a sip. Oh God. Will you fuck yourself? Pull out please? your official Vault One Eleven bobbleheads. And let's get started saying that you with have my a toy? live interactive review. That was his planned segment, by the way. You know that. Like, that was the planned uh -huh. segment. Pull out your nuka cola. <laughs> and get your fucking bobblehead. <laughs> the most <laughs> level one reference <laughs> ever. Of the prime <laughs> video <laughs> Fallout get TV series. Get your bottle caps. Yeah. Cool. Hope you got your bottle right. caps, everybody. So let's talk. First of all, More time this with show Grandpa. has three different <laughs> protagonists. Hold on a second. Three? And, and each one is coming what? from a completely different part of life. Hold on a second. A completely different... Uh, situation, oh. and it's cool because they all... That's the that's the banning of the cat one, I think. ...take place uh, at the same okay. time. They were 10 minutes right. to skip juice. They intersect. Right, So it's okay. cool to see different things like that happening um, that, that that threw, on the show that threw instead for of it just a being focused around <laughs> possibly only one <laughs> person. I prefer to have it have more than one person as the protagonist. So okay, definitely. let's talk about each one of them, I guess, in let's order do. that they appear. So... I oh, believe please. the first is he looking at his like notes? character that you that you would see in the show no, he's not. He would have be notes. Lucy. So she is. A and remember my my picture here with Tifa and Aerith are exactly where his are. So when he gets behind that, it's not me blocking it. It's him block. Mm -hmm. He being blocked by his own shit. So keep that in mind. Here we go. Vault dweller <laughs> of Vault Thirty Three. Of Thirty Three. And 33. again, as we know, this uh, show actually takes place further in the timeline of anything else. Oh my god. So, oh my god. Everything you know about vaults and everything is kind of like uh -huh. going for sure a loop. Exactly you think, oh, correct. we already know yep. about the vaults, right? What, what yep. could they possibly tell that's us correct. more about the vaults that we don't know? Actually, that's kind of the purpose of the show. Even though <laughs> like you might not know that at again. first, <laughs> this show blows apart the lore <laughs> of the vault system and vault tech as a company uh, this in a way you've blows. never seen This before. definitely blows. Okay? So Lucy <laughs> is in Vault 33 living with her, you know, her father, who is the overseer. Who, by the way, is played oh, by the no. main lead of Twin Peaks. Remember Whoa. him, the guy who played the agent no. yes. investigating the murders in Twin Peaks. <laughs> Twin Peaks. That's a show past my time. <laughs> yeah. Twin Holy Peaks. Shit. Very hype reference. <laughs> Twin Peaks. It's Twin super Peaks. cool to see him now in a new show oh, as sorry. a lead. Uh, I mean, he's not a protagonist, see. but he's one of the Twin lead Peaks. supporting characters. Oh, there characters. was a remake. That All right, David. Cool. Then I thought that bad. I love him as an actor from Twin Peaks and to see him there. Wait, really, look Cooper, that's right. On. That was his name on the show. It's Cooper. a remake. All right, I got. I'll take the L on that one. But Twin Peaks for me is like a grandpa show. Really cool. Oh, that guy. But I mean, oh, okay. the Vault Dwellers are just an ensemble cast. It's people ensemble. from all walks of life. But of course, the thing is, they are all basically like happy. Oh, everything's good. Everything's good in the vault. We rise our crops. We have our virtual life. And we can't wait that one day we'll go to the surface and all of that. And so oh they, everything's God, like happy go lucky, you know, virtual life? to them that all the right. surface is Vir destroyed and okay. everything's been messed up by nuclear war. To them, they're just, ah, well, one day we can't wait. How many we'll viewers do you have now? We're we'll right now. Um, oh, okay. So basically, Lucy's plot is she kind of like can't find her place in the vault. She's tried okay. different jobs. Yes. She does a little bit of everything, but she's not very happy. All right, she's in her twenties, I guess, in the show, and being the you know the a daughter bit past of the Leanna's overseer, age when I met her, they, they basically <laughs> want her to kind of just a few years older than Leanna when I met her <laughs> have a prominent role in the vault. And she really hasn't found anyone in Vault 33 as a match. Like, they even Man, alluded okay. to that at one point. <laughs> she didn't find anybody It was her and her book. cousin yeah. who were having, like, a romantic relationship. And, of course, they realized they couldn't really do that. Why? You know, that's, you know. Why? It's stupid. The, the so they need to find something Why for not? her to do. <laughs> Sorry. And I guess. With, this, why is it? What? Why is it stupid? Something right, that whatever. hasn't been in Fallout I didn't, I didn't hear the beginning. Before. I don't care. They decide that they're going to have an arranged match, an arranged marriage. Which someone was it meaningful from a enough? connected <laughs> vault. It wasn't 32. meaningful. Now, to my knowledge, I don't know because, again, I didn't play Fallout 1 and 2. But previously in the Fallout lore, 
there haven't been connected vaults, right? It's always uh-huh. been standalone vaults out there in the wasteland. Whoa, and I think what? the lore is that vault yeah, that incest always is, has nope, some nothing wrong with incest, thing doing, but it's not meaningful enough. On That's each it. Vault Remember that guy. With different things. You remember mm-hmm. in, in New Vegas, there's the vault where they turned them all to uh-huh. plant people, and then there's other vaults where they turn into super mutants or mutations and things like that, mut- right? Yep, mutations. I want to be a So mutant. with Vault 32 <laughs> and 33 connected, I guess the question is, what is the experiment? Is it a social experiment where they just I think exchange you're a social vault experiment. dwellers between the two? <laughs> and it seems like that's the case because in the plot of the, the show, they say that every you know decade or two, they have a, a, an exchange. And in fact, uh, Lucy's dad, the, the overseer, his name is Hank, by the way. Hank. The overseer oh, Hank. Hank of Vault 33 Hank. actually Shout was a transfer Hank. from Vault 32 Hank. many Hank. years ago. So it obviously works out that you can have people transfer over and, and cool. you know, they adjust well and they Die. become part of the society in Vault 33. <laughs> so that's really the beginning really of neat. the story is that there's going to be a big exchange and they go to have a big uh, wedding. And so Lucy meets this guy who she's supposed okay. to basically be romantically involved in through an arranged marriage. Like and they have this big feast and everything. Mm. And then all hell okay. breaks loose. Essentially what happens is uh, okay. The people they okay. thought uh, were vault dwellers from Vault Thirty Two are not. They were <laughs> I was fooled. complaining about his These people actually are Logan, and he's like, "That's and they just the kinetic the accent. Wall, you just leave the team off of people, everything. Fucking hate that yeah. Hank, <laughs> yeah, and leave them all essentially for dead. Oh wow! So there's so not crazy. many vault dwellers left uh-huh. after the intro of the show. Okay, next um, next mm-hmm. next story beat, please. Since they kidnapped mm-hmm. Lucy's dad, Lucy decides she wants to go on a journey to go find it. Okay, now how on mm. earth she's going to do this? It doesn't really make much sense. Like, there's no way. How are you going to find I'm the good. dad? She doesn't have any way to track him. I think I'm good. She has no good. idea where these raiders took her dad, right? She just decides she's going to go Maybe on a they journey. they killed him. It's kind of similar kind to of similar. Fallout 3, right? Where they're all hell breaks loose That's, and yeah, the dad he overemphasizes is, he is you know, doesn't breaking, say he does, leaves you know, the ball. Liam Neeson, remember Liam Neeson plays the character? And you are hey? the vault dweller who decides to go out into the wasteland looking for your dad. And that's kind of the plot of Fallout 3. So it definitely is a throwback to that. Um, and that's Lucy. She's one of the main protagonist characters. Okay. Oh my God. I the second protagonist I keep character. Losing his focus. name is Maximus. It's so hard. And he hard. is an up and coming trainee. He's just telling you every fucking thing about the story, though. Okay. And uh, another thing. This is a, this is the typical no review of DSP reacts. Yeah, it's just it's just yeah. book report. So we're getting the book yes. report, and then we're gonna say like what he likes and doesn't like. So expect to be here yeah. for the next. Ooh, Frank Castle. Oh, this is not that. a review, dummy. This is a recap. Oh, Get him. Frank, don't give money, don't fuck. Pretty uniquely. Just say it in chat and Adam. That's enough. He'll definitely. Don't worry. He'll see it. Is it shows. <laughs> yeah. How the Brotherhood of Steel operates this from is, an insider's okay. perspective. Yeah, if you were kind of what so ADHD instead, you have like to just bit, kind yeah. of. I am using Skip just a little bit. Please. Go in and see how their camps are set up. Talk to them and get an understanding through lore of how 1. they work. We never got to actually see oh, how the Brotherhood God. of Steel. Thank you. Thank you so much. What the levels huh. of hierarchy are, how you advance, and this show massively it's explains so all of that. So hard. Anyone, spaghetti like, Sam. Man, up to this point of all, massively explains. Uh, you like the idea of the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah. This show is fascinating. Okay, so Maximus is essentially one of the trainees. He wants to eventually become I, a squire, who's kind of the sidekick to one of the knights. Someone they didn't like the whole Brotherhood of Steel. Now, for those who don't know, the Brotherhood of Steel are essentially that's think points in this. I'm not. We'll see Philip's Philip's great. Well, he's not even reviewing it. He's going to tell you all about it first. Mm-hmm. That's unsafe mm-hmm. for technology to be unchecked out in the wasteland. They feel that they need to go out there and find all the tech and hoard it for themselves ah. and determine what you've hoarded it for mm. far too long. <laughs> what you should or shouldn't have access. To. <laughs> Hello, I <started> human. <laughs> you've hoarded this technology for far too long. I started playing the remake of that finally because I can now and I love it. Okay, and this has been a running and it's all I can all think is just sometimes they go out hello, there. Hello, Chew. And they were things that would help humanity. Hello, mutants. They don't think humanity knows enough to really talk about it. Streaming it for a couple of so friends, like and I was just like, I was stomping and saying it. It's terrible. It's awful. The Brotherhood do what they feel is just, and others hate the Brotherhood because they're like, like yeah, I can never play Dead Space normally. It's impossible. No, no. <laughs> you just be saying it every second second. Hello, You've ordered it for far too long. They don't care about anyone but themselves. So. I, I with their power armor, they're kind of hard to argue with. You know, they show up with these things <laughs> run by these power cords. It's like walking tanks, and they just kind of tear stuff up, and there's not much that you can do to stop them. So in this show, you see this character, Maximus. Okay, Maximus. Is, God, uh, I love training, Maximus. Oh, and he's, he's on so the awesome. road to try to become a squire. You know, there's these evaluations that they have and things like that. And his oh, backstory. Oh, All right, this is where it gets really interesting for those of you who are fans of early Fallout games or Fallout New Vegas. He used Beyonce. to actually be, as a kid, part of the NCR. Whoa. What is that, the New California Republic? So what? this is one of the groups, one of the factions in Fashions. Fallout New Vegas that you can either side with or go against with. And essentially, they're a militaristic group that are looking to basically kind of be the goody-two-shoes people in the region of California, oh, God, Vegas, the West okay. Coast, area of the United States. Goody-two-shoes. And they are at odds and at neck-and-neck with Caesar's Legion, which is a whole different group. <laughs> Who more did the head barbarian, brain? Kind of very, very brutal. Um, uh, like, like, Matthew like, Jenkins. Because they're listening to what their leader is saying. Their leader is actually named Caesar. I don't, I don't so, blame him. Those are fucking fun. Basically, that's the plot of New Vegas. These two factions uh, kind of going at it. 
So you find out in the lore of this right away, you find this out that when Maximus was a child, he was part of the NCR, and the NCR apparently were attacked by someone, and the Brotherhood okay. showed up and rescued him. And since then, he basically saw them as heroes. So that's oh, why he God. joined their group. Danny De 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 DK in the house says Phil has the talent <laughs> to make something so cool sound so boring. He's a horrible at telling a story. No. Stick to begging and playing video games. <laughs> Amen, Danny. He does Amen. begging good. The video games is bad, too. That's why he wants to be part of this group of Lucumus Squire. Begging is his, is his passion. Of Knights, okay? That's so his plot pay. means where he's basically yeah. just training with the Brotherhood. And uh, it's Later him and a bunch of others. Poster, who all if you can't make it, I understand. Like, oh, each other and treating each other badly. Hey. And in his first scene, he's getting the crap beat out of him by a bunch of other trainees. They're just beating the crap out of this guy. He's bleeding everywhere, all right? Oh, um, definitely. And by the way, I should say, this show is wrong, incredibly gory. Which is interesting like, way over the top gore. To me. Gory deaths, head explosions, brains, eyeballs popping, like, <laughs> gross stuff, just like the games. But translating that from video game to the world of something realistic, because these are real people on the screen, it can be, you know, okay. warning for the squeamish. You probably want to be a little careful about warning that. Warning for the squeamish. What? You want to be careful. Okay. Is it that bad, chat? Do we need to have a warning for the squeamish? We're you know, adults. You know, I know. I, I watch gory <laughs> stuff and I um, love it. <laughs> anyway, yes, Bloody oh Mess Perk. Exactly. Bloody Mess Perk activated on this show for sure. Whoa. So anyway, in a strange what? turn of events, the trainee who also is, is basically kind of friends and comrades with Maximus. Yeah, like if, if you don't want to get spoiled, you're you're so like can't tell what's happening when he's t telling anyway, you don't get spoiled anyway. He's like you zone out. He's selected. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Truly. I'm a squire. A squire is the person who runs around as kind of the errand boy or person who backs up a knight. That's knife. what a squire now, is. I wasn't even aware of this relationship because in the video <laughs> like game, they an errand boy, a guy that carries stuff for the knight. Explained it before. God. And I was like, what is a squire? Right? They didn't really even show that. The knights usually just have to do missions by themselves, but apparently, just like a, a medieval knight, we have a squire who go around and carry their equipment and help out the knight. So, so that the Brotherhood Knights have the same thing. <clears throat> yeah, like squire is not something unique to Fallout. <laughs> no, <laughs> kinda... it's not. <laughs> so, Maximus' friend. <laughs> what is a squire word? It's selected to be a squire. What's a squire? Thing, but then, huh? one of the like the day or two before they're supposed to go out to do their squire duties, someone puts big, duties like like really debilitating sharp razor blades inside okay. of their boot. So they put their foot into the boot, and this okay. is a gory scene. Their whole foot gets destroyed. Oh, okay. It's ripped oh. apart. It's like, now, what's worse, gout or that? Foot, how are you going to be a squire? Uh, right? So now there's this big controversy. <laughs> Who did it? Was it Maximus? Was it someone else? Since we are seeing from Maybe the perspective the of, of Maximus, get the we know it wasn't him. Out of the foot. Yeah, what's worse, the yeah. razor blades or gout crystals? That's but a good question. Uh, did someone ask that? that? He's the one who did it. And they put him into <laughs> a big interrogation about it. Did you do it or whatever? And basically, through a series of inspired quotes and sayings. Basically what Maximus says is, listen, I would give my life for the Brotherhood. You guys gave me meaning. I didn't have meaning in my life. You rescued oh, me he's meaningful. from the disaster. Oh, you made me meaningful. Yeah. Big up. I would, you know, I would gladly give my life for the Brotherhood because you guys already gave me a life. So awesome. Life. So during that answer, the person who's in charge of this faction of the Brotherhood, whatever this group is on the West Coast, I don't think they actually can name. What the fuck? So it's one of the high guys. I don't Celebrate Gat 100. Spaghetti Sam. He's the role is. He's kind of the Celebrate Gat 100. 100. Basically he's won over by Maximus and he says, all right, you know what? You're going to be the new squire. I don't think you did it. So we're going to make you the new squire in place of your friend who now can no longer be a squire. Oh, and so, great. That's the story of Maximus. Okay. He's going to become a squire, and he's going to go out with a knight, and they get a mission. And the mission is thus. There is someone <laughs> who has thus. escaped the Enclave. Oh, Conclave. Wait, what? The what? Enclave. What? You think about what? that, right? The what the thing fuck is this, man? This is insane. What? This is weird. <laughs> this is so insane. I, like, can you I imagine Philip at like family functions, like telling stories? Like, get this. You know, I ordered DoorDash. <laughs> They're 50 minutes late. But get this. I sent an email. And you know what? They sent me an email back. Get this. No way. Get this. <laughs> it was destroyed. It if went as thus. Yeah, get this. What they answered was thus. You know that. The Enclave doesn't exist anymore. In Fallout 3, I mean, the, 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 the Enclave literally like blows up depending read. on your choices. But you defeat them at the end of Fallout 3. Whoa. By Fallout New Vegas, basically, the Enclave is done. And all you find are the remnants. What's a Remember, Paladin? That's, the a, that's, the a, that's a call. That's a shout out. Like six or seven older people. And then they team up and they help you at the end of the game. Because the Enclave is gone. They're defeated. They're just oh, what's a Paladin. So the fact that the Enclave exists in the show already seems to either be lore breaking or starting up okay. some new plot line that we Ooh. don't know we call chance? the video game. Chance okay? for C? So anyway, nope. there's no a scientist see. who was working ah. for the Enclave. This scientist made some kind of a groundbreaking Please. discovery and then he stole it. And they actually show him. He's actually played okay. by, by an actor. He's a character actor that has been in many shows before. Oh, he's played by an actor. Linus That's cool. In the Lost oh. TV series from many, many years ago. But he actually uh, wait, escapes the Enclave with a dog that looks Who's exactly it? like dog meat. From the Fallout series, so I don't know if they were going for that or not, but man, it looks just like what? dog meat. I don't think dog they ever named the dog or called the dog dog meat in the show, but definitely Stop looks like. Stop saying um, dog in so the dog, dog He's on the run. Well, guess what? Dog, Apparently, dog, everyone dog knows dog because dog, dog, the Brotherhood are aware of this guy, and they're going to send a knight out with Maximus as a squire to, to that knight to find you know this what? guy, retrieve him, and bring him back person, to the Brotherhood because they feel he has critical piece of technology that no one could trust. Like you can't leave that out of the Okay. Oh, sorry. This actually leads directly to the third plot. The third plot line Aww. is of the third protagonist He's called cute. the Ghoul. The Ghoul little is German just that, the Ghoul, who is a bounty hunter. Now, the weird oh, part about German this is, Sheppy. I think of all the lore uh, there that gets changed in this TV show uh, from the Fallout games, I think that <laughs> the Ghouls <laughs> get the biggest changes. Okay? Uh oh <clears throat> So right off the bat, let's be honest here
If every time you saw a ghoul, they talk like this in every single conversation. They had a raspy voice and you had to oh try to Oh my God, it sounds like saying. you. You think that you would like listening to that for more than like five yes, minutes? Yes, yeah, I would love Some that. Some people maybe it's not a big deal. Some I would love that. Like, That's, That's how I like my men to sound. Uh -huh. So right off the bat, they change so the lore of the ghouls. They don't talk like this anymore. Mm -hmm. They just talk normal. Okay? okay. But another thing that they did is now in the lore of the show, <laughs> Stephen Hawking the ghouls <laughs> need to have some kind of a, a cam Linda. in their bodies Stephen to Hawking stop could, from turning feral. Do that, there yes. are feral ghouls in the Fallout TV show. It's a critical part of the plot that you need to have hey. a long you know, supply of these drugs. So you can constantly oh, be, be inhaling squire? them as cams. Cool. I like and that. And that stops you from turning feral. So two oh, huge feral. changes. I want to turn, right. I want to turn oh. feral. The main game for ghouls. Feral. Okay, so I how knew is the a ghoul girl in high school named Feral? He's buried in a casket. I thought that was and he has interesting. Name, name Feral? I've heard of Ferris, yeah. but never Feral. No, it was oh, F E R Y L. Oh, feral. interesting. Feral. It was, it was very yeah. Thames put into his body via IVs above the ground. Sure. Three bounty hunters actually mm, dig him whatever. up and awaken him to say there's a giant bounty out for this guy, Aww. and it's the picture of the same guy from the Enclave that the Brotherhood is after. And they, so apparently yeah, like the word Cheryl, is out on the street that right. this guy from the Enclave is a, is a you know a turncoat, and he has some critical piece of tech, tech or something, and everyone's out to get it. Don't ask me how everyone knows. That's never really explained in the show. How did um, they become so ghouls? They started to watch DSP gaming? And, uh, <laughs> and uh, murders them all. They're like, whoa, wait a minute. That's, that's the introduction funny. to one of our protagonists. He just, in cold blood, murders the three guys who just pulled him out of the ground. Holy crap. Well, if that's an indication of how this character is going to be in the show, uh, okay. it's going to be we an interesting have, ride. We have so, had zero review. We are just getting the full book report. Point out the ghoul. Yeah, this is not a review. Himself. He's and I'll just, just say saying that of all of, it. of the uh, got, characters in the show, you know the ghoul is probably one of the coolest. Have to He's watched played by Walter You've probably seen him justify all other shows. Can't remember anything though. But no, he's saying it all. The thing is, he plays two roles. He plays the ghoul in the present day, but then he also plays himself in the past before the bombs drop. Okay, so you mean he plays the same character then? So he plays the same person then, doesn't he? He plays so himself? In the past. Yeah, he plays himself in the past and then the future. Wow, it's oh, so wild. Wow. Before Amazing. the bombs drop. Okay? And that's really yeah, neat Where's the interaction? That's that. a good question. I like the fact that there, it was two roles in one because you get to learn about this guy two and roles who he used in to one. be and his character arc awesome. essentially how he changed from the past okay. to the present. Okay? Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that, I'm sure, further into the plot. Oh, so the ghoul thank is you. Oh, basically, in search of that. this guy, you know, escape the enclave. Mm. Now, during the course of the show, all their paths intersect, all right? And there's various different things that happen. Stop Sometimes they're at white, odds with each other. Oh and they yeah, good point, Tiger Chan. into a nose rub. It's actually one Ooh. role. It's just the, the time in between, like, when they right. show up on the screen from the past and future or whatever. So, yeah, it's not actually yeah. two roles. <laughs> Sometimes no. they're helping each other, all right? What's funny is, for the oh. first... Yeah, four funny. episodes, five episodes maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I'd say probably the first three to four episodes. The whole Ugh, goal of the show stop, is to get the Enclave scientist and get the technology from him and take right. it somewhere. Dog okay? meat later. What's happening is, <clears throat> after about half of the show, need the, boobies. the plot changes. It flips on its head. Because it's weird, because at first you think, oh, this is oh, going to be kind of a keeper. We're all trying to get this, that counts. this, uh, this guy, this Enclave scientist. Hello. Hello. Spoiler alert. Flip. By episode oh, three, the scientist can no longer walk. Oh my God, and therefore, he says, I'm not going to make it. Just chop my If he says flip, I should do it. Danny says, it would be smart if he did a review of each episode. Classic DSP low effort for maximum reward. Yeah, yeah, he can't do that. It's too much work. But as you see, no one's no one's doing anything in terms of support so far. So what is actually encased back here in the back of my head. Oh, back in my okay. head, back in my mind. So yeah, they actually chop oh, his head I off. I hate that right? part of those videos. It annoys <laughs> the okay, shit out so of me. So now it's not about taking this enclave scientist somewhere. It's about bringing his head somewhere, his severed head. And this head gets gross and decays over the course of the series. It's really disgusting. Whoa. By the end of the show, it's just a really gross, like, like uh, falling apart head. Um. Okay. Anyway, so everyone's fighting for the head, and that's really like the, the main plot. But then about everyone's halfway fighting through the for show, the head. Everybody okay, wants head. <laughs> everything kind of changed. I can't remember uh -huh. who uh, whose storyline are we talking about this, now. <laughs> in one I know, real boy. crazy twist of fate. <laughs> Maximus, who's squire now to a knight, becomes a knight because his knight gets killed. All right. Oh. We come to find out that a lot of these knights of the Brotherhood are actual just assholes. They're not oh. super soldiers. They're not super intelligent. Like they're just bugs like everyone else doing their job. They just do what they're told. And in a real weird twist, after Maximus's knight it's gets still, attacked he just and he basically what takes he his told. armor off, his helmet off, he's played by Michael Rappaport. And I immediately no, we're not recognized the guy, and I was guys. like, that's an odd choice. And the reason I say that, for those who don't know, Michael Rappaport is a very controversial guy these days. He talks about <laughs> politics a lot, and a lot of people. So he's an, so he's an actor that's, po that, so he shouldn't be on any show because he's controversial, I guess? It's an actor? <laughs> he hates publicly what he says. So if you yeah. put him into the show. Was what? Um, was what? As a character, even as a cameo, because this definitely was a cameo appearance. Was this wasn't what? some in-depth, you know, big appearance. It was just, <laughs> so, you know, him being in the show randomly so for like five minutes. Uh, it was a weird so choice for me. I was shocked that they put him in there. It was um, a weird choice. Okay, shocked, so guys. yeah, Phil Phil supports canceling. If someone has controversial takes, they can't uh, work anywhere. Got it. Got it. Got it. I mean, he is right, a douchebag. So let's cancel still, Phil. He's a douchebag, but it means all anyway, right. He's an asshole. He's basically yelling yeah. at Maximus. Oh, you're the reason I'm dying now. You know, this mutant that attacked me. It's your fault. You should have stopped him or whatever. And okay. don't you know what they mm -hmm. do to squires who don't help their knights? They hang them by up. You know, by their they murder them and they they, they you know they hang them. They so they kind of they suck their penises. 
They what? needed an asshole, so they got a, like someone that people see as like an, an asshole. asshole. Okay, so it seems like good that, to me. Yeah. Okay. Maxim is just listening to him. He's like, "Why am I gonna help this guy? This guy is he's dying. Why am I gonna help him when all he's doing is being a piece of crap? A um, piece of crap. You know, I, there's no way I'm gonna change it. So he literally just lets him die. He doesn't help him. Then when he's dead, he tosses him out of the power armor. He takes over the power armor. Hey, uh, Bertie, if you want to review, you're in the wrong place, guy. brother. And wrong if place. I bring him to the Brotherhood. <laughs> perhaps the Brotherhood will forgive the fact that the knight died under my watch and just say, "Hey, you did the job, and that's exactly what we want from a knight." And maybe they'll give me a knight. So that's kind of his plot. He wants to redeem himself from the death of the knight. By doing the job, Lucy, her plot originally is just so ridiculous. So she shows up okay. at this town in Maine that's called right. uh, F I L L Y. So it's not Philadelphia. I remember her? this is the West Coast, okay? And the cool thing about this man, <laughs> yeah, the set design on the show is so good. Injured First of all, the vaults Henry. look exactly like the vaults oh, from the show. Look at that. It's like Sweet. to a T or from the show, excuse me, from the game. To a T, it's exactly what you would expect Hoskins from the vaults. Like if you were there in person, if they were real, that's exactly we'll what it looks it. like, right? And then when she reaches the first city, we'll it, it looks like Megaton. Like I would say that's Megaton, or that's um, what's the name of the town in Ugh. uh Fallout Four where they arrive at the like Redstone uh, Stadium? Bridgeport. But it's like it's a city. Like that's exactly <laughs> oh. what this looks like. This oh, town great. she arrives at. Okay. And my God, it's, and the, the people there, they all act like as if they were the citizens of a town like that. You talk to the vendor, and the vendor actually treats her really crappy because she's like, "Oh, you're a vault dweller for real." You want to know what people up here? Think of vault dwellers. We yeah, say, what do they think? fuck the vault dwellers because we think you're all just a bunch of rich people who hid from reality. And you think they're going to come what? down to the surface what? to save the us because fuck? we can afford to live in the vault? Well, screw you. What right? the fuck? Well, Lucy shows up in town. Screw you. It just so happens. I'm trying to get, you know, um, do you know Brooke Baroque's uh, film? Yeah. I love that she goes, the fuck? I'm trying to get that. I can't get exactly as good as she goes, the fuck? Yeah, you got it. The fuck? Oh, the yeah. shows up in the town. Yeah, so good. It just so the happens fuck? that the ghoul shows up at the town, and yeah, now the ghoul sees the uncle scientist and immediately says, you gotta do that. I, need to, I need to get that guy. I need my bounty. All right, right, we'll see, at Danny. At the same time, this vendor offers Lucy a contract to go with the, with the Enclave scientist oh. and take him to a safe place. Holy shit, man. Oh, okay. Two points. And the weirdest part about all this okay. is that the place that she wants her to take the Enclave scientist is where the leader of the Raiders is that raided her vault. <laughs> what? I know. Basically, it gets crazy. Uh, pretty crazy. Three. Uh, convoluted and intersecting. In truth, the plot gets way less complicated the further you get. But the first two episodes, it's pretty for a loop. All right? Um, I can so actually then still then understand him. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? You might know that. that system which is able to burn and then you can select a body part for a target on the enemy. You'll present tiles to focus on that body part and shoot it. Actually, damage will be pretty I heard it. I heard it's gonna basically kill or, or get take this scientist. Well, the vendor yells out, right. you know, thousand caps to anyone who defends the scientist because you know he's my, he's actually my bounty, and I gotta get him safe somewhere. So I'll pay everyone to defend him. Oh, so basically, the whole thing nice. comes one out with guns to fight the ghoul. <laughs> and immediately, the ghoul starts firing, and it's just like that. So it zooms in on his gun, it shows the bullet, leave the chamber, go across the entire city street. Oh yeah, go he right looked into the guy's head, and his head about explodes. this for so long. And like, holy on crap! It's like she's slow mo like, vats, this, like playing fall. Get this thing. Slow mo vats, dude. Whoa. Wow. Whoa and the whole it's a novel concept. Nobody's ever done that in a show before, ever. Sway makes a great point here. He said. He's saying all this shit about huge spoilers. Like, why? If, if then, oh, right. everyone knows the show, why we need to go through every fucking plot it's point? It's like that, and it's super duper yeah. cool for fans of the series. It's like it's an Easter egg. Cool. Wow, it's fan service that you had it's that in there. It's an Easter egg, So it looks bitch. like the It's fan service that you had one of the biggest mechanics from the game in the, in the ah. TV show. Oh, my God, dude. What fan oh service? These guys are insane. Cool. It's not. Wow. These guys love the fans. Phase. This ghoul, mm -hmm. he's basically near invincible. He's getting shot. He doesn't give a shit. Because he's a ghoul. You know, ghouls just heal from that stuff. They don't feel pain. They don't really care. <laughs> they don't care. give a shit, dude. And it looks like he's going to get his way. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, when it looks like the ghoul's about to win, Maximus cruises into town <gasps> wearing the power armor. What? Like what? a knight. Basically trying to be like the knight in shining armor. Whoa. Saying, hey, does, he, does he have a squire? Oh, stand down does now. He? And they get into a big fight. And it's a really cool fight. Really Max cool. will really fight for cool. a good like five minutes back and, and forth. In the moves. meantime, they keep cutting back to Lucy and the scientist and the vendor talking. And okay, you guys gotta get out of here. You know, you know, you know, get out to the escape into the wasteland or whatever. You know, and you gotta you know, get him you know, to. You know the I, head of the, the raiders, and she tells her where the head say, of the raiders you know, is. And she's but they don't say quite right. Um, just go like, yo. And incidentally, you know, it ends I, up hate it. All places, I hate it. In California, I hate in Hollywood, it. and later on, it's revealed it's actually the uh, the big observatory that they have at the top of the Hollywood Hills. I forget. Is it, not, uh, uh, it with G. I forget what it is. One of the, oh, Griffith Observatory. That's what it is. That's actually where. Go, 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 go. So basically, what happens is there a big fight ensues, and the ghoul does beat Maximus by basically because Maximus doesn't really know how to use the power suit that well. So basically, out smarts him and tosses him out of the town, and now chaos or I would say hijinks ensue. You know, the scientist, like I said, he dies. She, uh, Lucy ends up cutting his head off, and now the head is, is basically the package. But then the head ends up being eaten by a mutant. Then the ghoul and Lucy try to fight the mutant just to get, to get okay. the head back. Then the head gets lost. The head oh later on gets picked up this again by so Maximus. Well, Maximus it makes the game. It makes the show sound so fucking bad. For two hours, all right? It really does. Now everyone's out the wasteland. Everyone's Ugh. doing their own thing. Everyone's trying. <laughs> yeah, P. Wow, great point. He has no friends to talk about this. So hyper fixated. Yeah, <laughs> he can't talk. There's no one to talk to about this. This is only an outlet for his amazing takes. I didn't think about that because, like. 
well, you know, when you play like a really good game and your friend is also playing it and you talk to them about it. Or, oh, like, he good can't show, do that. And no, hell outlet. no. You can't. He can't. Did he not talk about this with Cat? No, Cat watched it, but they don't talk. So that's kind of tough, guys. That's Trying crazy. To get the head or not. You got to talk and for that. The key of the show. Oh, oh the key I would to the say, show. And probably for me, some of the most interesting ah, parts ooh, of the show. Hey, are the there's a crow. Nice. Because they keep flashing back to well, pre bombs and showing the setup of Vault Deck. And this is Thank what's you, fascinating Brandon to me is that never before, I don't think in any game, have they thoroughly explored Vault Deck. And oh, come God. to find out, Vault Deck was a company that was not just researching vaults, but they were researching all kinds yeah, we're, of we're things. We're the TV guide section life, of the genetics. show. <laughs> um, they yeah. were buying up other companies that had things like cold fusion power sources and stuff like that. Essentially, Vault Deck oh, wanted God. to kind of control the world, and they were actually conspiring with other companies to also control the world. There's, there's one scene mm -hmm. where there's a meeting between Vault Deck executives. No meaning. The head of Robco, mm -hmm. hint, hint, if you don't know who the head of Robco is, he's a major character from Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, um, what? And you told us everything company, else. Why don't you tell us that? And they're basically just plotting <laughs> yeah, to control the world. Yeah, what the fuck? Why like, not explain it? How do we stop this it? oncoming nuclear war that looks like it's going to happen with the rest of the world, the communists, essentially? Um, and how do we oh, benefit what? from it, right? So, uh, yeah, so just like uh, the other Fallout games, I don't yes, even corporations know are a big evil say. in the plot of the Fallout TV show. No idea and what's happening. To find out, before Walter Goggins became the ghoul in modern day, he actually was an actor who, 200 years in the past, played a cowboy on TV. So it's this funny because hard. he played a fictional character 20 years later. Like, <laughs> That's getting complicated. This is tough. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why the Charlotte got that got deleted. It said one is the loneliest number that you ever know, and that got deleted, Charlotte. I don't know why. Big ups though. Phil's faded. Oh, Zelda Jammy says at two times speed, DSP jerks his head to center so hard. Oh, let's watch for it. I watch for that. <laughs> Let's do it. He looks so confused right that's now. He is. He's living uh, the life of this oh, crazy bandit right. cowboy now. But huh? that's a character he played on TV 20 years prior. Really and what a coincidence, guess who his wife is? One of the high up executives of Vault Tech. Oh my okay? god. So this is a running plot. He's all about the all along. He really does. He's people. getting um, whiplash, dude. What I want you to do is kind of fast forward because I don't need to tell you the entire plot of everything. There's cold fusion involved uh, in this. Too There's late. ACR that basically got blown to bits. It's actually revealed in the course of the game. The NCR GD Sands camp that's basically supposed to be like their headquarters. That the North California Republic or New California Republic was blown to hell by a new by a bomb. And they're all dead, and that's actually what Maximus is remembering from his childhood. Oh, is when man. that bomb dropped, and his, his family and everyone oh, from NCR was killed. Pick white. Was survivor, saved not by going back. Okay, so with NCR gone, which is weird because remember this, this show yeah, takes place the, the chat the definitely not in the chat is remember, definitely the picking it up. Factions. There's the NCR. There's yeah. The Did agent, I miss the review part? I want his thoughts on the show, not the plot. Your choices, or you can go for your own fourth ending. Down to 189 viewers. So you power up a bunch of robots that used to work for Mister Miss Hand ending, and it's kind of an ambiguous ending. You don't know what happened. Dude, how can you not look in the mirror and realize that? You don't know. So there's no plan to do it. This is crazy. Good point, Steve Beef. Where's the interaction? Samurai, you're not muted. I, I see you here. No. Uh, there's no there. interaction yet. He hasn't he hasn't uh, he hasn't opened it up for interaction yet. We're still waiting uh -huh. on that part. This is where I just tell you the whole story. You gotta take notes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But this I taking place after those events. Okay. Shady Sands existed in New Vegas. But that's this entire show, the bombs that dropped the Shady Sands all happened after the events of New Vegas. Um and there is uh, at least in the show, there's no more formal oh, oh, NCR. Oh, 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 what ends up being revealed oh, 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 by the end of the show is that those bandits they're that casual three are actually the remnants NCR. of the NCR. Because uh, the NCR are no formal. Why? Well now we're giant lot of spoilers. Are you ready? I'm just gonna spoil the biggest problems right now to get them out of the way, because this leads to the finale of the show, and then we can talk more about interaction. I want to hear everyone's opinions on what you like and didn't like <laughs> we can talk about interaction is what, what? he said. Oh, more about oh sure. I want to hear everyone's opinions on what you like and didn't like. We can talk more about interaction. I want to hear everyone's opinions. Yeah, we can talk more about interaction. I want to hear about the interaction. <laughs> 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 like more changes and things like that. Okay. So the major plot, though, oh of the Fallout God. TV show is thus. Oh, the it's thus. Is, thus. That is the stimulus for this lore, this universe to exist. The stimulus for this lore. Right. I don't know if that's the way you use stimulus, but all right. Is that Vault Tech? No. Okay. The bombs themselves. <gasps> okay. Now, that was never what? a war. We always thought that it really oh, was a real world war. What? And that communists or whoever it was, the enemy of the United States, dropped the bombs and destroyed the country. And it's just a good thing that Vault Tech no. got the vaults up so inside. And that created the outside and inside world. Right, let's but see in this, this show, slow. it's revealed it was the Vault okay. Tech people, the CEO, including, yes, Walter Goggins' wife. Who orchestrated uh, the whole Nightbot thing? Do that? They felt that there were so many. Oh, factions it says you're posting links, Earth. Shiloh. But are you? That's it's, weird. They're not. Bot's, so, Night, Nightbot's saying you're posting no. links, but I don't. What know. happened? You see their last message? The yeah. J I because it's because they put a period. Oh, dot. In between. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. So I'll, I, don't, I mean, yeah. I, I don't. It's, it's night, but I don't it's, do it, brother. And that they were never that. going to That's ever stupid. get along. They were always going to cause war, as they say. No, war you kill never me. Changes. So because of that. They, being rich and powerful and supposedly smarter than everybody else, they decided to orchestrate a world mm -hmm. war by dropping bombs on their own country. Oh my god. And making people run into these vaults. Oh. And then essentially vault later on, first. 200, 300 <laughs> years later, head. let Fight. them out to repopulate the planet after the factions had all been destroyed. Now, I mean, how naive mm -hmm. that vault Tech thought that no one would survive uh -huh. on the surface that the bombs wouldn't How change life as we this? know it. This is unsavable. <laughs> How did okay? I'm not done. I'm not done. Review his review. <laughs> because movie science, he sounds so much better sped up. Oh, definitely. Snort never changes. Snort, snort never changes. <laughs> it doesn't. Create this it doesn't. apocalyptic, corrupted
How, you know what I'm saying? They, how arrogant Ugh. they were for assuming their bombs would kill everyone? Okay, right. Anyway. Okay. So now what? knowing that, that it was Vault Tech that orchestrated the entire thing, okay? This changes God, everything. so slow. So the NCR... Right, 1.5. ...are actually run, and this is what's never explained in the series. It's one of the it's big plot holes crazy. that maybe will be explained in a future season. All right, like, plot hole. Cobra. Chat, oh. let me know if... Chat, ch let me know if this is a real cannon plot hole, hole, chat. Here we go. Key cannon hole. The NCR remnants, <laughs> okay? Why are there NCR? Why are there only remnants? What happened in Shady Sands? Vault Tech blew up the NCR. Why? Because NCR was actually getting so much power in the Why? region. Why? They were starting to expand out, Why? and Vault Tech was afraid that they were going to raid the vault and basically ruin the entire thing. So they detected Shady Sands as the, the, the you know the capital of NCR, and they bombed it to basically end end the threat. Okay, uh -huh. pretty messed up. What's the plot? So Vault Tech not only created the apocalypse, what? then if anyone the plot hole, tries anyways. to get organized I, and save the planet yeah, on their own, bomb them too. Okay. Now you might say, well, wait a minute, how did they bomb them? Isn't this two hundred years in the future? Yes, but get this, and this is the other running plot thread. All of the Vault Tech executives are still alive. They're oh frozen God. in oh, Vault 31, yeah. which oh is connected to God. Vault 32 and Vault 33. They've been frozen but alive all along, monitoring the vaults and monitoring the surface. They're slowly thawing each other out over time to run these vaults. And in <laughs> How fact, are they doing that? They're the blowing on Vault each other? What's going on? The beginning of the series is actually one of the executive assistants <laughs> to the CEO of oh. Vault Tech who's been thawed out 200 years it? later oh, to run what? one of the vaults. So yes, Lucy, who I you know, think she's innocent, actually is in the family of Vault Tech. These evil ah. people trying to basically control the entire planet, and she oh never knew. Oh my god! Okay? Oh my so god. why are the MCR remnants Where's after the plot hole? It you know, sounds fine. This Hank character, the over yeah. If you don't know, if you don't know a lot of stuff about Fallout, it sounds like this is a crazy person just talking, saying random stuff. It really does. Yeah. <laughs> here, why they take him out of Vault Thirty Three? Because they know who he is, right. and they know everything that's going on, and they're trying to basically stop it. Um, they're stop anti Vault, this. and the leader of the MCR remnants apparently is the same woman <laughs> who two hundred years earlier was trying to get a grassroots movement of people to basically stop what Vault Tech was doing before the bombs ever dropped. And this is the weird oh, part. God. So the Vault Tech executives have been frozen for two hundred oh, years. Part's in the vault. Weird. They're slowly out. It it's, makes sense that some of okay. them are now in the present day running the vaults or whatever. Running Why out of skip juice. Woman, right? Who's the head of the NCR? I think mm. her name is more more Dever oh, or something dude. like that. Why is she what? still alive? It's never explained that she was cryogenically frozen. If she was, how? Because she didn't work for Vault Tech in the past. She was anti Vault Tech. So how the hell? So did she ever survive two hundred years? I don't it's know. Not Maybe she's got okay? something genetic. One of the things I don't know if it's a plot hole, but it seems more Stupid. like it's going to be something explained uh, later on. Moldover. How did she survive two hundred hours? Moldover, that's her name, Moldover. So okay. he um, said it. He just said hole. it may not be a plot hole, but they haven't. Explained, explained it, it yet. so it might yeah they yeah. just maybe it's nope henry we got some short field trips but not yet let's let it keep going so yeah pretty crazy that we got twist. some mu musical style field trips today Ooh. all right and so at the end of the show this is one of the biggest coolest climactic finales i've ever seen in my life in any tv show oh ever. yes it's gonna be great like the final episode episode eight was essentially the end We're of an epic video game. Well, imagine you played a video game for 80 oh. hours and everything showed up you know what it reminded me of the end yeah. of fallout new vegas where all oh the factions my God. of the Whoa. show are coming together awesome into a uh -huh. bunch of giant fighting so you've got the NCR a bunch of giant remnants, fighting. Yeah, I love giant fighting. At Griffith Observatory uh -huh. are being attacked by the Brotherhood, who are now how, now know oh, that they have that was the a giant of fight. The, <laughs> All right, so the air to, went oh, through a giant fight to get out of his stomach. <laughs> get it? <laughs> Lucy shows up, and Lucy is there because her dad's been kidnapped the whole the whole show, it's and she me, thinks she's trying to rescue her. her dad until Moldaver tells her the whole story. Your dad's evil. He's an executive for Voltec. He's a piece of crap. He destroyed the planet. That's not the reason. Nothing love. at that all. Guy's I can't trying to ruin everything Vegas. for everyone. And that's why I'm kidnapped. Okay. So now <laughs> the beans are spilled for Lucy. And while all of that is going on, the okay. ghoul shows up. Now the ghoul has had a crazy plot arc. He started off as a bloodthirsty killer and, and a you know a 100 mercenary at the beginning of the show. Okay. Mm, well, yeah, midway yes. through the show, he runs into Lucy and he's using her as a way to find the head of the scientist. What? But what ends up happening is he almost dies. He runs out of his chemicals. Oh my Lucy god! Goes out of what? Way to get him more like... chemicals, and she saves his life despite the fact he's done nothing. Well, I can bring her up in the show. At one point, he literally cuts yeah. a finger off. Goal. Okay, she doesn't care. She still goes back and does something nice and saves his life by giving him So basically, that kind of almost gives him a turn of character, and he starts remembering his past. How. Things were before the war. How things were before the bombs dropped. How he found out that his oh, wife was yeah, executive exactly. of Baltic, who actually was responsible for destroying the planet. Yeah. And it, oh, this is a show, recap. Don't expect all he anything wants else. To basically do yeah. is get to the bottom of this. He wants to know what happened to my wife. What happened to my kid? Are they possibly still alive somewhere? Possibly frozen uh -huh. with the other vault Tech people? And he wants to basically uh -oh. stop Tech. Oh, so he shows up. Very hot. Group of the observatory really? while the brother is there. Right? Over, and he gets um, in a giant firefight with them and kills a bunch of them. He even knows how to take Ooh. out the armor, the power armor, with one shot. <laughs> so he's like insanely overpowered and invincible in the show. The ultimate badass. The final climax scene badass. takes place in almost like the control room of the observatory. Ah, so damn, the Robert ultimate badass. Finally pulls this thing out of the onset of his head. What is it? It's cold fusion. It is an unlimited power source that just self replicates and generates. It's Whoa. the solution to the world's problems. And the thing is, Russell. Vault Tech had that solution all along before they ever dropped the bombs, and they refused oh, yeah, look at her. 100 percent to use it because they didn't want that to happen. Huh. They didn't want She's humanity to be better off. They wanted to be able to control humanity. 
So they actually bought uh. off the company that had cold fusion and hid it as a project <laughs> for a million years. And then 200 years later, an enclave scientist found that tech, reverse engineered there you go. it, and it's got cold Andrew's fusion. Andrew's goal will be so our, Moldava, our Moldava, Moldava, who looks like a villain on the show, ever wanted to do okay, was save like the wasteland. Like she it. wanted to get cold fusion. She wanted to power up LA using cold fusion. So all the people have power again, empowering them and making them basically strong again. <laughs> and she wanted to stop Vault Tech. And that's why she kidnapped Hank at the beginning of the show. So <laughs> yes. a pretty interesting, crazy premise uh, to the show. And so in this final crazy. scene, Lucy finds out that her dad uh -huh. is evil. The ghoul shows up and starts learning all this stuff uh, about Lucy and her dad chat and her daughter, who she is and all idea. that. Okay, so chat right now is just, there's a lot of LARPers saying everything you guys are saying. So he's saying uh, like, this is more of a plot summary than a review. That's Timmy uh, Jump Jump. He was in the LARP last night. Okay, yeah, a lot of that going yeah. on. Um, <laughs> chill down. Okay. Uh, okay, there's not a lot of people talking. I'll say that. Not a lot of people talking. Uh, uh, okay. A lot of rain. I gotta pee. Can I be excused to go to the bathroom? Good, <laughs> ups. Uh, there we go. I Famous gotta pee. Little Ricky. I gotta pee. <laughs> no, I'll keep an eye on it though. Okay. Somehow, so Hank good. escapes the cell he's locked in and gets into a, a suit of power armor. Girl. I know what she looks like. What are you talking about? Him and Moldaver sadly is mur is killed during these final fights. Is mur is killed. And <laughs> final I fight. Is knocked out. Shout out to final Lucy fight. Lucy gets knocked out, and <laughs> Hank escapes in the power armor suit. Okay. So what sucks okay. about this is obviously. Lucy is damn gonna, hot, going, super right? stuffer. And the, basically where the, where the show uh -oh. ends, a few <laughs> key critical plot points Careful. Happen. So number one, Let me see. Lucy gonna, and the ew, gold team up and leave together, which is crazy because previously they hated each other. Earlier in the oh, show, boy. they were, you know, at odds and, you know, nice the might even kill Lucy. Lucy. And now they're basically teaming up oh, for a common goal. Gals. Lucy wants to follow oh, Hank, stop him, and find out what the heck is really going on with Vault Okay? The ghoul who also wants to follow Hank because he wants to get to the bottom of what's going on in the wasteland. He also wants to find out where is his wife and child. What She's happened very pretty. to the executives of Vault Tech? Now, little does he know, possibly they're still frozen back in Vault 32, but they both collectively feel the only thing they can do is work together to track Hank and and and, uh, and find him and then try to get their answer. So that's the, the epilogue yeah, of their she's quest. Yeah, she's cute. I get it. Shows up late. Basically running into the room, but Moldova, Moldova is dying. <laughs> and explains to him everything going on, basically. That cool Thank you for works, doing the running. And how all of LA gets popped. <laughs> okay. Thanks, thanks for acting out the running. Everything going on, basically. Run, Phil, run. The room, but Moldova Maximin shows up late. Basically running into the room, but Moldova, Moldova is dying. <laughs> and explains to him everything going on, basically. Running into the that room. Cool works, and she turns he it on, and now all of LA gets popped. Okay? I don't think he knows how. Then, as basically, he doesn't run. He's power walks. We're going to hear about that tomorrow. Yeah. A lot of power walking lore tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Mike called the house and oh my god, I left for a work call and he's still going. Oh, we haven't got to a second of review yet. We're oh, just giving honey, you the book no. report. Lee Moldaver's dying. Yeah. All right. Big up. All the, the rest of the brotherhood run into the room and they credit Mike. Maximus oh, wow. with killing Moldaver. And now he basically is a hero of the brotherhood. So he went from being the lowest of the low dirt to a squire who then went probably <laughs> was going to be executed by the brotherhood because his knight died. And then he impersonated the knight and failed at getting back, you know, the, the, the technology. Failed. And by the end of the show, He's now basically going to be like the, the prime He's knight. Party Everyone's on, Dave. this guy, the guy who killed Moldaver. And by the way, the Brotherhood now has power favorite. over cold fusion, which is crazy. So that, look at the implications of that. The Brotherhood, who's trying to hoard all technology, just got their hands on the most powerful technology ever in the uh -huh. power, in the wasteland. Who knows what, power. Power. They, we, who crap, knows what right? episode this is? Lastly, and I don't there, know there, there, are, there are other plot threads as well. For he example, Lucy has a brother, like and he never leaves the vault, so he's always like a subplot. And his plot is that he suspects that things plot. are going awry in the vault. He discovers himself by hacking consoles again in Easter egg that references the games. He actually discovers that this whole thing's been run by Vault Tech. That Vault Tech executives are the ones in charge of the vault and always thaw themselves out no and then go become the overseer. Way. And you he even told us opens that up part. Vault 31 and finds yeah, one of those little robo brains things that is like a preserved brain Legend. running things. You got the, the problem jump is, scare. The brain one. locks him in Vault 31 and Welcome I'm stuck in there indefinitely because cool he found Club. out the truth. He actually finds all the frozen executives. I know. I have in, in no clue what the plot of this show is at all. I have listened to the whole thing. He discovers all this. He gets locked in there indefinitely and now we don't know what's going to happen to him. Obviously, we'll get more about that in season two. The big finale. It sounds like the most complicated show of all time. It sounds like yeah. so insane. And this like, is where finally I can stop showing. The Preacher with yeah. Decepticon right now, and that show's fucking complicated. This sounds crazier than that. <laughs> the plot, summary, summarizing the plot, we can talk about other things. Show. Finally, the big finale. It shows Hank in the power armor. Yeah. He's walking away Hank. from the sun. The sun's behind him. Shout out Hank. And then the camera goes behind him and shows him mm -hmm. what he's looking at. And he's looking at New Vegas. <gasps> and basically, the ghoul kind of says what? in the voiceover line, he's like, basically, Hank is heading to whoever's like behind the whole thing. Now, I had mentioned earlier, there is a flashback scene where it shows all the companies <laughs> together talking about controlling the world. Vault Tech is on one side, but on the other side is Robco. Does anyone remember who's the head of Robco? Uh, no. Maybe Rob, 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 Mr. Rob, Cops, Rob Lowe. to run New oh. Vegas. <laughs> so in the lore of Fallout TV show, New Vegas has not been destroyed. God damn it. New Vegas has not been destroyed by Lowe. NCR or Teaser's Legion. <laughs> Apparently, Mr. House won. Well, in the show, Leanna. Mr. House was Leanna's successful this. at the end of the oh. New Vegas story, and now he runs New Vegas indefinitely. And so Hank apparently was working for him like, all along. Flag. So Vault Tech Red, and Rob Rob Zombie. Zombie. companies conspired and yeah, working together Rob to control Zombie. the world. And Rob Zombie's a great answer. Rob on wheels, yeah. great answer. Robocop, no. that would have worked so somewhat. Hank is now going in the power armor to New Vegas to meet with Mr. House, and that's when the show ends.
What a crazy show. Okay. Right? Now, of course, I skipped a ton. And we, I'm going to talk about things Did I like, didn't like. Couldn't we're skip that much. Waffles and all of that over the next you hour or so. A ton? But in general, that show was probably <laughs> the best Rob adaptation Schneider, that's a good of anything answer. I've ever seen. All right? Why? Why do I feel that that's the case? Why are you because licking your mouth? They decided you see that to lick? make the show after. No, let me see the big. The brother, oh, look at this. <laughs> So, you decided to get a non-Italian pizza. <laughs> Let's talk mm. about it. <laughs> but that's the case. Because they decided to make the show after. I am yeah, not, what about the, I yeah, am what about, I heard about the nude cult. Yeah, what about the nudity? Hello? Oh, fuck. Well, he's not going to talk about that. Are you kidding? The events of all the games. What that means also, is it gives no them freedom arc. to create new happening. characters, new plot lines, new threats. <laughs> Nothing is already known. Because it takes place in the future. It's not a prequel. If it were a prequel, I'd be like, eh, it's not that big of a deal. But because it advances the lore of Fallout as it's something taking place in the future, now everything's at stake. Because you don't know what's going to happen, right? Oh my the god, all right. I got a screenshot this fucking... Halo, is that this, this they basically night bot streak. The core elements of the show, or the game, yes, and turn it into a it, show. Wait, but if you already played The Last it? of Us, you generally know what's going to happen in the show. Right? It's broken up you twice, know that in the Halo so it's not show, a true legendary one, zero, but it's right? pretty fucking bad. When you're bad. watching the, the Fallout show, you don't know what's going to happen. There's characters that I thought would be there the whole season, they died in episode two. You know, and Who's that's, that's really cool. Or DSP, <clears throat> fucking they didn't cool. Try look at that guy. He's fucking frame sexy. Frame look at that night bot. Try to look at that night bot streak. Like that. But they tried to make a show that's <laughs> oh, yeah. like so first so and foremost, bad. and then <gasps> worry about tying it into the world. It's, it's, it's broken up by it bro really, really does. It keeps you happy. It keeps you excited. It keeps you happy. Like I can't wait to see what's happening next. Right? I'm just so pumped for the rest of the next episode or whatever. And when you see that final episode and you see New Vegas in the background, you're like, oh my god, they did it. So Fallout season two is essentially going to be Fallout New Vegas two, which is what everyone wants. Everyone wants more Fallout gameplay content. Everyone wants more lore regarding New Vegas. Because at the end of New Vegas, you know the game ends with different endings. Did you side with Mr. House? Did you side with Yes Man? Did the NCR win? Or did Caesar's Legion win? Well, now we know. NCR oh didn't win because they got blown the hell up. Me, Caesar's dude. Legion didn't win because they're nowhere to be found. So it's either one of two. Mr. House or Yes Man. However, if Hank is heading towards New Vegas, why would he be running towards Yes Man? Right? He's going to head towards someone who he knows is still there, he has contact with, and who's behind the whole thing. So it sounds to me like okay. this is making canon that, that the Mr. Uh. House ending of New Vegas is the, the lore canon ending. Oh, oh, and that's oh, where they're oh, going oh, in season oh, two. Oh, I heard it. Can you four, imagine if four. season two of this show was also New Vegas? Did he, he say, did he say it once or twice there? I want to make sure. I think only I once, though. I, heard it. Here, let me hear I thought it. I heard it once. The, the lore yeah. canon ending. Right. And that's where Lord the Lord Cannon ending. Sounds Lord to me like licking this is making canon that, that the Mr. Whoa, see, the there thing, was another one sounds here. to me like this is oh, making canon that, that the making Mr. House ending oh. of New Vegas <gasps> is the, the Lord Cannon ending. Okay, two, two, okay, that's twice. Season two. Okay, so that's four, yeah. and then we get a five. If season two of the show is all set in New Vegas, and we get to see all the factions, we get to see the Kings, and we get to see uh the the Omer Omertas, and we get to see the ones with the Gormans, the people, the cannibal people. What do they call the white white mass or white love society or something like that? And they're all at odds, right? And you get interactions of all these different factions, and Mr. House is in play, right? All that. You know how cool that would be? Like that's insanely yes, cool. That'd be and cool, the thing dude. I'll be 20, just uh, 20, 30 years after the, 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 the Vegas, place. So things might have changed. There might be references <laughs> to the new Vegas plot lines, but things have changed. Maybe like, different people are in charge of the gangs, and you know what I'm saying? Like it has massive potential. You know what I'm saying? To be a humongous massive people, potential. Fans of Fallout and people who just like the show in general. So this show set the stage for something even more epic than the first season of the show. It's perfect. Like, that's what I want from a show. No? Like I don't want to watch a show like The Last of Us where everything is Why? trying to be frame for frame recreated from the show. And that's the good part. But there's but, never anything interesting because you already know what happened. No, you no, saw no, the no, game no, already. No, no, okay. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. Did you watch The Last of Us? <laughs> no, um, I didn't see the TV did you show. Watch the show. No, no. The TV show, you know, it did change some things, but it did. It it went. It was it was very good. Episode three. It was incredible. It was one of the more beautiful episodes of a show I've ever seen. I loved it. And yes. it showed you. A huge background of Bill, who we only got a little bit of information from about him from the show, uh, the game, and you got all this information about him and his partner. It was just incredible. You got a lot from the show. He just doesn't like the fucking game. He's so such he, a little bitch, man. Yeah. Let's so think about this logic, though. He's saying like, uh, if you already know what's going to happen, it sucks. But think about every no. movie adaptation ever in history. I mean, sometimes you change some right. shit, but most of them stay <laughs> with what you get in the book or whatever. So yes, that, that's still exactly. fun to see it in movie form, right? That's what you exactly. want to see. If, if you love something <laughs> and you get a movie or a show made out of it, that's awesome. <laughs> Michael has a question for Injured, I believe. He says, this is like a bad what? cocaine experience. Don't lie. I've never taken <laughs> I've never taken cocaine, but Injured, but could you, oh, do you God. agree with this or not? I don't know. I mean, I have I have had a, bad, a couple of bad experiences on that. And know. yeah, yeah, hmm. it, could be, it could be like that. Yes. Oh, okay. Right, gotcha. it, and then the times when they try to change it, it's not that good, right? The, the few times they tried to interject a whole new episode that's about side characters or whatever, eh, it's just kind of killing time. Can we get back to the main characters? That's what it feels like. In this, this totally, 100% <laughs> sure, is so refreshing. 
and so much attention that. to detail <laughs> to put all the different kinds of food and, and, and environmental stuff that it feels like you're learning there's a red, a red rocket <laughs> oh my God, gas station that, that looks exactly a long like the red ago, rocket guys. gas station for Fallout 4. Yeah, she doesn't do it, she doesn't do it so normally now, guys. No. It's in her past. No. When you were watching, I'm actually very sober now, like painfully. The people who made Who's in her troubled youth, guys? Show yeah. low Whoa. Fallout. It's fake. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, was it Jonathan Nolan, I believe, the director, who made who did Westworld, worked in Interstellar, Chody, or Buff, on, the, on the Dark Knight trilogy. This guy knows his stuff. You know he researched it. There's no way that he just, I'm going to make it my own now and change everything. No. He wanted to lovingly recreate the universe for an audience that already loves it, but he also wanted to find a way to do that. Because of the plot line is something fresh and new for everyone and it interests everyone. Did you know the character who plays Lucy, the actress, excuse me, who plays Lucy? Yeah. So when she got cast in the role, they said to her, do you want to just learn the lines or do you want to research? She says, no, I want to research. And they gave her the game. She says, I want to play all these games. Oh, yeah. Who, oh, God. Who would say that as an actor? I don't give a shit about the games. Just tell me the fucking lines, dude. I don't give a shit what's going on here. Who's going to say that? And she yeah. sat there and she played all the games yeah. to understand them. And then okay. she put that into her oh, role. And yeah. it shows because she cared okay. about the source material. This wasn't just a role for her to make money. This was something that she ended up no, immersing trust herself me. in and caring Trust about. me. Trust me. It was to make money. She wanted to do a good yeah. job. And it really feels like the whole cast yeah. was in on it. Like they understood this was our chance to take a video game universe and actually make it something well, vibrant like, and alive. Like Henry Cavill. <laughs> this work he... And people who love this music. Disease... <laughs> he likes all the lore of the shit that he does. This is not uncommon. Yeah, but I know it's but like wait, so Goggins did, did, when I was way to avoid game learn. All right, cool, but it's not like some big special thing like she's some amazing thing doing something that no one's ever done before no. is learning about a, her role before she does it. Come on, something no, vibrant, it's alive, what and meaningful. People who love this and people who love this these existing what IP the to fuck? make yes. it be recreated faithfully. Not, yes. oh, this is just the Halo show, but we literally changed ninety eight percent of the source yep, material. Yep, so yep. you know it's for a new audience. Yeah, but uh, it sucks. It disappoints yep. everyone who's played uh -huh. any Halo game up to no. now. No, what good is that? So that's what's great about the Fallout show. Oh, God. All right? I now talk yes, for about he a does, hour summarizing true. the show and giving yeah. you my general thoughts. So Yes. Oh, that was general thoughts? That wasn't general thoughts. That oh, was the recap of God. the show, dude. I feel like I just read the Bible. I hope you enjoy Bible. what I'm going to do right like, now. Like, fuck. this as part one. And we're going to do a part two. And part two is going to be way different. Oh, part two, God. rather than just talking about what happens in the show, and summarizing it, I want to talk about what I liked and didn't oh. like. I want to talk directly oh, to my God. live audience about what they think. Oh. Did they like it? Did they not oh, like it? Yeah, you're going to love what they say. here's the thing. This show changes. All right, guys. So let's talk uh, about uh, what we're gonna do. If you're, if you're in that, if you have your SOK account ready, I would say, I, I would say, what's the play here? Because do we want to like talk about? I was thinking like maybe funny just to talk about like other stuff, like not the show, but yeah, <laughs> but that that might be too easy for him to get around. I think we should talk about yeah. like maybe is it like can we? Is there any link? To fucking um, what's the uh, what's the what's the show? What's the game with the ass? <laughs> Uh, stellar, Ass? stellar, stellar blade. Oh, <laughs> is okay. there any stellar link blade. there? Is there any <laughs> link? <laughs> Some people are very sad. I told you, I, YouTubers out there. I, don't, oh God, I do have a prediction. No, this is a lore error. I think, Good. Yeah. I think he's gonna get into it with some people in chat about certain things about the show or okay. you know the games that he got wrong no you're wrong you're oh, yeah. wrong oh yeah you, if, no. if, if you ever want to say anything say yeah that's that's gonna happen for sure because if you don't yeah. question what his takes were also call the show yeah. stellar yes call the show <laughs> stellar and also uh bring up a like full experience a bladeful know. experience yeah yeah <laughs> Oh, fuck, I'm going to talk about this because Todd Howard. Oh, shit. Oh, Todd Howard. Howard. The show basically has caused a new problem. All right. He's going to get into it. But for now, about. I hope you enjoyed hour one. Hope you like the Yeah, nudity. That was it up from the basement. That's what nudity. I meant. Nudity. Ah. Bring up the nudity scene. Ask, get him talking about that. That's all good plans Ooh. here. My general thoughts about yeah, the show. Yeah, he didn't touch any of that. Back for hour two. If you're live on the stream, thanks. Because a lot of people were saying, yes, this is a summary. I said I was going to do that. I said there was going to be a do summary. Do you see first, boobs and stuff? And then we were going to get the interactive part of the show, which is going to start right now. You probably do. Thank you for watching up to this point. And now we're going to get into the interactive portion. I'll see you for that in the next video. What? Okay. So I split the part. I'm actually going to remove this now. So now you don't have to stare at this anymore. Oh, and, he's uh, removing it. Bye-bye. And uh, then gonna, we're going to okay. basically do the second half. And the second we're half gonna is going to be bye -bye, me cool. telling okay. you what I like and don't like. And I'd like to hear from you now. I want you to hear from you guys. Mm -hmm. like, what are your favorite things about the show? What didn't you like? Like, who's your favorite character? What, do you have a favorite scene? Okay. What didn't you like? Do you have, like, nitpicks about the show you really don't like? Because I'm actually very interested about the lore implications. Yeah, that's a good one. About the lore of the show changing. No, the that's the easily game. banned, though. There's a show where there's a game. Well, Todd Howard opened his big mouth and caused all these problems. And now we've got to deal with it. Well, maybe not. Because then he'd have an excuse to be like, well, oh, fucking gross. Oh, He's got to put it back okay. exactly right. Can you right. check my leg for a second here? Oh, um, we get, oh, oh, oh. Because that would, <laughs> that would give him, like, a chance to talk about, like, how there's too much nudity in, in TV now. <laughs> okay. So now, by the way, mm. now, now that I'm done summarizing the show, it's fully interactive. That was robust. Hold on. Active again. If anyone it's fully interactive okay. again, no. guys. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that's a... Ew. That's a very si that's a very oh, cyndrical like cyndrical body right there. Oh, 
Oh my it's god! Like a, it's like a big cylinder coming down. Yeah, right, let's go. Uh, now that we're summarizing the show, it's fully it's interactive like again. It's like a big nuka cola. I will do a live shout out right away. <laughs> yeah, this is no longer me just blabbing and, and lecturing. This is now going to be just like a normal lecturing, conversation. Lecturing, blabbing, and lecturing. So he knows what he's doing. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to change it. We're going to flip the formula now. I'm oh, flip the script. Oh, oh, flip the script. Oh, flip the script. Oh, flip the script. Yeah. Flip it up, boys. Flip it up. Okay. Let's begin. Yes. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my uh, that, mean, that means no shout-outs, by the way. So good job, everyone, not tipping. Oh, oh, stream of the Fallout TV good. Show. Keep the your money. Do something nice for yourself. Go get some frozen yogurt. And it's a major plot point. Now, this is ah. going to become different. Interactive. Now it's about opinion. It's not just about recapping or what happened. Now it's about everyone's thoughts, including mine. So I'm going to actually start interacting with my audience now. Mark <laughs> Megan says, big show. I only want to up to episode <laughs> I'm going to start interacting with my audience now. It's time to I'm interact. I had to the stream for the end. Yeah, you didn't want to be spoiled, obviously, on the end. And man. But, but Dark Mega, just so you know, we are yeah. going to be talking big plot spoilers here. We are. Uh -huh. I know people right now are going to be talking about the end of the show and stuff. All right? Uh, so definitely, you might want to take off. You don't want to spoil. Is that Chew in a basement? Me. Pistol just no, did a super chat. I think it's a studio. I need to do it. The next season oh. is going to uh, be uh, going cannon, to New Vegas, and it's going to give it a cannon. The cannon is oh currently God. at the six right now. Boy. Yeah, I mean, that, that oh, was one of the cool things in the Hell show. Yeah. They finally explained the origins of the Vault Boy. So that Vault Boy actually was 28 percent of you are fucked. human as an actor doing a PR campaign for Vault Tech, and he was the one who came up with the thumbs up pose to begin with. Oh my God. The studio, nice. <clears throat> cool. Dynamic. Bang, bang. Uh, Taylor the God says, do you there think we'll see the Legion or maybe even more NCR? So, Caesar's Legion. Here's the thing. If this is to be canon, and first of all, we should address the elephant in the room. I'd like to answer, Mateo, but let's address the elephant in the room. Todd Howard came out in November. Okay. He said the entire show is canon. To, to Fallout lore. Yeah. He did it again. Okay, oh, oh, again, 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 again. Sorry, he said it again. He says, oh, I think oh, he's oh, taking oh, the right, work. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We, I will make sure we oh, get the right correct count. Kind of sucked. I'm going to make sure lie. we get the right count. I was, I was thrown off here by the bubbles. Hold on. He said the entire show is canon to, to Fallout lore. He did it again. Okay. They just interviewed him again, like the other day. And okay, he said it again. Six. He says, oh, I painstakingly worked with the, with the, the crew so that it's 100% canon to Fallout lore. There we go. Tom Howard is a dirty liar. And we all know this. Everything that comes out of his life is life. Everything that comes out of his mouth is life, right? He said a million things about Starfield that weren't true. So does that mean he he's like, like wow, a full liar? Right? Or is he just like That's a half he liar? He's the PR guy, the face of Bethesda. Wait, wait, was that two or three? Hold on. I think it was wait, two. I think, I think it was we two. Did we just add two or did we add three? You gotta I've make it curious. people in chat say seven. I thought two. it was seven. Yeah. I, I, I'm thinking I hit, hit it one extra time on accident. I will I will go down oh, to two. Yes, okay. okay. Yeah. Worry, I can fix it. I have the capabilities. Okay. I have the capabilities to fix the count on the fly. Nice. Stop the count. <laughs> Stop it. All right. Stop. We're at seven now. We are at seven. We have two more to get to nine plus. I'm guaranteed we do now. Okay. Now it's not even fucking close. All right, let's go. Ugh. All right. Just in the first episode of the show, the ghoul doesn't talk like other ghouls. None of the ghouls talk like other ghouls anymore. That's a lore change. All the ghouls need chemicals to survive. That's a lore change. You already changed two pieces uh -huh. of lore. That's not canon with the games. Oh, you God. Died, Todd. Nine. You see? This is your what game, I think Todd. Is Here's what's going to happen, eight, in sorry, my opinion, eight. and you can disagree, and I'd love to hear your thoughts about this, okay? It's your game, Todd. <laughs> this show's going to take off. Guess, guess why? Howard. Because there's no Fallout Howard, right Howard, hello. We've got no Fallout <laughs> game that's come out any anytime recently. Fallout 76 is the most recent one. You can't hear me? I'm loud, dude. Live service game. The last <laughs> I can turn Fallout it down. Fill it down. Fallout game is nine years old. I, I can hear you. I'm we have no Fallout content fine. to consume, just old stuff. So what's going to happen is this show is now the new consumable canon of Fallout. Oh, God. I think what's going to happen nine. is... That's nine. You win. Nine. Season one, oh, season two, it. season three are all going to happen before another game comes Get out. Get fucked all but the these others. these seasons are going to be what everyone knows. You guys so are right. going to happen. They're just going to change the lore yep. of the games. All right, so and everyone's going to be like, oh, let me no, end this I poll. that, but... That's what they're going to end up doing. That was pretty good. people are going to love this show that so much because they do right now. Right. People are consuming canon the show count. No, we'll keep it going. So let's do... They're going to... I'm going to put... I'm going to pause for a second. Let's do like 15. Yeah. Fifth, okay. I'll put the over under at at. Okay, right now we have mm. we have nine. I'll put the over under at fifteen. All right, above okay. fifteen or le under fifteen. Mm. You think twenty is better? All right, I saw two twenties. Oh, now All there's right. three. Okay, Ooh. can I count twenty twenty over or under? Okay, <laughs> can I count over or under twenty? All right, here we go. <laughs> Above twenty or under twenty? That is the new ca new poll. Start it now. Cause yeah, and and by the way, you can't if you're a larper with your SOK account, you cannot push it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But let's go. I'm gonna say above. I love this 20. so much. <clears throat> this is gonna become the new canon. 
You know, oh God. I think this will what override the fuck, dude? all of if the you games voted previous. under 20, so what's wrong with you? Now you're not going to hear rules that talk like this. Okay, now you want to get your vote. I don't no, want to hear this. Fuck you. From now on. No, it won't. You're going to need their chems to stay no. alive. Okay. And you saw what I'm saying? So, to answer Mateo the guy's yeah, question, say. do you think we'll see the Legion? What the fuck? I don't know. Because the thing is, Roll back if, cannon if the code. ending of the series is to be true, yep. and Hank is heading towards New Vegas because apparently Mr. House... I don't know is why him saying Baltic, Hank is so go gross, boss, but it is. Essentially. Hank. Um, Hank. Because everything went wrong. I'm snorting coke. That means Mr. House what? is in control. Oh, Mr. House someone won. said I'm snorting that means coke. The Legion oh, nice. is at the Mike very all says, least, I sniffed a bit in my 20s too. Right. DSP is 100% skiing tonight. Subdue. No, he would, he would not do drugs. I don't, take over New well, Vegas I don't to think anybody would sell them to him, honestly. I think he's just that in a happen. weird, if, if manic place still in, in his life. It's weird. And he's heading towards New Vegas because he also Mr. has House nobody to talk to. Yeah. So, yeah. Where's he getting it from? That's the problem. So, yeah. I almost think that maybe he'll be referencing he does not do drugs. remnants of the Legion, but I don't think we're going to see the Legion in the full capacity that they were alcohol is his drug or represented in the New Vegas game. And WWE champions. He's a huge hard-on for like illegal law. One hundred percent. way he would do One that. One of the like, pieces of contention. Booze is a legal is drug, so yep. he's doing is that. a problem because they're saying the NCR is not just Shady Sands, and in fact, they show a sign oh, go on, in the sign. show that says Shady Sands population thirty five thousand. Right. All right. But the thing Ew. is, what? did you just throw up in your hand? The NCR what the in, the, in the actual lore of Fallout fuck, is much bigger than thirty five thousand people. Maybe that's just their main settlement, but they should have had. All different kinds of ch towns, cities, and campus all I, I, over I, I, the West Coast. So just because they blew up Shady Sands doesn't necessarily mean that's the end of the. I'll, NCR. I'll be right back, real quick. But yep. season one kind of makes you feel that way. The big finale fight with Moldaver and the leftover NCR people feels to me like that's it. Like that's the end of the NCR. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, great point, dude. I really agree well, with that. I don't know. Maybe that speaks maybe to that's me. A that take maybe really that's spoke a bait with and switch, me. And all of a sudden, the NCR oh. will show up in a heavier capacity later on in the show. I would Definitely say right bait and now, switch, dude. Anything's possible. Seriously, because we won't know until that first episode of season two airs, and we see Hank running into Mister House and see what happens there. That's when we're going to figure everything out. Yes. We don't know what the canon ending of New Vegas was, so that's what's going to confuse everybody. That's eleven. Okay. Dark Magus is most likely House defeated both the NCR and the Legion. Well, if you do the Mr. House ending, that is correct. In the Mr. House ending of New Vegas, he uses his upgraded, what are they called, Armatrons? His upgraded yeah. robot so Decepticons. You, you upgrade them during the course of the game. You get the coin, you put it in the bunker, it upgrades the robot army, and then he uses his robot army to subdue <laughs> both sides. That's both so the NCR fucking bad. and the Legion lay down their weapons, and Whoa. Mr. House wins. Oh, He's Mr. In control House. control of all of New Vegas, and essentially you Spaghetti work for Spaghetti Sam him sent now, to Discord, so or this right here? In that organization as the career, but that's the, his ending. Securitrons, that's what they're called, Securitrons. Oh, uh, Decepticons. Um, Got it. So, if that is the canon ending, yeah, maybe the Legion oh, and God. NCR still were allowed 12. to exist, but they were all under the control of Mr. House. <laughs> Mr. House. I love Mr. House. Oh, nice Taylor shoe. Says it would be cool if they make some companions actual characters. What about Raul or Lily? Raul could be played by Bedani Trejo. That's who he is in the games. They could do Whoa, that for sure. Oh, hello. Lily, yeah. See, that, that was one thing, too. There's no super mutants in season one of Fallout. And I think, honestly, it's budget concerns. For example. It, is it? There is one giant mutant monster in season one of Fallout. Okay. It's a huge mutated lizard amphibian creature. And you saw it in the trailer. <laughs> you saw it everywhere. I'm going to be honest. Uh, uh, Snick Diddley says, this is the worst stream of all time. Oh. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you what I like, oh my like God. about the show. I'm and not immediately into CGI gone. a lot. I'm not. I'm not a CGI guy. Oh, this guy's not. Oh, I'm what a hot take. Tastefully when done. I'm not um, a CGI guy. As more of a, a supplemental Look at the way thing. He's sitting. I hate movies that are all CGI he looks like most a of the time. Um, I think the Fallout TV series does a great job of balancing practical <laughs> effects with CGI. Ooh, practical CGI effects and CGI. Over the top, blown up in your face constantly. Ah. Uh, okay. Mm. It's not a facial. It's no facial style CGI. No. <laughs> it's not. It's not blown up in your face like a face a facial. No. It's not like that. No. That we, monster we sucked. We don't like it. Blown it's up more. In our yeah. Faces. It's more covered. Yeah. It's not in your face. Yeah. Like I don't like that monster. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the one mutated monster. It's more in the like whole tissue ship. style. <laughs> and every time that it was on screen, I thought it looked stupid. You know, it was trying to eat Lily. Oh, Derek Lily, showed up, of course. It was trying to eat Lucy. Of course. And I never believed it was really there. I was like, oh. And even I later, never believed it was really there. What? 
<laughs> they show one of them what floating the in the background. Do you know wrestling's fake, brother? <laughs> and like gelling. Oh, right. Put the fucking thing back. I hate this. It, I just don't like that creature. You know, I liked uh, everything else in the show. What? That creature is like my pet okay. thing about the show that they just had to well, have. What, why don't you what just creep? suspend CGI your belief and allow monster. yourself to enjoy? Like, what the fuck? Good. You know, it looks good in the video game. It just you don't doesn't look good. Look good. Um, what creature are we talking about? Let's find this creature. Uh, creature? Uh, in, yeah. in, the, in the show. So here's the thing. Super mutant. Like mutant creature. It's a season okay. one fallout. Lore. Not oh, present fog out. whatsoever in the show. Ah, you do hear a sorry, couple allusions to the Gulper, them. I'll I, find it. people actually say super mutant and talk Gulper, about super okay. mutants in the dialogue. Money creature, but yes. But never is there a real super mutant in the show. Okay, right, wow. So That's budget constraints like though, right? super mutants in season two? Mm -hmm. Sure. But if they're going the New Vegas route... Not a lot of super mutants in New Vegas either, right? Like, Not like a lot the super of super mutants super in New Vegas either. In New Vegas, mm -hmm. in New Vegas mm -hmm. they're primarily that was focused on nasally. the super mutants that are using the the stealth boys to go invisible, and then they lose their minds, uh -huh. right? Like, if they they have that drug or whatever that makes them go completely invisible, but then they're like <laughs> losing their minds; they're going nuts. I forget what they're called, the Nightkin, right? Yeah, sorry. So, Nightkin. So, yep. Nightkin. I suck. If that if that's the case. <laughs> You know, maybe that'll be part of it, but there really isn't that much super mutant presence in New Vegas. So perhaps there could be some super mutants, but I don't think they would be as prominent uh, as if it was Fallout 3's plot. My God, they're, they're he, everywhere, right? He so, cried about the super ginormous super like mutants, not enough right? zombies in so, Last of Us too. So, but no, why are you crying about that? Like not enough mutants. He doesn't like enough doing? super mutants. He wants <laughs> not too many. Uh, super mutants. says mm, it's confirmed okay. season two of Fallout has been offered a twenty-five million dollar tax credit to film in California. The budget is going to be bigger in season two. Cool. Very uh, yeah, just say just say fake. Uh, please say fake facts like that. Like I don't know if that's yeah. real or fake, but like real fake facts like that are great. Say it's shit like that all the time. They hired Santa Claus to help out on this <laughs> yeah. set too. Yeah, like yeah. Tom Cruise is signed on for season two. That kind of stuff. <laughs> cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or someone Matilda he hates. Says, What's an actor he cool hates? They add the career as a character. They can also. Uh, yeah, uh, injured is eating DoorDash. Pop. What DoorDash cereal Sorry, are you eating? Benny. No, no, I'm not. I got. Oh, we got some red velvet cake that I. Red really Velvet wanted, cake, so. big ups. <laughs> yeah, Any Red yeah. Velvet fans in chat? I am. Red Velvet's pretty <laughs> solid. It's Holy got God. like cream cheese frosting. It's so good. Does it have the Red Velvet usually comes with red dusting as well. Does it get that too or it no? It does. It oh, has see? that. Why is that? Answer me that. I don't know. Red Velvet always has the dusting. And I think that's a, that's a very underrated part of Red Velvet. You always have the dust. It's good. It, I it's like required. It. Yeah. Well, it should be dead no matter what. No matter what, it doesn't matter what choices you make, doesn't I think DoorDash cake, kill shut Benny up. or Benny get killed. Is there a situation where Benny survives? I live Vegas? too far from town that. to like order delivery. It's too expensive. He might. There might be a way to keep him alive. But oh, I mean, yeah, you're like the bad order, you know, like, oh shit, it's that crazy house. It's like, oh fuck, it's gonna yeah. take me 30 minutes. They don't even tip. No, just kidding. I know you tip. Yeah. I think it's really hard tip, to do. You know? You gotta. Did you ever like, do just the tip him, or? Or mm. the Legion uh, kills him. Of course. Someone kills him. Just asking. At some point. Of course. Just the tip. Um. See, here's the thing. Uh -oh. I don't know how the courier would fit into the plot of the show. The courier is the. I heard the courier is going to be played game. by uh, David Spade. Even That'd be awesome. The thought of the courier is kind of weird. <laughs> oh, so be very Mr. Cool. House needed to get. Yeah, this he doesn't like Troy Baker. Just say they got Troy Baker Vegas, on there, right? <laughs> yeah, and Troy. instead of like putting this control <laughs> chip into a regiment of <laughs> armed troops or robots, he just hires a ton of couriers, each having a fake coin and one of them having the real okay. one, all trying to go to New Vegas at once. Thinking that that's Jack somehow going to be what? better. Yeah, Polly Shore is going to play sense. one of the mutants. Does that even make sense? That kind of <laughs> if you really want someone to get there, you just hire a whole bunch of fucking people to defend it. You don't give it to what? a bunch of random people and have All them right, transfer. Super Trevor's right? trying. How um, would you survive the wasteland? What would be your plan? That's a good question. Really, the was just a plot device, honestly. That's why he never gets a real Very name. You make the name, but it doesn't matter. You're not voiced. You're the silent protagonist, right? He's not yes. going to respond, I just think that that was the way to get you to be the main character of the game. I don't know if the courier is enough of an enthralling character that I want to see them enthralling, in season two of the Fallout <laughs> enthralling. Show. they were a, mm. a, a means to an end and now that the game is over I don't know if I care about the courier ever again it's kind of like so the courier walks away bye Stop bye saying courier. yeah, yeah there you go that's the a good idea if we, can we get Kojima like you have to be mm. don't be be a little bit like reserved but yeah bring up Kojima my I heard Kojima's <laughs> getting like don't say he's writing but say oh, like yeah Kojima, I heard they're in talks with Kojima to get him to write an episode or something like that. You know what I'm saying? There might be a chance there. Yeah. Land and that's it. You got to be reserved. You know, if the courier is following the main. Yeah, he's plot not of even Vegas reading chat. This is ending, supposed that to be the, the interactive part. Still works for house. You know, he maybe be one of the head ups there. 
Working for house? They got respect the, pa- respect the pack. Respect the pack. Respect the pack is doing the CGI for season two. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't yes. know if that would work. Please, JT says you can kill Mr. House and be in control of them of yourself with Yes Man. That is correct. Don't say that, by the way. there's two problems with that. Number one, that would be funny, you don't though. know if Yes Man actually is trustworthy. Toby Turner is playing it. Kind of Cena. Super mutant. <laughs> Will Yes Man do Toby everything Turner's going to be uh, Or are uh, these machines immune. actually becoming sentient? It nice. almost feels sentient. like they are, but the game just ends and you don't really know what actually happens. Definitely. Okay? Yes. That's number one. Number two... If oh, Hank, you. at the end of the season one of the show, is heading to New Vegas, do you think he'd just be heading to New Vegas and not knowing who's in charge? Oh, look at that. No, it's yes. obvious, especially from that cutscene flashback. Look at that. Here, the fork Mr. of the House red velvet. Oh, with sorry. The it's, I Vault put Tech. it down. I'm, I'm good. Made an agreement. I'm done. That goddamn Thomas red velvet. New Vegas. Mm-hmm. The backup plan was... Oh, it was good, brother. The dust. Or you got the fucking dust. Right. They'd go and they work I hate the dust, House. man. Now, they all are well aware of what's going on on the surface. They have all this information. Hell, they bombed Shady Sands when NCR was getting power. So it's not like they're in the dark. Sorry, they know I'm everything sorry. that's going on on the surface through no, real place. So obviously, if New Vegas has been overrun by Yes Men robots, they're not the red go velvet there. dust. Why would Hank go there, right? <laughs> so it sounds to me. <laughs> are you Googling that? 100%. I should get a picture. Yeah, let's get a picture of red velvet dust. This is the canon ending. Of, of New Vegas. Actually, and let me that's see if I can find the actual one we got. To... All right, all right, all right, here we go. Melania. Melania says there's a rumor Phil Spencer is getting a special role in season two. That would that be considered canon, oh. or can, can canon continue? Hold on, what the fuck was that? Oh my god, it got li- it got limbed right away. Oh my god. Oh my oh, god, is... that's bullshit. That's what? ridiculous. How'd that get limbed that House fast? Tell him everything's this gone is awry kind of an ugly picture, but I found the one that we got. But everything's gone awry. Now okay, the I'll send it to you. Cold fusion, <laughs> and NCR is what gone, the fuck? but now we got bigger Just because it was different. Oh, right? That's what I think is happening. This is now. what Indra's eating, by the way. <laughs> it's what we got. We got it from Safeway. It was delicious. <laughs> Safeway. Okay, wait. Well, right. of course. Of course. Hold on. Okay, I'll show. Let's fuck this, whatever he's talking about. Who gives a shit? Let's mm-hmm. Who can guess how much this costs? Indra, don't say it. <laughs> All right, I so don't, okay. for, don't say. Just oh, You don't know? Just look it up if you don't know. Oh, wait, I see. Yeah, okay. How much did this cost from Safeway? A, f- a Safeway's American. Look, if you don't know, <laughs> S- Safeway's an American grocery store. It's kind of middle mm-hmm. of the road, not like uppity, but not too. It's not Walmart either. I'm no. gonna guess that is a. That is probably a twenty. <sighs> this is tough. This is tough. How, how many inches is it? What's the girth? Um, it is. Uh, it is eight inch. Eight inch. Two okay. Layers. Two layers, eight inch. So yeah. we're talking yeah. double, double me. So hold mm-hmm. on. Let me get myself out here to measure. So double me. Okay, girth, <laughs> pi, 3.14. I'm saying that's 19.99. Okay. Okay. When do you want me to tell you? I think we have enough people guessing in chat. I think you can go ahead. What's the true answer? It was $20.99. Oh, I'm very <laughs> that close. Was really, that was so close. <laughs> KB says 20 before me, though, so give oh, it big ups shit. there. Uh, let's see. KB wins. Tw- DJ Real Eyes Open. Ah. Let's see. Anyone? 22, very close. 22, Gamer Freak. <laughs> Very nice. close. All right, a lot of good guesses there. Twenty American. Hell yeah. Smart. They can change the career's yeah. mission or story. Of course they can. But I mean, the whole <laughs> point is that's again that's supposed to be in the back, right? In the in the past, right? <laughs> in the back. Supposedly all the, the, the events of New Vegas have already happened. Too much. No. Uh-uh. Um, Twenty years Safeway before makes the events good of the show. Fucking case, dude. So that's all set in stone. You know how are you gonna unless they completely rewrite who the career was or whatever, right? <laughs> no injury was rich. Okay. Yeah, I know. Baller so alert. You can't treat and yourself. Care for a baller alert. Injury's got twenty bucks for cake. How much of that cake did you enjoy? What cut? What size piece are we working with? Um, I fucking how, how do you even? I don't even uh, know how to say that. It, like, like it yeah, a, what percent of the cake did you enjoy in one piece? Is we talking a quarter, a half? No, God, a, qu- no. a quarter. It's Probably like a, like a sixteenth. Ow, that's too small. You what? can handle a no, quarter. It's a big cake. <laughs> what? I'm not going to um, fucking eat a quarter of that goddamn cake. Are you kidding? I die. Funny, when you're talking about this whole thing, what percentile you know, yeah. <laughs> is basically saying that this show is canon now. And this is causing all these problems. 13. All these lore found. No one cares. On the internet. No they one. love this, actually. Going crazy. Yes. Talking about the discrepancies. They love this. The this is so much content for them. Nuts. No, <laughs> this is an obvious lore error. It's a lore error. It's error. not a lore error. That you know how much they this is their like this is their wet dream. Those channels. I know I already said it, but let's repeat it. Those lore channels, this is their fucking wet dream, because they have more content to talk mm-hmm. about for those three hour videos they make. They love this. 
This is their yeah. dream. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> let's hear how like, Phil. Let's hear how Phil doesn't get how the internet works, though. Okay. John <laughs> Howard is your lore error because he's an idiot. Ooh. There's no way that this show could be completely canon Howard. with the games because it changes things about he's the game. He said canon right again. The show starts. Wait, so, did he? This will yes. be its own thing with this unit. Go back like changes things about the games right as the show starts. Oh, could be He's... completely canon with the game oh, because right. it changes things yeah. about the games right as the show starts. 14. So this will be its own Fallout universe. Yes. Whether the games decide to change <gasps> to become in line universe. with this universe. No, they won't. These two universes no. will actually stay di different. I wonder. That's a good question. But I find it hilarious because mm -hmm. I really feel like these YouTubers are freaking mm -hmm. out. No, they're not. They love this it. This is their livelihood. For how many years no. they've just been making Why Fallout would they be videos. freaking out? This is so good for their livelihood. It's incredible. And now, if you're telling me there's a new they're Fallout making money that right erases now, all their lore <laughs> and makes it irrelevant, it means everything they, they've done yeah. on the internet is worthless. <laughs> Overnight. Because of this show. Oh no, so, it's not worthless. Lore, it's incredibly not, not worthless. Error. It's A no. show and a game are not the same. Doesn't matter what Todd Howard no, says. That's not we know that he's a PR man, a front man who lies. You know. <laughs> no, he's a front he's man. He's a PR so man. We don't need to believe any I'm good at lying. Anything he says. <laughs> I do feel like the show is well written and great. I he's like not the lore good of the at show. lying. I wouldn't mind if the lore of the show continued for three, four, five seasons, and then if they make a new Fallout game ten years in the future, if they make it in line with the lore Bogged of the out. show and everything changes and it erases all the events of the like previous I said, games, I don't care well, so I don't care so about it. it. I think it's dumb, right? honestly. Because really, it's going to be popularity that determines it. It's yeah, not going to be a bunch hey? of. Or people. they could just say whatever the fuck they want and then go change it when the game comes out. They could just say right. whatever... Todd Howard can say whatever the fuck he wants right now. <laughs> yeah, and oh, that's his prerogative, dude. <laughs> it just is. Their... <laughs> it's oh. like they're like signing a contract where we make our next game. It will definitely keep continue this lore. That is guaranteed. He's oh, not saying that shit. For sure. Or videos. It's going to sure. be who cares most in mainstream media about this show yeah, or definitely. about the games. And that's going to determine the choices what? they make, you know? Yeah. But, oh, my God, it couldn't have possibly happened well, like that. He's, because didn't he's you like know gatekeeping that in right now. There was a thing that happened with the NCR. The bombs couldn't have dropped. Shut up. Bro. No one cares. What? Really, no one cares. The show is great. And the lore of the show is excellent. And if it changes some of the this lore is, of the games, that's fine. This okay. is cool, oh, well, though, when they're doing shows like this. Because it, it takes mm -hmm. games and stuff that people really love and really care about and puts it into shows. Mm -hmm. And people who don't play games, you know, older people, maybe they could share this with like people they love. This yeah. is a cool thing. You know, maybe more great. people are gonna play Fallout now because it's fucking TV show. So the fucking lore, ah. lore video makers are gonna, you know, get yeah. more viewers. They love this. For videos for the last five years. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say? It's just hilarious. <laughs> to see these people creeping out on Twitter and shit about it. It's like, oh, oh my god, the lore. I'm like, shut the oh fuck up. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. What? You've talked I'll about it way more than they have. I bet. See here. Yeah. See here, hang on. Which Let's faction see. would I have gone with in the show? You mean the, in the TV show, in the show now? I mean... Uh, no, the other show. Now? Now? Yeah, no, the other show. This is a remake of. What factions are Yeah, what are the they? fuck? There's the Brotherhood. There's the Remnants He's of the MCR. He's licking fucking lips so off. Look at that. We, we had three in a factions motherfucking row. Watch. There's the Brotherhood. Oh, wait, we get we get a okay. rare top left corner TV demon in the show now. Yeah. I'll, I'll give that some I love mean, here. Uh oh, oh, careful! Oh, no. oh, no. oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> top left's definitely the rarest, by the way. Factions are okay. There. Interesting. There's okay. The brotherhood. And there's oh, there's the remnants oh, of the MCR. And then oh, and, and then, I guess there's Walt Tech. Would those God. be the three remnants or the three factions? What it what what, what he, he said? Doing? What faction would you be on this TV show? You mean this TV show? No, different no. TV show. <laughs> I mean Walt that other just one. Pure evil. <laughs> it's just a bunch of rich people trying to control. Oh, the planet. Oh, he hates that. I want to be with really the rich people. Uh -huh. um, they get a vet red velvet yeah, cakes every day. They do anyone, that exactly. Would be the one I would never I want it for though. breakfast. Uh, oh. The NCR remnants run by Moldaver, as cutthroat as their methods are, they are well intentioned. They want okay. to free the wasteland. They want to give power to the people. A lot of power people to say the people, dude. Try it. Uh. <laughs> well, are they? I don't know. I don't. You know, I, don't, I really don't know if that's what they are. They're just power to the people. Anti Phil seems like Phil. Phil seems like he'd be into communism. Right? Anti-establishment. Uh -huh. Anti. Yeah. These companies controlling everything. All right, Bob from PA here is trying. Uh. I saw you, Bob. Uh, let me get it here. Hey, look, chat is frozen. That's weird. He said both Canon and Stellar. Yeah. Can't chat. Huh. Ugh. Canon takes less than Stellar, bro. So let's see if he's going to stay Canon here. Um, oh, shit. But dude. again, their methods are. That's going to make him mad. Break into the vault. Don't give money to Philip, by the way. Right at the Don't beginning do of the that. show. 
right from the get go. Buy so a better? red velvet cake instead. You know, murdering yep. people who are innocent. Please. It's not it's their really fault good. that they're in that vault. They didn't put themselves there. Some of them were born in that vault, right? <clears throat> so I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. What, what was the third one I said? I said it was NCR Vault Tech ah, or oh, oh, the we're still. I forgot the question. We're still here. Oh uh, yeah, we're oh, still, dude. We're still at fifty dollars. We have not got a bag yet. We're kind of getting gypped no. out of a midstream bag right Man, now. Man, the Brotherhood. True. Yeah, they're they're kind of like he's having too much sometimes fun. Sometimes you want to think that they're high. They're they're really cool and they have morals and everything. And then it's kind of exposed exactly. in the 64. show <laughs> that they are just kind of a joke. You know, like you got the Michael Rappaport knight who he exposes. He takes his helmet off and says, "Man, I hate this." They always send us out to find technology and bullshit. One time I had to go off on a, a mission just to find a toaster night. oven. And this is so stupid and I hate all of it. It's like, so they're just normal people and they act like they're all high and mighty and they know better and they really don't, right? You get right. the scribes Definitely. who are like these hoarders of, of history oh, come and on, technology man. and they get keep it all themselves and they're not trying to help anyone. So what's better? <clears throat> Vault Tech. Oh, it looks like he's almost done. Technology. <laughs> Wants does. to control the planet and keeps it all for themselves and literally kills and destroys everything around them oh, to not. stay in power. Never all right. Mind. The Brotherhood, who think. All right, well, let's take a little tiny field trip. Just mini oh, field yeah, trip. Let's go. Mini field let's trip. Go. All right. So let's yeah. go to um, a song created by Pigpen Lord of uh, Dirt about Injured Cold. Let's check it yeah, out. Two minutes. First, little little I'll break, say yes. He did contact me and ask me if it was okay to use my voice because this episode of. That being said, inspired him, and I said, yes, that's fine. All right, here we go. So <laughs> In Indrid's song coming at you. Pig pen, Lord of Dirt. I got to go make a big tweet myself, so I'm going to go for okay. this. But here we go. You okay. Hold it down, Indrid. You're in charge. All right. Go. Okay. We're hanging out. We're hanging out. All right. Watch mm -hmm. me, like, pound Phil's ass, you know? <laughs> Watch mm -hmm. me, like, pound Phil's ass, you know? Oh, ass. Indrid Cole wants to pound Phil's ass. All right. Let's go. <laughs> I love it so much. I love it. <laughs> Imagine looking yes. like this man right here. I just can't. Oh. He's very handsome, of course. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the link for you guys. How Hold does on. it happen? <laughs> Let me tell you a story about the one that I adored. Big Pen did good. This is a girl who's I love. Can you fill my cup? So I don't need to listen here. to girls anymore. This is the link. Go give it a like. No, he she does a good stuff. And she basically detractor means. <laughs> I don't really care. It's because she's. I don't really care. My he loves detractor me. Detractor beam. cold. You make me so hot. He loves me. I know me. what you need. You know what I got? Go. And red cold. <laughs> I know that sounds insane, but I really want to catch you and pay to change your last name. And red cold. <laughs> For the love of my life. Give me your love. But I'll make you my mom. And red cold. <laughs> if you want me to, now, I'm free. So it comes a little lyrics, closer. Dude. Me, me. Oh. Now, guys, I want you to listen up real closely. I love my daddy. <laughs> Cat is jealous or insecure or both. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby. You know what I bring to the table? I can't Ooh, do nice. this. Literally, my wife it's in a so stable. Good. Jasper wants attention. Lots I'm the queen of hate. Yeah. Food. All that being said, he's a bad cat. That's Big ups. I have to make a choice. And all that being said, does it mean or does it mean you? slander? It's because I want to marry you. <laughs> make you. Yes, I see. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Ooh. You make me so hot. <laughs> I know what you mean. You know what I got? You make bills. And right. cool. I would love to take your picture. Oh, nice. Maybe we can get together with Stevie Richards. <laughs> Oh, no. Yes. Diamond. Oh my god. I'll give you everything. All you have to do is wear this 2D golden ring. It's of your movements, you know? Mm. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, I love it so much. Uh. I know you knew it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for lying. I just had to, you know. Ooh. I'd expect the Stevie Richards cameo hype, dude. You didn't. So you didn't listen I to this listen, when no, I said no, it earlier. No, I saved it. I always save it oh, for the wow. show. I always save everything for the show. Oh, That's how I roll my life. Nice. Save for the what show. What did you think? I love it. I love the Stevie Richards. It's, I love the you guys yeah. romance. This is very hype. This is I very know. hype. Well, here again. Here's the link <laughs> to the song. Yeah, I'll it's, play it here. I'll put yeah. it on. Here you go, guys. Link coming at you here. Yeah. 
Go sh- give give <laughs> give Pig Pit Lord there's some love here. We need to hoard all the technology he for did, ourselves. No one well. should have it. So we'll just hoard it all for ourselves and kill anyone that. You hoard it all for far too long. With the NCR, <laughs> we just want to get all the technology and give it all out to everyone. Hey, yes. Willy Willy but they also are brutal in their bed. Like there's literally, I think that's the that's the point of Fallout. Uh, yeah, there isn't a faction that's good. Wait, Phil they all see different perspectives on survival. Like, none of them are actually good. Black <laughs> yeah. and white to it. There's no reason yeah. the villain. This is the hero. I mean, in New Vegas, it was kind of the same. Either Legion, NCR, or Mr. House. Who's your, who's your poison? Because no matter what, the outcome. Who's is your poison? Who's your poison? Who's, he didn't say big. He said who's your poison? Who, yeah. <laughs> who's, who is your who's poison? Who's your poison? <laughs> brutal, you know, hmm. this chaotic murder with Caesar Legion or Mr. House corporate takeover. Right? It's like, is there anything good there? I don't know if it's a single good choice in any of these factions. I think that's one of the the coolest things about the Fallout universe. Right? Definitely. <laughs> Pistols, I wish the Enclave was fleshed out more. That, that is a <laughs> huge Michael plot hole in the show. In the games, the Enclave it, doesn't exist anymore. Is it's this a plot hole, guys? In Fallout uh, must Vegas, be. the Enclave is done, and you're you're actually trying to pull the remnants of the Enclave out of retirement to help you in the big fight at Hoover Dam. But okay. they're, they're retired. There is no Enclave to fight anymore. Mm-hmm. So why on earth was their Enclave doing this research at the beginning of the show? How did they discover Cold Fusion? Of course, you know, they're, they're doing all this. Like, who, who was this Always. Enclave? We thought that they were what gone. About? So this is a new lore thing that's, you know, they're being reintroduced, right? New lore. Mm. How would I survive the last slam? What would I be my plan? Oh, here we go. There is a plan to survive oh, the Super scuffer, oh. super scuffer. Here we go. Super scuffer oh, got paid yeah, off. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. How would I survive the wasteland? What would cool. I be my plan? I don't think there is a plan to survive the wasteland with current people. I don't think people would. We all live too, too much sheltered lives. What? We're no, too used to our modern conveniences. Most of us aren't even physically fit to survive that's out in the wasteland. That's not the question. We'd all die. That's not Most the question. So, so how would you try to survive? Freak, of, freak luck. What? Yeah, Pretty would luck. you? Oh, that's how would Philip. You become, that's how, yeah, that's how Philip that, uh, handles it, though. He's like just all luck. It just it's just freak luck. Can't luck. do anything about it. Yeah. Would you become like a Mad Max? Um, I don't, I don't remember what they call <laughs> there him. You go. But the you know the guys right. on the so the, the I said my piece. You know that, that I like fuck people up. Would you be that? <laughs> I would. That'd be awesome. The show. You know that I like the new lore. I hope that the new lore actually becomes canon, and I hope that they oh. actually change the games to be in line with the games. I'll just 15, say that right now. 5 I hope away. That actually change oh, and are, become part of the show. Close. I would love that. 100%. Okay? <clears throat> but. Mad <clears throat> Max. What did you guys He'd think eat of the show? cat. Oh, what, God. I hate it. Did you I hate like, it. particularly like stuff? Did you hate <laughs> stuff? Right? Well, yeah, Warboy. What do you think about yeah, the lore? I'm to be a Warboy. did not like about the lore changes. I'm curious to hear all of your thoughts. I want to play the guitar okay? on the fucking rig. <laughs> yeah, that's hype. That would be fun. He does live like a vault dweller, though, okay. with, with all his money and like he just doesn't go anywhere. Fuck. Hello. Play JT, we already Hello? said that's one of the biggest plots. Well, I guess there's still no contributions, by the way. Damn. No. That we, it's not explained Ooh. yet. It's how did Moldaver live in the past? I he cannot wait to see how he's going to spin this to be positive tomorrow, though. You know what? It was kind of slow, but a lot of people enjoy talking. Anti, you know. <laughs> Anti Vault Tech. She was trying to rally up support right? to stop Vault Tech in the past, and now she's still alive in the present. Never explained. I mean, you can assume she also was cryogenically frozen like the Vault Tech exactly. Oh, definitely. But how and where? Because she wasn't in the vault with them. Yes, so I'm overseer. I'm an overseer. Absolutely, yes. Oh, he's, yeah, he's off tomorrow, but still. Oh, yeah. <laughs> daily rap. I mean, daily rap. Yes, if I survive the bombs, I, I would still overseer. broadcast the news over Pit Boy Radio. Thank you, Michael. That'd be fun. Cyber TV says, to be fair, every game adds new lore. I feel like yeah, whether we're talking about the game or show, we're going to be on the detractor beat. I mean, that is true. For example, I have heard. Oh, by the way, if, if you say canon in your like question to him and he reads your question that says canon that doesn't count i don't think that oh, it been, doesn't, look, that's, that's kind of that's kind of uh, bad one of the examples here this okay. is a minor example someone told me i guess yeah, in I guess fallout that would, 2 be jet was introduced like to the game to say it and it was yeah. supposed to be the invention of a teenager trying to make a drug on the cheap oh, God, the and made dude, it out of funk, the like like uh what speed like am i at dome, like uh, one app. so jet is actually a drug <laughs> okay but then apparently in fallout 3 that's all changed and it's supposed to be like a professional pharmaceutical drug or something like that so the lore is changed now that's a minor tweak that's not like a major lore change that's like a minor little is tweak. the canon changed um, but definitely some of the changes <laughs> in the show are going to be giant changes lore right? canon style yeah <laughs> Oh god! This is interesting how the show steered from Fallout 4 uh, factions, Minutemen Institute, and Sins Railroad. Yeah, but that's all these codes. The, the whole idea of Fallout the one minute, is that man. you know the whole country the infrastructure has been destroyed. I mean, what are the chances <laughs> that people on, in California don't even know about that shit back on I'm the East Coast? I'm still a little, little stunned right? that one you know, minute man didn't tip it, yesterday. Voltec would know that. Yeah, was, well, I think he really didn't like that hero game. Who knows? Oh yeah, he came back. He came back today. So who cares? Killed all the NCR. Yeah, he did. Maybe they're either in like for example the Institute. Maybe Voltec's in cahoots with the Institute. You just don't know that yet. That's a that's a plot. I know, Bill. It's crazy. Look at his fucking hit. You know, too much power. They're I noticed that earlier this right? morning. His there you go. beard. Oh. It's crazy. Oh, let's see here. 
Time to let it go. Was destroyed in two. Let's see here. Let's see here. Where's the money? See, I never played one or two. I only played Let's see three, here. My PayPal is still not uh, showing me anything. Let's see here. Is it glitched? I'm not sure. You directly, and then you get to see who's the president of the Enclave. It's a freaking AI. It's a freaking AI. Shiny teeth. And you gotta either team up Look. with him, or you go against him, yeah, or you can even use, use charisma it's checks. It's a freaking AI. To him, and he ends up killing himself, <laughs> blowing up all the Enclave himself. But the Enclave have a pretty bad end, right? They get pretty much destroyed at the end of Fallout 3. They lose. So, where this West Coast remnant group of Enclave are coming from is it's a new plot. Remnant. <laughs> no, Super Chuffer says, wasn't the ending of City Seagull? Uh oh, oh. Seattle, Space Needle, the fake space Super Scuffer, you thin ice. You got no, shout Chuffer, out. This wasn't the ending of City Seagull of Seattle. I thought the Space Needle. That is the fake Space Needle that is in New Vegas. Ooh. New Vegas has a tower that looks like the Space Needle. If you remember real life Las Vegas, has a fake Eiffel Tower, a fake Space Needle, like all the fake stuff. Yeah. It's like all the all the landmarks recreated. It was all the Sphinx and a freaking pyramid too. So that's what that's, that's they're showing you the fake Space Needle. It's part of the New Vegas skyline. Ooh. Get fuck, Super Scuffer. Uh. Yeah. Listen, we're not talking about things except Fallout. You're asking me questions. Nothing about anime. We're not talking about anime tonight. This is the Fallout live review show. Thanks. Uh -huh. so like <laughs> nice. Okay. Anime. We're not talking about anime tonight. This is the Fallout <laughs> live review show. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look at the jowl jiggle with that eye roll. What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> people don't get it. Wrong stream, bro. Ooh, Whoa. Okay. wrong so stream, again, bro. I'm, I'm asking, like, what did you guys like? Ask, like, like? Talk about One Piece um, now. What do you think Attack about on the Titan, One Piece. <laughs> Good go nuts. Or changes? Do you have problems with any of the lore of the show? A lot of people on the internet seem to be very heated and adamant about this show that it's either really no. good or it's really, really bad. No, right? it's one you, or the you other. Won't find that kind of, yeah. I think most people are leaning You won't find that kind of interaction here, brother. It's good. No. But I've seen a lot of people get pretty upset about the changes, and I'm curious what you guys' thoughts are. Mm -hmm. Definitely. How did it tie Pistols into the, the One Piece storyline? Or next gen update is confirmed to add an Enclave quest. I thought it wasn't adding any content at all. I thought it was just okay. adding Ow. graphical tweaks and improvements. I didn't hear that it's adding. You heard someone any. say Fall Gout is really uh, bad. Uh, Fall Gout, uh -huh. honestly. So I don't know. It depends if I on who you are. I'm gonna, yet. I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> I've never played the games. Excuse I have me. four of them. I need to do it. I just haven't done it. Did my wife can't like the show. the show. She absolutely, positively loved it. What the it. fuck was now, that? Keep in mind, wife? last year we watched Last of Us together, and it started off strong, and we thought the ending was atrociously bad with the changes yeah, they made. We thought it this. just yep. wasn't nearly as good as the game. In this case, we feel like the show is we, as good as the Fallout we, games. We. If not on pace, if season two ends up being New Vegas, I think that's super amazing. That's what people want, right? Definitely. We want a continuation oh, yeah. of these games from 10, 15 yeah. years ago that Bethesda refuses right, I mean, to make I, We can't miss any cannons, though, Anonymous Fish. Starfield that no one really wants. That's got to do fast forward. And then tell us, oh, Elder Scrolls is next, but we don't have any gameplay to show you. But what are you doing? What? No, really, what are you doing? What is anyone in your game story doing? Because it seems to me like you're completely inefficient at making games now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, completely inefficient at making games. The biggest <laughs> games that are released, uh huh. Takes a few years to make those, brother. They released a super duper great show. Everyone wants new Fallout content, and they're so incompetent. They don't have the ability to make any new Fallout content, right? Yes, right, right, so, right, right. I guess we'll have to see. They don't have the ability to make those games. Uh, Absolutely no, true. Page says, shouldn't the ghoul have known the weak spot of the power armor when he was fighting Max in the first episode? Uh, yes, except the problem there is that unlike at the end of the that show, the, in the final of the episode, the back of cat's head is brother, weird. It doesn't look like her. I still, I'm still not like convinced it's her. I know it is, no. but yeah. The base at Griffith. The hair is red. Watch this. He shoots it. He couldn't do that to Max because Max just Max just shows up. Uh, that's a good idea. Like, Sixty four minutes actually. And, that's a good idea. Right and they start fighting. It's like the knight in shining armor showing up for the rescue. So it wasn't like the ghoul had to drop on them or had to drop on Maximus and was able to easily. Oh, just definitely got the drop. Like he, was. he got the drop on the brother. Remember, he surprised them. They didn't even know he was there. They turned around and all of a sudden, surprise! Boom! Shoots him right in the weak spot. So that's the thing. He was already most there to fight it. I'm sure Max was just standing around like an idiot doing nothing and not fighting him. Then it would have been easy to shoot the weak spot. I think that was the point. Is that it was after combat, so it was such a cool scene. No, it's such a cool scene. Definitely. Super super chuffer. Because I thought it was good. He's character in a different playstyle. Lucy is like a super chuffer again. Super chuffer again. It was cool that they see no one's talking. So like we're getting all these. Shout outs so now. Yeah. Right? Like okie dokie. And then by the end of the show, okey she's just so changed. Right? <laughs> <laughs> she finds out the truth about her father. And she just she's like, that's it. I'm going to go. He says all these things that I say, like, like almost daily. It makes me want to go now to go after her father. Ooh, I'm the Juggernaut says there's rumors Fallout 1 and 2 remake, which will be the first time released on a gaming platform. Thanks, I'm the Juggernaut. Get out. Right? She's a completely changed person. What character are Um. Let's see here. Let's see here. No tips yet. Stop with your fucking lips, man. Killing me. Uh, feels amazing. I think all three main characters show no character progression. Yeah, yeah Super Scuffer's a, super scuffer is a real show. friend. Yeah, you're yeah. you're a regular <laughs> chatter now. 
Like, I'm not even saying that. At the beginning of the show, Maximus is like the biggest fan of the Brotherhood. He wants to be a knight. That's all he wants, right? Halfway through the show, he decides he doesn't want to be with the Brotherhood anymore. He wants to move into a vault. By the end of the show, in a cruel twist of fate, he's forced back into the Brotherhood against his will, and now he becomes the hero of the Brotherhood that he wanted at the beginning of the show. But he's changed so much, he hates himself, and we're all wondering where this is going to lead in season two, right? Like, oh, he hates himself. Force. Me too. Huge character development. <laughs> Cyber TV right. says this is the quote on what's being added in the Fallout 4 stability improvements and up to 60 frames per second along with new content, which is the Enclave Remnants quest line makeshift weapon pack. Wow. So there's a new there is a new uh, quest line in Fallout 4. Huh. Oh definitely. Fallout Pencil Vinny did a super chat saying, I can't chat. Huh. Cannon takes less than Stellar Bro. I don't know what that means. Uh -oh. oh yeah, there we go. Oh wait. See, so he yeah. said cannon, cannon, and yeah. stellar, but that doesn't count. Yeah, yeah you have to subscribe that was to the, the channel. Right? I announced this on all my content that you need to subscribe to the channel to talk tonight. So Bob, I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean. I would love to hear your take on it. Like what is your take on, on, on the lore and the changes? Give more money, please. Then you can say your opinion. For an anonymous tipper, I don't think you get the full picture of how evil the Enclave is unless you Fallout 2. Okay, I did not. The actual human leadership, their goal is to genocide all non-Enclave humans via a plague. Wow. You can be doing the reactive playthroughs of 1 and 2 in the future. There's still ways to play them on modern PCs. The problem is, I don't even really want to see me play this massively outdated games. I mean, they're top-down point-and-click games, right? <laughs> it's a yep. shame, because you know me. I do love classic games. That's a series I would love to hear the, the older lore scene, but I don't hey, think, I don't you know, think he does, I don't think so. though. You know, it's like because, and and of course, stuff, people yeah. say this all the time, but I think that he just latches on to what he thinks so is kind of like a fringe group that he thinks is cool and just pretends to be that. Yep. Being ambiguity in the characters. And well, yeah, like the gamers cool, were friends. Cool, to me, is such an, uh, a cool now, and enigmatic character. But, you know, his backstory, and you figure out who he really is. And he's really well written. Like, I mean, but the thing is, he's not a hero. He's 100% an anti hero. He's a villain who just happens to be opposed to the other villains. <laughs> so he ends up being good through his actions, even though he does some heinous, heinous things during the show. No, he doesn't heinous. know more of anything. He just plays the games and doesn't pay attention. According to the Lord, the Enclave is still hiding in an undisclosed location on the East Coast. Of course, they wouldn't uh, be relevant on the West Coast. And, but then again, that might be what people are wondering. Why was there a West Coast? Enclave Call as a scientist to who is it? Like, has it ever existed? Remember, in Vegas, they were trying to, to, to get the remnants of the Enclave together to help them move down, and it was so hard to, to get them together. They were too Just far get pulling, boys. This is so fucking tough. So Wouldn't they have known about yeah, that in Vegas? Yeah, this is hard. This is the worst. At least we could do field trips. I'm, I'm here for you. Yeah. City, yeah. Wants <laughs> he wants to wank off the brothers. We can't do another field trip if you want. I don't feel like this reset. Nah, nah, nah. We gotta wait for cannons. They're destroyed very shortly after the events of New Vegas. We're committed to cannons. But it is still supposed to be cannons. Supposedly. Would work in the show? No. We need people to talk on shows. No. Being a protagonist would be incredibly oh, boring. Here's Michael. Ah. Sound protagonists are boring. Confirmed. No, they're not. There's a movie. I don't know. I got There's a movie movie where this girl, like aliens come to Earth. She doesn't say a damn word in it, and it was so good. Why do I have wrench? I don't know because I'm cool. For mods, I mean, what's the point then? What's the point then? Good evening, Orange. Good evening, Orange. Chat, please stop talking. We need chat to die so we'll get off. Please. Exactly, I agree there. John oh, Bono we don't says, want him to get off. Brotherhood of Steel you know come I mean? off as pretty weird and culty in the show. Oh, why did I turn like, on speed? Always been. Yeah, it's, it's totally. They totally. Like a cult, like a, they indoctrinate it into their uh, way of life. Uh, hmm. hierarchy, right? It's almost like, like, like mind control to a point. You have to be all for the Brotherhood, right? I agree there. <laughs> I agree there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least according to the show, Way it was too really, far in the bottle of absinthe because of Bill. Oh my god. Well, Dobber Group was the remnants of the Brotherhood. Absinthe, big ups. They didn't know they were NCR at first. And they're just trying to survive. But what's weird again about that is, yeah, maybe Shady Sands, the capital was destroyed, 35,000 people, but they're they had outposts everywhere. So what happened? Did everything break down when Shady yes, Sands got into everything broke down? Absolutely, yes. Just broke apart in chaotic fashion because they were a huge group. Even just in New Vegas, the game. <laughs> there's tons of NCR outposts all throughout the map that are all separate camps and stuff, and they wouldn't have been affected by that. All I mean, right, just, let's do a little field trip here. So I've, I've been I've been getting into AI because you know John Yo that song Call Me yeah. John Yo. So I was like, yeah. all right, fuck it, I want to try this too. So I made I made oh, two. Really? Here is a short one I made just as my first trial. This is about pretend okay. Philip. Wants Cat uh. to like him, all right? That's the point oh of this God. song. It's only 35 seconds. Here we go. <laughs> I'm very excited. Uh. Oh my God. Fourth place at Evo. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my she God. can't see that that's just the door. Or please doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's, scary how e it's scary how easy it is, though. You know? <laughs> like, all right. So, good. so here's the one I made today. About what? the. Remember the vest, okay? The vest. He, okay. he, he said the meme was shitty. Remember, he said, like, it used to be. It was a symbol before, <laughs> but now it's just a meme. So I made a yeah. song. The vet, this is the vest singing. Okay, keep that in mind. Here okay. we go. Okay. Ooh. Make sure it's not 1.5. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Let's fucking rock it. Come on, change the mood. Let's go. Let's do party on, Dave. This is Suno. Suno.com. Oh, don't do that. Here we go. Ah. The vest is singing now. Remember that. <laughs> 
Hell yeah! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Revenge time, boys. I love that fucking re. Re. <laughs> That's so good. That's just now we're just outro. That's pretty. But I mean, it's so fucking easy. It's so crazy That's how easy so it is. Good. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Holy next, shit. Kaching of the ring next year. We gotta have AI category because we can't have AI like ruining the. We can't have sure. AI ruining the purity. But yeah, next year we'll yeah. have AI category. I don't remember the Brotherhood of the Podcast and Follow That was so cool. I love that. Because what you're saying is there's groups of the Brotherhood that were actually communicated or whatever. I definitely Why are you pulling on your fucking skin suit, dude? Stop. You don't know where they're going. All you know is they're going to involve New Vegas in season two. That's the direction they're going. Yes, definitely. This is how Skynet takes over. Yeah. Yeah. The Dead Sea. I'm fine with it. Dead Sea, yeah. What? Dead Sea. Dead Sea Scrolls. Dead Sea Scrolls. If you knew the lore, then you might know. So they just wiped out Arwen in the lore and never go back? Wow. I was darkness says NCR was the biggest okay. factor. They literally beat the Brotherhood just because they had the sheer numbers. There so, you yeah, go. I, don't know. I mean, once again, I remember, remember one of the big questions was why did the Brotherhood have such a presence in the TV show? Because the Brotherhood was supposed to be mostly East Coast. And again, remember, the Brotherhood were hiding out the underground bunkers. They weren't actually capacity. Well, apparently, oh, I guess because this new thing NCR that Voltec dropped on them, um, that's what allowed the Brotherhood to now step in and have a beautiful holding territory, right? Uh, two. Wait, two I, what year did the new captain of the board says 2277 was in Shady Sands was blown up in Vegas for two place four years after that? I just read an article. Oh, 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 oh you're says, talking about how fast right after the events of Vegas. sped it up. Okay. He says that. Word for word, they were interviewing him, and he says the new that destroyed Shady Sands dropped right nearly right after the events of Vegas. So maybe if it does say 2277 uh, on a board in the background of the show, it may have been an error that they didn't mean to use that date and they got their dates wrong. But that's what Todd Howard said. Those are the words right out of his mouth. He he's, and that's what he said. Oh, he's licking his lips hard tonight. What the fuck was that? Is it possible? Is it possible when Shady Sands are digging a corner lip? Oh, God. He's getting a crusty, like the old man crust in the corners of his mouth. Uh, raiders and things that have kind of joined up with the remnants of the NCR, and they're the like the for the people, anti ball, anti brotherhood for the people, right? I think that's right, so, something. So Spaghetti Sam like here has a theory. Spoiler, yeah, absolutely not. Fallout Four takes place oh. on the other coast, and it's completely like like all the events of Fallout Four. The fact oh. things have pretty much nothing to do with the plot of this, this show. Oh God! All. So no. So oh, does Philip God, have red? Cirrhosis. So does yeah. So the, if Philip has this, he have red palms. Now, are his palms actively red? Okay. Right. So I'm not okay. going to rewind it now, but let's keep our eyes on those palms. And so this let's is do. caused by. Damage to your liver over time. All right. So if you, you know, yeah. keep drink, drinking gin all the time, it might happen. But let's mm -hmm. let's watch for it. Well, the okay. for it anyway. You can still play Fallout Four if you watch the show. <laughs> Super Chopper said, "I think you can make That's it work very well." Super Chopper. I mean, Super Chopper. The game so much was right. I agree again. Super Chopper is the most like active the person who made there. This game. Yeah. Love Fallout. Have an affinity for the universe and didn't want to fuck it up. Right. They don't want to just ruin it like the Fallout. Or excuse me, Super Chopper. You're being too nice, though. You got to sneak in some digs, though. It's not funny because yeah. that's real shit. Show is such dog yeah. shit. Oh, it let's may look be at his okay palms. Show yeah, let's palms, right? palms, palms. Don't call it Halo. Yeah, if you're gonna yeah, take the source yeah. material and throw it on the ground and stomp it into fucking paste, and then like like fucking Play-Doh form it into something new for your your own use, then don't call it Halo. Do something different. Yeah. You didn't have to call it Halo, but no one would have watched their fucking shitty show if they didn't call it Halo. Uh, in this case, you can tell they had a love and affinity for the source material and they wanted to do something awesome. That people would yeah, embrace Super Trevor is a detractor, yes. Really pleased the fans of the franchise. He's they did a battery great job exhausted in this <clears throat> chat. Does Caesar die in the house ending in New Vegas? Yes. Caesar dies in the house and Yes Man and in CR endings. In all three, you kill him, I believe. Oh, definitely. 2277 is 200 years exactly after the bombs dropped in the Great War, so it could be an error. Yeah, I, if, if really the writing on a freaking chalkboard is the one piece of contention in the series for a lore okay. error, then I'm just going to say they, they chalk it up that they wrote the wrong date on the fucking chalkboard. If everything else makes sense, except the one date on the chalkboard, <laughs> fuck the chalkboard. I'm a bad it. person. A yes, you are. Yes, That's yes. why we love you. <laughs> Can't, okay, I think 20 was the right number because we're kind of, it's in question right Wait, now. Says the brother mm. elder says they take their orders from the yeah. highest clerks from the Commonwealth. The brother Stop. destroying the Institute must be canon. Oh God damn it! Oh wait, that was, oh, that, was that was a question. That was a question. That was a question. But 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 but, 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 but,
<laughs> Whoa. Wait, he's, I need a screenshot. Oh, he, fuck, dude. He, that was a question. So let me see if that counts. Hold on. Let me let me Holy hear this again to make sure. That okay. was a fake cannon. I think ah. he was reading a question. I guess I would have to replay Fallout 4. <laughs> must be cannon? Yeah. Orders from the Sorry. highest clerks from the Commonwealth? The brother of destroying the Institute must be cannon? Yeah, that's a question. Doesn't count. I guess I would have to replay Fallout 4. If he says it now, it counts. Uh, damn it. Right. Mr. Video says the nukes dropped on the ghoul and his daughter on a day he had custody. Makes me think China beat them to dropping the bomb. Okay. <laughs> oh, it sounds bomb. like you might... That <laughs> could be a LARPer saying some random stuff. Because <laughs> the mother would want to be with the daughter? What are you doing with your fucking skin, bro? Dig, 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 pull, pull. At least, pull. you know... Stop! Oh, God! 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 That was a bountiful harvest here. Look at this. I you know... Is that, I didn't know yes. that he separated. Ugh. When did they explain that? Oh. In the show. I don't remember them saying that him and his wife oh. separated. Maybe they did, and I, that, I didn't, I didn't, that didn't catch I, on. I mean, he's that. got a bad face. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even the flashbacks oh. from the final episode of Kim and his team discovering his wife was basically one of the people in charge of Alltech who had the ideas to these malicious things. Maybe they separated oh. at that point. Brother, uh, bite, bite, bite. Also, NCR has like a 700 people population. Uh. The people, the brother, and the enclave into hiding in the West Coast. Their problem is since they have numbers, they have uh. multiple fronts, and they can't hold everything. Do we really believe that if Shady Sands, which has a population of 35,000, Stop touching your that would white face! He's stuff. going white that, crazy right now. Group. Yeah, it's like right? white, have all these different groups, and lit, just because you lit the main base, crazy. Does that really mean that everything it's would end? nuts. Brother, <laughs> Hello? Oh, Pistol says, in the beginning episode, at the birthday party, the guests ask each other, white, white Coop, and that's that's the, the character of um the ghoul. His name is Coop in the past before he becomes the ghoul. Why is he funny photos they say alimony? Oh, okay. Oh, and his daughter is with him that definitely. Day. So get it? That day. So yeah, he, so okay, that's a plot point. You didn't get so it. So he spied on his wife, who's one of these high executives of Vault and found out that she was one of the most malicious people on the planet, literally planning to possibly nuke you know, the planet to, to create their own society. Mm -hmm. right? Stop saying wanted. planet. And he was so taken aback by that, he says, I have to divorce you now. I, that's what it was. Uh, I'm the Juggernaut just in a super chat. He says there's rumors Fallout 1 and 2 remake will be the first time released on a gaming platform system. I mean, if they're remade for a modern audience with modern controls and stuff, I'm all for it. Me just playing the old, uh, me just playing the old ew, PC versions what? on my mini PC probably would not work. And people is that a, is that a, is that true you. or is that a, is that a LARP? We care too much about that, right? Let me, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Oh, okay, get, okay. Let me get the old Google Google running. So Spaghetti Sam has provided some proof of the red palms from earlier okay. in the stream. Here is a palm. Uh, let's see. Ooh. It does, it does look kind of oh. red. It does look kind of red. It does. <gasps> I think. I think this theory might hold some weight. So do, is it cirrhosis of the liver? I don't know, but that is pretty red. I will agree there. That's that is pretty red. Pretty red. So for, My you palms are, West are not you you like that. Francisco. The Alcove actually have a strong military presence there. They're basically scattered across the U.S. as well as offshore ships, southern uh, satellites. They didn't all die at the end of Fallout 2. This is likely one of those that they used to do shady sands. Is what that's the new Lord of the Dead is going with. Uh, I, I, I can modernize. Okay, okay, whatever. Wow. Wow. Definitely. Um, I'm not. There. There's only rumors. For you know, first of all, out three makes. Yeah, about, right, well, I get, there, I never there's nothing set in stone. Uh, Lady Christmas says, "Nuking Shady Sands would be the nuking, like nuking Washington D.C. It would be messed up badly. Like man would be destroyed." Uh, oh, oh, great point. Boy, some hacker, whatever that maybe means, he just got done smacking show. cats' uh, no. ass. So. <laughs> no, I mean maybe seasons and seasons four. He right? don't do that. Right? Liberty Prime is gonna match the show up on the West Coast. Liberty Prime's on the East Coast, and it broke down anyway. At the end of Fallout 3, they have to rebuild uh, Ruben the Fall Show rated my best list of TV shows. The thing is, I'm not going to rate a show from 2000 to a show from 2024. You know, that's Why not, not? What I will say is, Why? definitely this is my favorite video game show I've ever seen. And this is probably one of my favorite shows the last five years that I've watched. I mean, anything I need to watch. And that includes shows like The Boys and Invincible and stuff like that. This Monday is better Night than Raw. Like, it's that well. Down, down, it's that well. Sunday Night Heat. Good effects. It's got interesting yeah. plot development. Those it's, have it's a really good show. touching each other. Final, WrestleMania. Again, again, makes you feel like you are mm -hmm. at the end of a 40 to 80 hour RPG journey. And this is the culmination fight. It feels like the end of New Vegas where everything happens at Hoover Dam in the big finale. That's what it feels like, that final episode. It's so well done. bigger hands to do that? They did just good enough to wrap up enough plot threads. So you're satisfied. Then they leave a few plot threads dangling on purpose to get you hungry for season two. And then the final shot of seeing New Vegas out in the desert, you're like, oh my Look God, teeth. they did it. I can't this believe they did it. This is a hell of a life Like they actually nailed yeah. it. Like that's how you end a season one, you know? They nailed it. Fucking Sorry, nailed Steve, it, dude. We'll see NCR remnants in New Vegas when season two starts. Am I missing something? What makes people feel we won't? I don't know. If, if you just watched the show and you had not played the games, the show makes it seem like the NCR has been completely wiped out. Like that new, what are you that doing? What are you doing? That was it. That was like, how is he still going on about this? Yeah. I think he's trying to make this work. So, like, he's doing his best to make this, like, work, right? To make it, yeah. like, a successful thing. But it's just not happening. But there's no formal MCR. I just don't know see. how remember, he can major place in the country right here, this talk like this for so long. So it makes you feel like you're gone, but maybe it is a bait and switch. We don't know yet. 
Like, he has no friends to talk about with this, so, like, he's literally getting all his thoughts out. Character arc you're excited about Most people have friends yeah. to talk about shows with, but he's just getting all his thoughts out here, you know? Play JT. So, Norm is the brother right. of uh, Lucy, who gets stuck in Vault 31 when he discovers the truth about everything. That basically, the overseers are Vault Tech employees, and they're all cryogenically frozen. He goes into Vault 31, he finds them all frozen, then the door closes, and he's stuck in there. See? So, this will probably be more about his story, how he just, how he ever gets out, what happens in the vaults. Because remember, the big culmination was they were going to do a split of the population between Vault 32 and Vault 33, and that was, like, the next social experiment uh -huh. going on down there. <laughs> But I think it'll be aliens. I mean, they could go that route. Although the alien DLC is just a one-off DLC, the aliens are canon to the Fallout universe. It's oh. just that they're never really involved in any of the major plot points. It's more like a DLC. Okay. 16. Oh, oh, he did. He said it again. Yeah. Did he say like Last of Us and now Fallout? Did he say canon twice there or once? I think once, right? Last of Us and now Fallout. I think it was just once. Yeah. Plot it's more like a DLC. What if silly situation, right? Okay. okay. Are you getting uh -huh. crazy? You think shows uh -huh. will be based on video games will be a fair shake? I hope so. I oh. want more oh. like okay. Fallout. I want less like The Last of Us, where the only good thing is because they copy pasted from the games and the things they changed. All right, are no good. I like the last, the last of us. You just TV hate the show. last so, of us, man. We're better if we just he like pulled it out of the game. Later, sixty-four. Any sense of real risk? I think you're wrong. Don't blame me. It just makes the show kind of superfluous. It does. Just makes it like oh, well, come it's on. To a TV show. Well, it was. It was actually better as a game. Bruh. Yeah. This is the worst. The only thing I wanted to say all night. I keep forgetting. This is so bad. Is the Fallout TV show woke? All right. Is the what? All right. The Fallout TV show manages to have representation of characters in it, and it does it in a way. Where those characters what? are presented as normal people. Allow me to explain what I mean. What? Oh, okay. wait, we're Allow talking about me to Maximus. Explain. Oh, sweet. Okay, good job. Good idea. Whoever did this, he's going to talk about representation. Yeah, is it, oh, it's not woke. No. So this fall gout is not woke, and we're going to hear about it. Why? Here, here we go. Sweet. Oh, good no. question. Whoever asked this, great question. Is black. Oh. It doesn't matter that he's black. There's no plot thread that he's black. He's just black, and he's a strong, well-written character. Does he steal well backpacks? It's never. Does he drink black coffee? Mattering what his skin color he is. Uh huh. You understand? Uh -huh. Maximus has a friend in the Brotherhood. His, his fellow is he Asian? trainee, Squire is in Training, who's trans. But the oh. character is trans. It's not a plot point. You don't need to hear the origin story of the character of why they're why trans. Why are we saying this? Right? It's literally never brought up or addressed. They're just trans. What? It's not a big deal. So what team? Okay, okay. The whatever, character is well go. written, mm -hmm. well acted, <laughs> just a part of the universe, just a normal person, <laughs> and it's never really brought up as anything big. And because of that, it works. Oh my god! Okay? You can have this kind of representation in <laughs> any kind this of show, good. and as I'm long as it's stunned. not brought up to be some major focus and plot point that everyone must now spend an entire segment or big chunk of an episode <laughs> focused on. Right? As long as it's just something natural in the universe, mm -hmm. just like normal people. Let's be honest. Right now, around <laughs> us, we have people who are straight Black, and gay. Trans. We have people who oh. are what about trans? Male, female, and trans. We have people who oh. are black. Why? What about fur well, you forgot furries? Asian. Every yep. nomination. Furries. They're all just the world is normal. Say every every nomination. We're yeah. making some big song and fucking huh. dance because we're they're different. <laughs> so why do they have to kind of do this in games? When and in you know Can TV you give shows? Examples? I mean, Last of Us Two. Of course, there has to be a plot point. Remember, we, what was the, no? the last week we were doing the uh, last week we were doing the episode about the he's saying the, like ass and stuff, and yeah. there was a, a in in the Stranger uh, no Life is Strange. There's two people yeah. on a d table eating. It's white a b white person and a black person. And he said, "Of course, that person's black." You oh, don't yeah, even I've... you don't even interact with them. You just walk right past them. And he said, "Of course, he's black. Yep, had to be black and white, didn't it?" I saw that part, yeah, and I was that's just that's what like, he said. What? So, what? hello? Uh, what's the difference here, sir? Can you tell me the difference? Like, why? Yeah, what's <laughs> the difference? They were just there. Like, yeah. Like the gender they are. So now they've been completely, you know, excommunicated from the group, and the group want them dead. It's like, huh? why? Why can't they just be a normal person? Why? Right? Why does the plot why? have to be that they're persecuted for being different? Haven't we seen that five zillion times? Isn't that tired at this oh point? Oh, my God. Yep. In this show, they actually just have people... Of all representation, yeah, we haven't heard really nudists yet. Come no on, one guys, because that's how yeah. it should be. What? Is it not well, that I what we want talk is about true acceptance naked people. that everyone could just be themselves and be happy to be who they are, and it's not a big deal? Definitely. Is it and okay if they want to be exactly naked? That. That's what we need more of: true representation okay. where people are just part of normal life, and it doesn't have to be sticking out like a sore thumb, shoved up sore your thumb. face. Oh a my sore god, thrum? we have to have a fucking Who big that? elaborate back. Sore thrum, big ups. <laughs> big ups, Sam Bavar, you got the baby. Like a sore thrum, Ooh. shoved up your face. Shoved up, normal shoved up your face. I, what and is it doesn't this? have to be sticking out like a sore thrum, shoved up your face. Oh my <laughs> god. That was a good shoved combo. Up your face. Yeah. Yeah. Stick it up like a sore thrum, shoved up your face. Uh, and, and it Deal doesn't with have the to consequences. be sticking <laughs> <laughs> true representation where people are just part of normal life and it doesn't have to be sticking out uh, like a sore thrum shoved up your face 
Oh my god, we have to have a fucking big elaborate backstory he and sob story of this those. and that and how they were mistreated. Yeah. Just have them be a normal person and no one will care. We'll all accept it all. It's fine. His mush and this marble mouth that. is fantastic. So who cares what, who was represented or what? No, it's not even a, a, a thing of contention. No, the, the, it's just naturally in there. Good. Yeah. Have more like that. I don't care. Good. It, I don't give two shits. I've always said that. You chose I don't care to broke the law. <laughs> Oh God! Live with the consequence. Sam Babar in the house. The LT is so old. He has overdue books from the <laughs> Library of Alexandria. Come on, Damn. that's a six six out of ten. I'd say. Big up Sam. Protagonist of the three hundred hour Keurig though. That's a nice pull. Name is why do I care? Ooh. Male, female, somewhere in between. Gay, straight. What? What? You know. Uh, male, female, what, somewhere in between. Okay. What's that mm. mean, sir? Skin color. Where you come from? What Ooh. language you speak? Why the fuck would I care? Well, you care more than anyone else on fucking earth. So I that's why. You were ranting about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you uh, yeah. you seem to mention it more than anyone else on Earth, Not so that's Sonya. why. Yeah, what about you, you the protected well class? character that has a plot arc that I like, character development, good story, good character beats, and get, that's all I care about. Mm -hmm. I don't care about any of that. I'm shit. something okay. in between. Anybody. I'm something Anyone in between who, myself. Who hangs on that shit is oh, yeah. an idiot. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's well, just I'm such not, a, but uh, you can be. Why do I care? I don't. I totally don't. You know what I mean? But as long as it's done right, and this show does it right. I have zero complaints whatsoever about any representation in this show because it is there is representation and it's done well. It's not okay. obnoxious. So do You're more obnoxious. like that. Stop being obnoxious and then make. No, Can you give me I, more yeah, examples? I really want to hear <laughs> examples of obnoxious. Maybe. Just yeah. Me. So like is like the um, it is like some like how about what's the movie with the Leonardo DiCaprio and he's a slave owner and he says that stuff? What's that oh, called? Oh, uh, Django. Yeah, yeah. What about Django? Is that obnoxious? Because they talk about like people being <laughs> slaves and stuff. Like, is that obnoxious or I don't know? Salute your snorts. Big up. Says she sells she seashells by the shore thrum. <laughs> yes, that was pretty good. Maybe people won't care about the representation. Like <laughs> the problem is you got <clears throat> what Whoa. the Neil Druckmann's of the world. Oh, okay. Neil Druckmann. Oh, the Neil Druckmann's of the world uh -oh. sadly want to make here we those things want... shoved in your face. In fact, want... Neil Druckmann wants to sell product to you as a basis because he has Good. that kind of representation I in like his, his games his, and shows. His shit. He doesn't care about the quality. He just wants to have it in there and say, buy it because of it. And that's stupid. Uh -huh. Yes, that's definitely. Dumb. He literally well, said his during the sales that's of Last dumb. of Us 2, that's the sale of Last of Us 2 <laughs> sticks it to the haters. It's like, that's not why people should buy your game, you fucking oaf. You stupid, primitive. There he is. There's a picture of the oaf. You should is. not be fucking there saying shit is. like that to the public. There's my oaf. It should be buy my game because it's the best game out there. Buy my game because I, we put so much effort into yeah, it. Yeah, more and it's Last the most of Us accessible hate. Let's game go. ever made. Instead, buy my game because of representation. You're a jackass. Who looks who looks like more of an oaf right here? You tell me. You tell um, me, everybody. I'm going to go with the guy on the left. <laughs> that, that's the that person guy. who sets the shit back. Who looks back. like an oaf. Really? Someone like Druckmann I sets shit oaf back. Phil. The Fallout TV show advances things yeah. forward in the way it should be advanced. Okay, definitely. Thank that's, you, oaf. It's fine. Thank you, oaf. What? Great it, take. You know why You mm. know why he's mad? Is because, like, all right, Bill okay. is a gay man, and they show his gay relationship uh, in... The, I don't know why I said gay relationship. Did they Sorry. say it obnoxiously? In the show. Was it obnoxious? No, oh, it okay. was. It was well done. It was gorgeous. And he's mad that Ellie has like a you know a lesbian love scene in the what? game. He didn't he, like that. You're, yeah, I think it's that's too deep. He, Neil Druckmann's successful and he has money. That's what he hates him mm -hmm. for. That's the start. Yeah. Of it. Also, he's Excuse hot. Me. I yeah. just wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, he's all right. Because he's so many right. people ask me that question about, oh, isn't it woke? I'm not going to watch the show because so, it's woke. Uh, no yeah. one asked you tonight, though, sir. You can watch the no. fucking show. Trust you just want to get this out. Ripping your hair out. It's yeah. not like that. Okay, okay, thank you. I was I was ripping my hair out. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Thank so you. Guys, so, we've yep. now been talking we two hours about the Fallout TV. Please end it. Oh. Final Please. thoughts on anyone? I'm going to give you oh my, my final summarized thoughts ah. in a sec. Does anyone oh have any final yeah, thoughts? Any summary. things they want to bring up? Any things they want to say about the show? Oh my God. Before we get ready Please to go through all the tonight. episodes again. Last chance Please. for any kind of, I you know, it. Get, so get something off your chest. Any last second contributions if you want? I hate you. Not you're an idiot. <laughs> uh oh. Philip. Wait. Philip. Easy, Philip. No. Oh, get, no. Oh, before we get ready to adjourn here tonight. Ready, here last we go. Last chance for any kind of, you know, get, ah. get something off your chest. Any last second contributions if you want. Philip. Not asking for anything. Else. If you're interested. <laughs> this is the first and last of this kind of content. It's not meaningful. Yeah, it's not happening again. No. The vault. There was a, the vault episode with the mutants was a funny episode. They messed up their nice place. Yeah, that was the ultimate trick. Because that there's a whole <laughs> episode based in a vault. 
uh, all right, where I think I might start Lucy this and uh, series tonight. Into a vault, oh, there you go. Get into it. Good, yeah. 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 There's, good, there's good representation. So they got body oh, I parts heard. going on yeah. in the wrong places. Awesome. They got gills. They glow. If you're male or fun. female what or in between, it's awesome. Then they find Ooh. a lab with all these mutations in it, and they think, oh, my God, this is like a, a place of horrible oh experimentation. God. And I'm not going to spoil, but basically there's a big plot twist where it turns out it's what, nothing like what they thought else? it was. And it's a hilarious ending. Why really are we well, not like, spoiling again, it's this? Well it's yeah. like, what the heck, man? <laughs> hey, that's what I'm thinking. What the heck, man? What the heck, man? <laughs> Do I think Lorenzo will be in the show? He's immortal. And he can make other people Mortal? immortal. I don't know what you're talking about. That lore? Yeah, because you, know you don't is. know the lore. <laughs> If I could have one game cameo to show up yes. in season two, who uh, would it be? Mike West, like if someone he had is. showed up in season two from what? New Vegas? Yes. Well, the thing is, we the, know how it's My whole in life uh, revolves right? around the Mothman. Like, my my well, fascination real. now is if this takes place over 20 okay. years He's after from the, the New Vegas oh, game. So Phil doesn't know. What is the state of New Vegas? We left New Vegas where you had the kings Phil doesn't in a remember the black way. characters. You had the Omeritas and the no. White Glove <laughs> Society. I think that's what they're called. And he basically, doesn't. what you had to do in New Vegas was win over. Shut the fuck up. This God. is Sparta! <laughs> Poopy Pajama says, Phil is a proud ally, married to something... Oh, God, Poopy Pajamas. I'll Ooh. read it I'll read it anyway. It's from him. Very toxic. Phil Oof. is a proud ally, married to something in between an elephant and hippo. Oh, mama. Mm -hmm. Very toxic. Destroy them, disclaimer, right? disclaimer. Very disclaimer. Nice. For new Very. leadership, whether it's you with Yes Man... Whether it's Mr. House, whether it's the NCR, or whether it's Caesar's Legion. Oh, come on. I, I don't, so what's I don't left? listen to right. any podcast. No, he, but I should. Todd Howard is saying this is canon, which, again, I don't think it's exactly canon. But it oh, is canon. That's two. Uh, right? 18. Wonder, oh, wait, whoa. Did he say three? Which, again, I don't think it's exactly yeah. canon. But if it's canon, canon right? Canon. I wonder what's what's going to happen. I think in that I, plot. I thought when I heard three. Oh, okay, let's hear it again. Hold on. Let's, let's hear this. Back. Let's hear this around. Todd Howard is I've saying hit, I've hit it twice. Let me hear if I have to do three. Here we go. Okay, canon, look at that. That's one. I don't think it's exactly canon. canon. Two. But if canon. it's canon. Three, that's three. Canon, three. I wonder three. what's, what's going to happen. We're at 19, Ooh. boys. Do we have one more in us? That oh, will be a push, we're though. so close. Two he said it three times. 21 has to win. Here we go. <gasps> oh. 21 to win. Here we go. Come on. In that plot, mm. when you get back to New Vegas, what's the state of New Vegas? Is it just completely dominated by Mr. House's uh, it's all, robots it's all, Is it done by, dominated by canon? It's all, it's, all it's all be all trans Are people. Are the family still there in <laughs> Black capacity? people. Is it the same family? Same backpacks. <laughs> right? What about um the Von Graffs? Remember? Ah, the energy weapons family? Okay, Are they still around? Will they be a part of the plot? Or are they just kind of written out? Who knows? You know, it'll be interesting to see what's oh, in there and what's not. Definitely. Oh, do I want one particular too character short to from bet New the Vegas under to be in it? Bed. I mean, it'd be nice to see some references. I don't think we need to have direct characters showing up. I want up. to see meat, dog meat or whatever. Only because, yeah. once again, <laughs> if you have um, original characters as your plot, you can like do whatever you want with them. Right? If you have characters in here from New Vegas now it's like well wait what's the implications of this character what's the canon? now being in the show even though they were in New Vegas I, you know you got people who are going <laughs> to be trying to lore masters of YouTube who yeah. all do is fucking lore videos on game you got fucking conspiracy why dude can you he loves so these lore mad. masters he just pissed because they can so do the mad. same thing all the time and make a lot of money that's why he's pissed yeah, yeah they don't have variety, have variety. he's so crazy about that shit he's like what fucking game and shows have fun whatever happens in life you watch something to have fun Oh my God! That's what, how, what is, the, but, you, yeah, how is that yeah. not them having fun? Yeah, he's spending two hours talking about a TV show. Yeah, but the but remember, but remember, they can't do it. They can't. <laughs> yeah, but he they can't do it. You're talking about no. two hours. Why can't they talk about it for two hours? Fun. Yeah. Right. I guess we lost that. Instead, it's got everything's got to be hyper analyzed to the point of such maximum seriousness. And can I be honest? It's because YouTube made it that you monetize all that shit. Right before that, it was like, wow, it's the obsessive fan. But now on YouTube, you got people who literally micro analyze every game. There's people who micro analyze every pixel, every well, character. Good for them. Dark yeah, that's pretty fun. If they're making, well, every fucking, if they're you know, making money doc doing what they love, every document you ever found in the Fallout franchise and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty fun actually to get that deep yeah. into something. So I guess we'll have to see. You ever? Yes. No, you ever got in, into any game that deeply, Philip? <laughs> we'll have to see right. what happens. Here. You know the um, answer. No. Moving forward. But I don't, you know, I'm not 100. Like, I watched a bunch of lore videos on uh, Lethal Company. That shit's fun to learn about. And like Iron Lung, oh, that's yeah. cool. I like that shit too. I like, to get, yeah. like, I like shit that goes really deep into stuff. It's fun. Characters from New Vegas yes. be in the season two of the show. <laughs> I, I like we'll going deep. Okay, <laughs> I definitely like going deep. Pop, pop, I can't. <laughs> I, I, I don't have the ability, but I like to. Through the streets of New Vegas and shows have been destroyed, crashed, vertebrates, and broken securitrons. It also shows earlier on one of the best things that New Vegas has completely destroyed. 
<laughs> FYI, once these two episodes and people start freaking out. Right, he's down to 140 Vegas, viewers. He's got to be done, right? Vegas, they didn't retcon New Vegas. It's, the credit sequence isn't necessarily 100%. Ew, okay, I don't think it is. That was it's a big rub. rub. Did you big, see? Yeah, I saw. I'm not going back, though. We got to get through this. No. That was nasty. I just wanted to make sure you saw. That was a blind eye to moment. in America for the apocalypse. How is that not woke? Well, did you not watch the show and see that inside the vaults that Voltec is trying to... Wait, how is it? Wait, because... here's a woke question. Hold on. Oh, and blame capitalism oh and okay. Doesn't the fallout show turn a blind eye to communism and blame capitalism in America for creating the apocalypse? How is that not woke? Well, <laughs> did you not watch the show and see that inside the vaults that Voltec is trying to create a woke society and it's failing? You remember? Ooh. That basically, they're like, gee, the only reason the Raiders actually overtook us is because we're so dumb. We just blatantly believe that everyone around oh. us is good and we didn't see the million signs is that, is that that people were Raiders. They had scars all over their bodies. Oh. They looked, they weren't acting like vault dwellers. But we're just like, oh, well, we're just ignorant to all of it because everyone accepting everything. And they, because of that, they're completely overrun and murdered at the beginning of the show. And it's, it's actually referenced later on. We're going to rehabilitate the Raiders who just brutally murdered all of us. Is that Rather than, okay, you know, yes. said, we just want to kill them. They were definitely they our friends. Yes. And they're like, no, we don't want to do that. So basically, okay. these are running threads okay. in the show. <clears throat> And again, much like the real games, all Definitely. right, there's not meant to be a 100%, this is right, this is wrong attitude. It's up for you to subjectively judge. Do you think that Moldaver's okay. group is more in the right? Do you think the Brotherhood is more in the right? No, do you brothers, think that brothers are well. Do you think it was, you know what I'm saying? But do you think it was canon? Wrong? Maybe every single group is wrong. So maybe <laughs> is what the communist take, the capitalist take, they're all wrong. That's, for you <laughs> that's the beauty of Fallout. That's actually the beauty of Fallout writing. There's not Ooh. one group that is dominantly correct. They're all mm. flawed. They're all just trying to survive in their own way. That's what that's good writing right there. Okay. That it's not a black and white situation. You know what I mean? Oh, <clears throat> not, not black and white. white. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. <laughs> What's up, Game Boy? Good evening. Good to have you here again. Only a few more minutes and we'll wrap it up. I'm just curious. Does anyone have any final words or things no, to say? No, they don't. And I'll give you my final thoughts on the show and we'll wrap it up for the night. Talk about okay. French fries. That was more fun. <laughs> that was. It was weird. That was fucking weird, dude. What's your favorite oh, French fry? God. Yo, oh, oh, we didn't get, what's your, Andrew, what's your favorite French fry? We we deal in absolutes here. Are you I a like steak, a good... steak fry girly, curly? Mm -hmm. What is it? Come on. Uh, man. Crinkle? I love, a, I love a good, like, waffle or, like, Ooh, curly fry. Waffle? Yeah. Oh, no, no. You have yeah. to choose. Curly or waffle? I'll go with waffle. Damn, waffle fan. Yeah. No, Hell I'm not yeah. Comment yeah. building a wall around the wasteland yeah. making the wastelanders like pay them. for it. I was going to do what? <laughs> Don't even comment about building a wall around the wasteland and making the wastelanders pay for it. <laughs> Why? <clears throat> Talk about that. Uh, the apocalypse will make an appearance. I mean, they're a lesser-known group, right? They're a lesser-known group. They were prominent in New Vegas, I wonder. JoJo's. <laughs> oh, they're good, too. Oh, was it New Let me see what three. JoJo's look like. Hang on. The, it, um, yeah, Philip's main town. concern... Philip's main concern was, was how much condiments they can catch. <laughs> <laughs> I remember! Yeah, that was God, his that main, was so weird! That was his main issue, was about how much how much condiments can it catch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was weird. It was refreshing weird. to see a show that was a jam full of sexual content, every episode like Game of Thrones and many like others, don't you think? Um, I feel like it was balanced well. I do. I feel like it was balanced well. They didn't See, overdo any. I, I would say the one thing we argue was the gore was very excessive. Yeah, JoJo looked pretty good. Was excessive gore. Yeah, they're they're good. I don't really feel yeah. like it was too overdone in any direction. Ooh, these are right? pretty high. Used to, there was some romance, yeah, but it was done kind of tastefully. Used to eat those a lot. I remember um, there was oh. some sexual like, content, but it was never over the top. My too much in your face. There was a lot of gore, but that's kind of par for the course for the game. These they are pretty good. high, dude. JoJo's. Look at these JoJo's. Ice Darkness says, "I'm surprised you didn't talk about one of the leaders in the past was Big MT, big old hunk of fry, one of the people at the desk of the of the corporations." Big MT, like Big Mountain for the expansion from Fallout 3. Yeah, as long about. as like the french fries are crispy. Like, I think I like things <clears> almost burned. They're so well done. I basically love remember it. it was it was Walt Tech, Rob Co. Um, They're called JoJo's, but, like, David. Tech, which Rob I think Lowe. was supposed to be like an Asian corporation. That, I guess Rob it's right. Asian corporation. I played, and there were Big MT, so I, 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 I didn't catch that. In and out? Okay, I'll check those. In and out. I don't have those, those around me. So. The Big MT expansion. In and out. Like, Big MT, it's good. Crater, right? Yeah, I didn't notice that. West Tech designed the power armor, is that true? Yeah. In and out. Sounds like my Friday night, am I right? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. They should explore the plan for the for season two. I mean, they could go That's East Coast. That's when we go deep. And then get the plot lines over there, but I mean, people would be pissed if they just abandoned right, In and out fries look pretty fucking bad see, in the menu, I'll be honest, guys. The thing about the show with the plot arcs were really good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They're not bad. Person, They're right? good. Maximus, completely this different person. This looks pretty good. Mojo Potatoes from Shakey's. Ooh. You've seen his plot arc. Now they The ghoul in present day is completely different from who he was in the past. great. So his plot arc had already happened. I like him. And you're just seeing the outcome of that as we would the show today. So basically, Ooh, I think I'm the not touching that. Do you really now want to just throw I mean, those characters away? You also don't like mixing. Kind of no, else, I hate so. mixing. I think we're gonna want those characters. <laughs> yeah. <back. laughs> oh God, Repcom I would not. My bad, that was a loud one. They were there. And then Silver Star Samurai says Robco bought Repcom right after that meeting. 
<laughs> the lore is wild. You guys are crazy about the lore of this stuff. You are. Way more than me. Like, I like the lore. I do. But I'm not one of these people who like, have a timeline on my fucking wall figuring all this shit out. I know there's probably 7,000 videos like that already. All over the, the internet. Cobra's right? cat food hack. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying they're good or right, not? Think, Lucy is a Mary Sue like Ray oh. from Star Wars. Oh, no. Yes, but that's the point. The point is that there's a whole generation of Vault Tech people who are like that. It wouldn't just be her. It could have been anyone from the okay. who was thrown to the surface and would have acted the same <laughs> oh, way, right? Oh, God. I think I'm having an aneurysm. In this lore, it fits. Maybe it doesn't fit. Maybe in Star Wars, it was out of place, right? Or redone because definitely done who cares? First Star Wars in hope, right? But in this case, this makes sense. This one hundred percent makes sense. What you would want in the uh -huh. story because that's exactly Absolutely. how the Vault Tech. Alt doesn't like a cheesy glizzy. And so I don't. It was like, right? I do <laughs> not like cheesy glizzies. I don't like cheese really. I'm not a big cheese boy. I, 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 I cheese love is fine, cheese. but I, like that wet kind of cheese, I'm out. Dude. I don't mm. like macaroni and cheese. I'm just that's not a fan. I don't like that kind of cheese. Girl. I don't need that much cheese. I mean, that's how they've been raised. Oh, Who needs that much cheese? I had an everything bagel with. American cheese on it today. It was delicious. Oh my god. So good. So good. Hurry up and come, right. Phil, well, so we guys, can go to bed. To wrap this up. <laughs> oh, here we go. I, I basically want to say no. thank you. All right, we have two. We okay. We have just a quick check on the count here. All right, so the count okay. for. Let me check. Make sure the count for <laughs> cannons is at nineteen. <laughs> under, it has twenty eight percent of the vote. We could finish with ah. an under. We'll buy one. We're gonna find out here. Epic Tipos right now. Yeah. Uh, for a great stream here tonight. Everyone here, the first hour, I'm glad this whole second over an hour has been great with the interaction. I want to say that's You just know. My final thoughts on the Fallout TV show. Yeah, that's all you this did. This is how you make a video game adaptation to another form of media. This is how you do make a video <laughs> TV adaptation. Yeah. You respect the source material, you expand upon it, rather than just regurgitating it in another medium. Like you, don't, you're not, you, you don't have, you have black people, but they're just normal the black people. This is something unique and you different and some interesting, people, uh, but it's in the same the middle, somewhere in between, in between but, but it's not yeah. that, it's not about that. Spirit, the same yeah. lore, it's not lore crushing like the Halo TV show that just okay. bastardizes the fucking material for the sake Ooh. of making a show. <clears throat> Instead, it respects Blech. all that time. And love and attention that you have invested off by at in least the one Fallout bet? series Ooh, up to now. You could be right. You get probably fan service in the show that is completely well, missed take it by people win. who haven't played the games, but well appreciated by those of us who have. Right? And the because they decided proper... to make this in the future Ooh. of the plot, it's the latest thing happening in the Fallout plot or uh, plot line. It plot, allows plot. it to be meaningful what about the and line? tie into things from the past, meaningful? but actually be suspenseful mm -hmm. and interesting. If they had made this a prequel story, it would have been awful. How do you know awful. that? Awful. Okay, awful. It would have been he so know. meaningless. I'm he so happy they didn't do that. All right? And even with the lore changes they made, Here oh, go. no, the ghouls are different. <laughs> oh, no, now maybe the date Good is chance. wrong on the NCR bombs dropping. And this Come on, Cannon. It's still cool, right? Like Still cool. cool. The way he says cool it's still is great. so uncool. It's still a great show. For fans of the cool. franchise or not, you're really going to enjoy the show. But if you're a fan of the franchise, man, you got a treat ahead. What if I'm a fan of the canon? The show, and that ending of season one, you like got a I said, treat ahead. I thought this was all spoiled. <laughs> if I haven't seen it, I shouldn't be watching this. I've Wait, ever look at his seen face. for the first season of the show. <laughs> He's loving it. Oh, shit. There yeah. we go. I got it. Okay. Muted? Oh, my God. I think Help. he just got cut. Help. The best oh, no, I'm fine. Okay. ever okay. seen fine. for the first season okay. of the show. We're fine. I am hooked. Okay. I am riveted. I cannot Hooked, wait riveted. for season two and okay. see how it's Erect. going to turn out in um, New Vegas. I've got a, I've got a heart on a raging phone dog. Field, we're not expecting. Whatever it is, it's <laughs> new. And that's the key. It's that's new the key. and refreshing and exciting again. And refreshing. let's be honest. We are not going to get anything new of Fallout for a very long time. We're going to get a little maybe DLC content in this Fallout 4 update. But outside of that, we got our thumbs stuck up our butts, man. No the thumbs Bethesda or won't thumbs? make another game. Yeah, this is our content. This will be our feast Oh, Ooh, for the God. Next several years, Ooh, if they are we going to feast on the cannon? They're gonna, it's going to take them so long uh, uh, to basically do a another Yeah, they're doing other scrolls right and now. This is what we've got. And I'm happy. I, I love this show. And I want to see it. He's happy because he got to. I want to see it get mainstream popular. Because you he know can what watch I really want to see? Play. I want to see this show do so well. That Bethesda has to make another Fallout. Oh, yeah. Oh, holy no, it's not going to happen. Bethesda has to contact the other studio. Like Obsidian to make Ooh, another fuck fall. you. What a fast, oh, this very hot take here. Because mm -hmm. enough, he's, he's on fire Put right now. Sense of not knowing how to make he's games anymore. Up. They it, don't know how to make games anymore. It okay. Too no, big they do not. Too if they said right now, let's make it on the Fallout, that's at least six years Loaded, away, I bet. They don't know what yeah. they're doing. <laughs> if it takes them 10, 15 years to pump out like, a game, that's... nobody cares anymore. They screwed yep. up. What? You need to be able to make no. games in a reasonable amount. So you don't want games to be deep or have what? you know a lot of side quests, a lot of characters. You just oh. want to pump them out. Time. Uh -huh. Yeah, and he said... <laughs>
<laughs> he said yeah. that they need to take their time to make games. And now he's saying they need to make it in a reasonable... We want! Yep. Here, why we is there no Fallout want. content right now to tie in to this game? It doesn't even make sense. They just don't know what the hell they're doing. Yep. Todd Howard, like I said, he's a jackass at this point. Uh, he looks definitely. so dumb. They've mm -hmm. got to do something to turn this around. Jackass. This is their chance. So let's see multiple seasons of this show. Let's see it grow. Let's see it be exciting. And then let's see, let's see it new grow, games guys. in the future. Come on. Let's grow. Let's see it, it be exciting. Good, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Guys, Thanks, that is fuck. It. We that are is done. My live Thank God. review of the Fallout right, go TV bed. show. Fuck I hope you, you enjoyed go it. Fuck yourself. Whether you hear live it. or if you watch this on it demand, I certainly hope that you enjoyed shit. it equally. And I certainly hope that you guys will join me in the future for Fallout content. I'm strongly considering what? playing Fallout 4 or at least starting of a playthrough Fallout 4. Of course you are! He already has, the, he already has the, the overlay for it. He's going to play it. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's going to do it. update comes out in a little over a week, especially if it has some new content, he's that gonna sounds do pretty it. exciting. We'll have to and see. Because there's meantime, nothing going on for three weeks today. Thank you all. Thank you so very much. Got the prayer hands, guys. For watching my review of the Fallout TV show. And, uh... And if what? you liked this, let me know. Please leave comments <laughs> on these videos. <laughs> and, <laughs> I mean, they're I mean, showing you. They're showing you they didn't like. Let me know it. what you thought. Did yeah, you enjoy you have this or not? Eighteen dollars, my it's dude. A, it's a new project for me. It's something totally different. Yeah, and you can and see how successful it was. I, oh. I want to know. You know, content oh, on this back. channel. I'm trying to get more. I'll if bring you it like back this, too. If you want to see more of this? Mm -hmm. I can do this for other medium. It doesn't have to be just TV shows. Other medium. So leave some comments. Let me know what you think. Thank you all. See you later. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Nailed the ending okay. there, didn't you? Thank you all. See you later, guys. I do want to say thanks, despite the fact that you've got like, oh, Phil made the, almost nothing tonight. What's it's the possibility false. he talks we about like having lost his tonight. voice tomorrow couple, because he talks so much tonight? Hold on, got, we got some cope about how much money he made. Mm. Like, oh, Phil okay. made almost nothing tonight. It's actually false. Uh, we got tons of super chats tonight. Uh, we got a couple of memberships too, so that's actually going to overall help this channel. False. Which that's the point. I'm trying to get this channel to have more content, <laughs> so it's oh, viable to do stuff on this channel. Right mm -hmm. now, I only have one mm -hmm. show a week. Oh my god, I whoa. Channel. So Whoa. this did, I, I'd argue this did pretty good. Um, nah. Again, I'm curious how the videos will perform. Nah, it was bad. They, people actually horrible. watch them, enjoy them. I don't know, we'll find out, okay? Definitely will. Um, all right, so guys, that is it. All right! I'm out of here. Tomorrow oh, cool. I'm off from streaming. So do not expect me on stream tomorrow, because if you show up, I will not be here. Oh my god, okay? what? I'll be back on Friday. Over on the DSP Gaming channel, like usual, there'll be the Level 1 Podcast. It'll be oh God, we know. More oh my God, Fun Hell Divers Two. Oh It'll God, be Friday Night Fights, more Blanca and Street oh. Fighter Six. Uh, hope, hopefully, play okay. ranked. Always schedule. Please hope we, play hope ranked. We get ranked. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed. And thanks for chilling it. with me here tonight. Go away. And uh, I think it is time. Go away. Get the hell out of here because I'm. Nah, beat. go to the right, track everyone, everyone, on thank Thursday you so night. Much. Have a good uh, Thursday. Fucking I'll see WPIG you all will on be Friday. there. Peace out. All right, that is. It's thank mm -hmm. fuck for that. Mm -hmm. Final words. Let's get a quick check. Quick clock out. Quick clock out. Yeah. All right, injured. Final words. Go ahead. That was terrible. And but I'll say this. Um, with how wrong people were saying that he was he was uh, about the show, it makes me want to go watch it. There you yeah. go. <laughs> and I had fun with you and these people who watch this kind of stuff. Was crazy. Well, that the was pasta maker fun. <laughs> correctly says under one. So under the final tally Ugh. was 19. So if you were one of the 29%, you are a legend yeah. forever. You win. Give yourself a high five. Tomorrow's going to be great for you. I promise you. Yeah. Also tomorrow, speaking of tomorrow, 1030 AM. Hello. Injured loves this. You love this. Hey! <laughs> I do love it. I do. DSP versus exercise tomorrow, 1030. That's it. You're all fucking yeah. legends. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you tomorrow.